it is a book, uh, but it's a chapter in the series of, uh, of lots of booklets that Rachel is releasing. This can be yours today. Make sure you get yourself involved. You can send us text messages. If you've got any questions for Rachel, you can send them to 78070. You can get yourself onto the app and send a message to the studio. There's three ways for you to shop here today. Get yourself on the website, jewellerymaker.com, 0800 if you would like uh, to give us a call. It is a free phone number. Or you can tap the app. It's the quickest way to shop. PayPal, debit card and credit card are what we take here. And it's 1 p.m. all day. So if you shop with the gorgeous Becky and Susie this morning, you can click combine order. And we don't take the money from your account till after midnight. So don't worry if you're thinking it hasn't taken the PMP off. We will. We will. You have to check out each time uh, just to make sure that you actually have uh, the piece that you want to get today. We've got pearls for you today. We've got tanzanite for you today. We've got tourmaline for you today. We have got so many goodies. But please welcome our guest. <laughs> it's the awesome Rachel Norris, everybody. Oh, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, it's so good to see you. I'm, I'm a bit hot and red. I'm like, I know you're hot. <laughs> we've, we've asked for air con, hopefully it's coming on. Red breast. But um, it's just so good to see you and it's so good to be back. I haven't been back for a while. I'm sort of, um, only able to come in every sort of six to eight weeks at the moment and it just keeps me going to know that I'm coming back in and bringing some more designs. So it's going to be a lovely day. It's going to be we a lovely can't day. wait. I'm going to be yeah. touching base with you and doing a bit of a QA and a because we've got so many brand new customers over a lot down uh, and I know they're absolutely oh, itching to see <laughs> who is this Rachel Norris that we hype so much you wait you wait you wait now uh, I think we're ready to go shopping before Brilliant. we le as we lead up into Rachel's masterclass we've got some gorgeous pearls for you and I think pearls are going to be really in keeping with these tiaras because the regality of it absolutely. the absolute regality of it because uh, Rachel is of course jewelry maker royalty she is have a look at these, we have got beautiful round pearls. Now, when we give you round mm. pearls, you can expect the price to be a certain amount. Round pearls are what mm. we see at the Burlington Arcade. They're what we see if we're in London. Round pearls are what we expect to have a great mm. big price tag attached to them. These round pearls, I think, would look amazing if you just simply pearl knotted them. Absolutely, I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't want to break them up. Um, it's the continuous run of them, the, the individual shine on exactly the same spot, um, that that makes the pearl necklace so amazing. So, um, I would um, either make a Tudor cross in pearls and then have have um, the pearl necklace to come back from it. Um, I have got examples in my bag actually. If you've got, um, I can get one out. Somewhere. Absolutely, we would so love that. You Thank go, you, you so much. I'll do my out. team. You do yours. <laughs> X K. GP 17, 37 pounds and 95 pence for these uber round pearls. Now I want you to think about how much you would charge for a beautiful pearl necklace and maybe some earrings, just one of each of the end ones in pearl earrings. Solid sterling silver, perhaps. Helen, you've got yours. Rachel, you've got yours. Make sure you're checking out baskets. Only one are left of those. Now we're going to keep going. And this time, oh, now look at these. If you want to add texture to your designs, then this is one for you. Now, these are quite a new occurrence here at Jewelry Maker. And actually, the last couple of years in the jewelry industry has all been about, hasn't it? The Biwa Pearl, the Keshi Pearl. They've made a huge, huge impact in fashion and design. Now, these are called Hedgehog pearls they are cultured hedgehog pearls i don't know why there's question marks after that the only question mark should be how many are you gonna get and i love the code hug p28 we should all hug p uh white freshwater culture pearls 29.98 now how how difficult is it to get these hedgehog pearls with this fabulous texture i want you to come closer and look at the antique color the finish that's on these it does look antique doesn't it there's a wonderful iridescence to these if if you love texture, you will love these pearls. I, could, I would put them in the middle of the body of this bee, for example. <gasps> There's a bee here. But um, I've got pearls all the way around. This is a Tudor style. 
And in the middle of that oh. bee, that textured pearl would sit beautifully, actually, oh because gosh. it would, you know, mimic, mimic some of the little body textures. And then you could have the run of the pearls back from the side, say, for example. That is outstanding. You know I'm obsessed with the Tudors. I love it. Charlie says, I don't think there's a person on this earth who is nicer than Rachel. I don't think there is either. I don't. Uh, can you have the booklet on pre-order? No, we don't I want can't it to, even the order thing it on pre-order. We don't want it to sell out before we launch it. <laughs> and we've only got 300. And it isn't enough. Uh, 300 of Rachel Norris's booklets isn't half enough of what in fact I think you sold over 600 last time so it really literally isn't uh, half enough of the booklets now we're going to keep shopping um, we'll let you know we might put it on pre-order sort of 10 minutes before but we are a bit worried we have to keep to a schedule you see uh, now let's give you oh now I haven't got this here which means it must be out in front of me I've got so many pearl designs I could show you literally Jenny so I hope you've got lots of pearls look <laughs> at this that one, for example. Oh, my so gosh. I'll put that one on there the ne with us next. You I'm going to let you just, just... Yes, wait there. The boutique of Rachel make, Norris is happening right now. And, um, of pearls, and you can make these wonderful designs. Rachel, I've got some really long beewers now. If you look at these, they'd right. be good for a cross, wouldn't they? They would. They'd go really well in a cross, for example. Yes, they would. Look at what Rachel Norris can do with pearls, everybody. That, and I know, I know you might be thinking... She kind of done all that. She did. Uh, Rachel did that. Or a simpler version. Oh, know, my gosh. So um, all these different sizes and shapes of pearls will fit into, well, oh my into your designs really well. So honestly, just, just grab the chance to get different sizes and shapes. You can see I've used all sorts of different sizes and shapes in this, in this one. It's beautiful. We'll Utterly beautiful. You are so talented. If you want to learn how to do just a small amount of the things that Rachel's done, then right now, right here, you cannot go anywhere. So lovely to have the legend Rachel Norris on our screens, the rights of Collector in Cumbria. Um, she is amazing. Also my favorite was that, thank you, thank you. If you could just take a screenshot of that and send it to the bosses uh, next time they think they might have to fire me. Uh, now, with these ones, which is pretty much daily, pretty much daily, Rachel. I'm always doing something wrong, but you know, all for a good cause. Wow, a laser of peach process. pearls. Life is a learning process. It is, <laughs> yes. If only I learned from, from my lessons. <laughs> well, that meter is enabling enabling you to make the show statement, show statement three layer or line necklace. You've got enough pearls, all of the same color, all color toned to make these fantastic um, three layer, three row brace uh, necklaces. So that's what, that's what's coming up. So there, uh, and it's only seventeen ninety five. That's amazing. That's yeah, three. I love this colour as well. Yes, it's beautiful peachy strand. That's the same as in the bee necklace that I just showed you. Oh, we've got peach um, in the bee necklace. That's the peach colour. Sort of, um, you can see ah. the difference. Sorry, and it's all going So this is that strand. Now. Would you like more of us? It has sold out. <laughs> yeah, you can see oh the Oh my gosh, that is the one. It looks so the, antique. Yeah, and the white, and it does love. Yeah, it does look antique and gorgeous and. You know, you can see the differences in the colour. So pearls are just infinite colour, array, size. Um, you know, beautiful, beautiful objects to make jewellery with. Rachel's inspiring us left, right and centre at every time. Now, we've got some shell pearl for you this time. Uh, and with shell pearl, if you are new to wire work, I would definitely go down the route of shell pearl because you can guarantee that you have got a large drill hole on these and yes. you can guarantee that they're all very very similar if not the exact same now what i love about these is the twist and i love that they've got this area you kind of just want to put this on top of something or fill it in with something if you look at the way it sits i think these would sit so beautifully next mm. door to each other so if you wanted to put them now they are through drilled so you'd have to put them uh, sort of next to each other through what the process of wire or maybe a bead loom or something like that but i think they would look outstanding yes, stacked on top of each other wouldn't they yes i like this so this is i haven't seen this shape before ever actually and um, first as i say there's always a, a new shape being brought out with the pearls and this is this is amazing actually what a lovely sort of twist and turn of color and and shine and uh, to that that's fantastic and it will sit really beautifully on the neckline or around the wrist um 
Gosh, yes. I think they can get, uh, really add mm. a contemporary flair yes. to your jewellery as well. Because pearls mm. tend to be really classic. And I think if you're quite a contemporary designer, yeah, you're looking, you know, take mm. a little bit of the classic with a nod to the pearl. But absolutely, you can you can add that modern feel to a shape and a size like this. Anita's texting, hi, Jenny, Rachel, stunning designs. Please explain what pearl knotting is for us novices. Well, it's a, it's just a protective knot um, that runs between the pearls. I mean... Um, Pearls are an organic um, um, gemstone, and um, you know you don't really want one pearl rubbing up against the other. And I'm really naughty with this one. I, I just put them one against the other, and eventually, over time, if they're worn, they'll rub away, and you'll use some loose of the nacre on either side. Um, and also because, um, so you need to put a little special knot made out of silk in between, and. Um, We've got wonderful guest designers who've made DVDs and done um, classes and everything like that in, in pearl knotting. Um, and the silk is another organic substance put next to the, to the pearl, so that makes it really, really beautiful in, in its thought as well. Um, it's also, if, you, if the strand breaks, and because pearls are so precious, um, you don't want it all cascading over the floor. That was mm. a fear. And I think that was have, the original yes, plan. Uh, you so know, you have sort of not to stop it all Coming, um, coming apart and losing every single pearl. So, um, and every so often, you know, the pearl does, you, you, know, you get them re knotted, but you'd only get them re knotted every sort of 40 or 50 years or so or something yeah. like that. I've got some from my grandmother that probably need re re knotting, but that's 50 years at least yeah. ago. Yes, yeah, you know? with wear and tear. Mm. And actually, it's quite a nice thing to do if you've yes. got an heirloom piece. Yes. Now, I've just got a picture. Oh, what's going on here? We don't want to join your partnership. No, wait there. It's actually I've quite just got a picture simple. of what pearl knotting looks like, it's so I'm just going to show you. It's to do, actually, and um, you can see it's a, uh, just a, and it doesn't really detract from the actual strand, and if you use silk, it has a sheen to it, and you can use coloured silks and... Yeah, I mean, they look like little pearls, but that's silk, yes. isn't it? Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah, but it does have a metallic... Actually, no wonder they use a metallic thread in that in but it does look amazing maybe the silk is Up just close, so it good. looks like silk yeah yes. i think it's silk um, now yeah, we've got sorry. to move on and give you the next one um any questions get them in get them in now um we've got a whole meter of shell pearl a whole meter of white shell pearl round now again if you are a beginner go for shell pearl because the drill hole is bigger uh, they are very uniform to each other and they're a great price. Look at now, benefits of shell pearl over glass pearl. Shell pearl are crushed up shells formed together. And so you've still got that organic feeling. You're going to get more of a luster that's pearlescent like. Um, and they look, they look much more like the real thing. They, a, a whole meter of shell pearl for 9.95 that is incredible these do look very real they've got a larger drill hole on them as you can see and they've got a lovely luster to them i would pearl not for the first time with these if you're if you're uh, if you are practicing i think it's a great one marlin necklaces if you want yes. to go down that pearl knotted route a lot of us are watching the crown at the moment and watching all of this gorgeous jewelry <gasps> obsessed I mean, um hannah um osborne and mark smith particularly excel in those wonderful um um, expanding um, uh, patterns but, of beads. Yes, and we had they, a big one we here, didn't one we? Here. Yeah, and it's just absolutely shell pearl just fits in beautifully. You can guarantee it's going to fit into a regular design, and you have a part of the design is the regularity. And some people buy pearls because they love the irregularity, but when you really want to make a design regular, straight as a perfection of yeah. form and shape. Shell pearls are perfect for that. It might be that you're using a jig for your findings and you want everything to be perfect. Absolutely the same. And you want your links to be mm. perfect. Then you'd go for something Absolutely like this. And again, we were just sort of touching on a more modern uh, jewellery, more contemporary jewellery. This will give mm. you that nod as well because you can then be a little bit more structural with yes. it. Uh, there's loads of you there. There's so many of you shopping today. Thank you so much for choosing Jewellery Maker. Yes, we've got Rachel Norris's <laughs> signed book for you. Yes, we've got the brand new snowflake for you. So many messages coming through. We didn't put it on pre-order because we've only got 300 and last time over 600. We just couldn't, because of COVID, it's much more difficult for us to print at the moment and uh, we could only get 300. That is it. That is all we've got. Uh, now, please, if you've got an unchecked basket, uh, I am just hearing in my ear that we are over allocated. Now, that means that we have got way more in baskets than we actually have stock left available. So half 
half of you with this in a basket are not going to be successful. If you can't bear to be without this, you need to check out your baskets now. If you're in a queue on the phone lines, hit that number one button. It, this really is bonkers. You've got a whole metre which is three strands, isn't it? If we do 30 centimetre strands, three, six, nine, that's three strands and extra. Yes, and 10 centimetres. Yes, that's mad. You, you won't want three, you might, might want three strands going around to clasp, but you don't want, you'll have, a, you have to allow for the clasp. So yeah. use three strands yeah. and with knotting. You could do a yes. massive 1920s yeah. designs. I love yeah. those. Mm. Do you? Yes. I love yes. the yes. 1920s with their loads oh, yes. of layers. Mm. <gasps> Obsessed. <laughs> Uh, now, we are absolutely as busy as lots of wire work bees right now. You need to be quicker than that checking out your baskets. We are now taking out of unchecked baskets on the phone lines. Uh, so if it is telling you that this uh, strand has sold out on the website, you can now head to the phone lines 0800 644655. That will allow you, um, you, you need to not hit one if you're going to do that. You need to speak to the call centre because they're going to now take it out of the unchecked baskets. So if you have this in a basket, it really isn't safe there. It really isn't. Now, we're going to give to you, I feel like everything's been a star buy so far, but uh, you're, you're purchasing pearls and I absolutely know that you're going to want to keep them clean. It's, uh, it's, it's so important. I've got a pearl on that I'm sure is very dirty, uh, so I will be demonstrating how to clean your pearls with the next star buy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to give to you uh, the perfect pearl cleaner. Now, it's really important that you choose a cleaner that isn't going to erode your pearls. Pearls are organic. Pearls can be eroded by perfume. Uh, and they say, don't they, Charlie Barron was telling us they should be the last thing you put on before you go out and the first thing you take off. So always, always the last thing you put on because you don't want to get makeup on them. You don't want to get hairspray on them. You don't want to get perfume on them. So last thing you put on and first thing you take off before you get into bed. Don't get your creams on them. Now, I, I, I think I, I preach that. I don't necessarily practice that. I wear this pearl every day. I wear it in the bath. Big no-no. I wear it in the shower. I wear it in bed. I wear I put hairspray on. Terrible. I'm a terrible human being for that. So let's give my pearl a little bit of a clean, shall we? Um, is, I'm going in blind. Do you want to have a look at it before? Now you spray this directly on to the pearl and then it will give you... Now, to be fair, it doesn't look that dirty. Am I, any, am I going anywhere near that? I'm doing this blind. Did I spray that? Yeah, but I feel like... I've, look. <laughs> I've got it all over my arm. Um, it is important to, to, to clean your pearls because if you want them to last the test of time, you've got to take care of them. And they are heirlooms. They absolutely are, aren't they? Now, will you... Oh! It's really is it horrible, is it horrible and black stuff, is it? It's makeup. <laughs> Look. Yeah, actually. That's amazing. Can you see? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that just came. Oh. That just came off the pearl. And there it was. Let me really get in there. So you thought it was a peach pearl, but actually it's a white one. <laughs> it's not a peach pearl, it's a white pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, okay, right, convinced, because I definitely do. I mean, this goes down here. I don't put makeup all the way down there, but somehow, can you see? It's yeah, a yeah. bit grimy. And I did get in the shower with that today, and I thought, you know, you know, I'm clean. Obviously not. Uh, here we go. Yeah. All I do is just out my griminess on air. Yesterday, I had to do, I did my silver. I did my oh, silver. Sorry. So it comes with the cloth. And it's just lovely to have, I think, the right professional cleaning tools, especially if you're starting to take bridal commissions. Maybe this is something you can stock 
and sell it on to the bride. We're not saying that you can't sell this on. You absolutely can if you want to. £6.95. pence. Get this in stock if you are a jeweller that sells on. Get this in, in your collection if you if you have lots of antique styles. Some people hire jewellery out and they can, you can hire jewellery out. You can make jewellery and you can hire it out for special occasions and you'll need to clean it properly when you come back or give the assurance also that you're cleaning it for the person who's who's going to wear them. And so that's, it's really nice to be able to say that's what you do and have a picture of that on your on your side, that this is what, how you treat your your jewellery. I think so. so. I, I, and I think, yeah, it shows that you care for the jewellery. Mm. It shows that you, it shows that the jewellery is worth that kind of yes, care absolutely. as well. And that's really mm. important. It's mm. only 6 95 A little, uh, it's £7.50 if you buy this directly from Town Talk, by the way. Two on the telephones, Graham, Jane, Maker in Cheshire, Maker in London, Esther in Surrey, Lola, Debbie, Diana, Maker in Merthyr Tidville, uh, Sharon, Brenda, new telephone caller, Phil, Elizabeth, Kim. You're all in for these. Three gone on the telephones. Sharon in Wiltshire, you've checked out. Well done. Another brand new caller. Will it clean silver too? Let's uh, read the blurb for you. A little bottle of pearl spray makes the ideal travelling companion. It cleans your thread as well, actually. It doesn't say anything about silver. It just says, always put your pearls on after applying perfume, cosmetics and hairspray. Not before, as you could damage your... Uh, this is... This is uh, we have separate lotions and potions for, um, for, for doing the silver. So check our website. This is specifically for pearls and for your pearl knots. So, OK, keep coming through for that one. Lots of you, lots of you have gone for that. Rachel's book coming up. Masterclass not to miss coming up for you. Uh, don't you miss it. Don't you dare miss that. Uh, we have got the sign book, the snowflake, brand new chapter. If you're collecting, you need it. Especially as it, you know, it's Christmas. You can't do without the snowflake at Christmas. Now, we have got some, we were just talking, Rachel and I, about uh, 1920s style and design. And that's exactly what you've got here. So we have through drilled pearls, two of those. Then you get two of your earring posts. Is this what I should have? This isn't what I should have. Two of your earring posts. You have got everything you need. So I'm going to say you put, it's a whole kit. You put this in here make a loop you get these oh these are earrings as well so you put you've got okay so you oh, nice. you can do that and you can do this with you then you've got little stud earrings as well so you can make and you get everything 18 karat gold you get the little bead caps as well. Oh, I love this. Isn't that, lo isn't it lovely to have a set to make up as well? So if you've got a friend who you want to bring into jewellery making with you, this is kind of... A teaching set or yeah. a gift to them. And um, oh, I mean, have you got, they've got two pearls and two... I've got two pearls. pearls two earring finds. You've got, does it look like this? I've string? actually got three earring finds because you get matching stud earrings as yes. well. But okay. these, for the 1920s sort of d design. But then mm. you get a bead cap, so you put that on top of this, I'm going to guess. Or you could put it at the on bottom if you want. Pearl. Would you put it at the bottom or the top? The, I would put it at the top to make it look really nice at the top, because you'd see that professional... It, that's the bit that you'd see, really, um, because the head pin with the ball head pin will be at the base, um, and that would be fine enough. And then you have that beautiful effect at the top of the pearl, so that when you do your wrap loop... Um, the, what you really will see is that bead cap, not the kind of edge of a wrap loop or things like that. So oh, it really draws yes. your eye into it and it finishes off the pearl nicely. I think it's really nice. I like the, the shell effect. I think it goes with the fact that it's from the sea. Um, I think it's a perfect um, complement. I think so too. I, and, and, you know, big nod to the 1920s. Absolutely a nod to, um, to where these beautiful pearls come from. Now we're going to give to you. Sorry, just repeat that for me. Okay, we've got to go quick on these because because apparently we've had lots of messages about our beautiful tourmaline. I know it's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, but look at these. So these are half drilled and you get six of them. So you've got three pairs of earrings if you would like or you've got six pendants. 
I think these yeah. are very cute. I love a, a little mm. coin. And they are, of course, freshwater pearls done in that mm. coin. And they're £2.49 each. Now, Rachel, these could be drops from a necklace. You could put them all in one. You could put them in earrings. You could have them as individual pendants. In the bodies of things. Things that you want to sit flat. Um, they'd sit on something... Um, in, in a pendant beautifully, in, in a ring setting beautifully, it would sit oh, flat yes. against um, the skin and you'd have a massive um, area, surface area of a flat surface to, to catch the light. So I think it's a really lovely shape. I do like um, coin pearls for that reason. You've got low, it just looks metallic and um, has that iridescence to it. Um, I think that's what I would put it in the middle of a little animal or a creature or, or that sort of thing actually definitely it could be a I focal do. point could <laughs> yes. it could go in a that's tiara right in the, center in the of, middle of everything yeah <laughs> mm. flower centers that's oh thing. yes actually they go straight into a little flower definitely the staining of the flower mm. now oh I mm. love these they're my absolute favorites let me find Please excuse me a sec. I'm just going to grab those head pins that are in here so that I can lift them up. I absolutely love these. They're so Chanel. So these are half drilled drops for you. Oh, they're not drilled. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Now, you could drill them with your Dremel if you wanted yeah. to. Or you could place these in a cage setting. Aren't they? I yes. love drops so much. I think then you've got the choice to... Um, to use them in whatever way you'd like. So you can half drill them, put a pin in the top, um, through drill, top drill, um, or you can set, as I say, use a bit of wire work and, and set them in a, in a piece um, as a um, within a wire work form. So, um, yeah, and cages, you can just do a simple spiral. If you do a simple spiral round in yes. gold-plated silver wire or something like that, or silver wire, you, it's so easy to do. Looks um, so effective, yes. doesn't it? And all you have to do is make a S shape um, in in a spiral S shape, and then fold it around the pearl and loop, bring the loop up at the top, bring the loop up at the bottom, and you've got a caged pearl. So you could easily do that, couldn't you? What yeah. gauge? About 0.6 or something. 0.8 might 0 .8. do. Has that strength to keep it? You don't want it. Don't want it to come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'll go for 0.8, and then don't hide the pearl too much. Isn't it beautiful? Aren't they gorgeous? I love, love, love drop pearls. Wendy, you've got your Sabine, Kim, Brenda. There's a little queue, actually, on the phone lines. Make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. I know we're, we're inundated. We are so inundated with messages about Rachel Norris's book. It is coming up, I promise you. Don't worry. We're going to bring them to you. Now, something that I'm really keen to give to you is the pearl tweezers. Now, these are brilliant because they've got a protective coating on them, which will prevent scratching of your pearls. Mm. So important mm. because how many times have we felt, oh, gosh, I don't want to mark my pearl. These are going to snug into your pearl. Keep hold of them without scratching them. Mm. Now, the other thing, the other feature of these pearls is that you will notice they've got little dints inside. These are great if you're doing your pearl knotting as well. You can position these around your pearl. You can move your pearl up and down and you can also manipulate the knots with these because they've got that dint in them. So these are really, really important. Do you know, it's so funny because... Well, you've got to clamp the pearl in place when you drill them and yeah. that'd be really quite good. You obviously have to um, keep the, the, the inner vice, the actual pliers in a, in a vice to hold them closed but then they're gentle on yeah. whatever you're you're working on so they're perfect if you've got your dremel and you want to drill yeah. mm. so they're absolutely or maybe you're going to do it by hand with your reamer mm. then this is absolutely yes. ideal so you're right put it mm. into the vice yes. they've got that and they are specifically uh, coated to protect pearls that's why they're called pearl tweezers and i think this is quite a niche um, piece of apparatus for you. I think this is something that you would struggle to find outside of Jewelry Maker unless you went to a jeweler or to a jeweler's supplier. DCE T32 is your item code, £7.95 is your price. Uh, make sure you are checking out Rosemary, Lola's Got Three, Jen, Sheila, uh, Sussex Maker, uh, Christine, Jean, Elizabeth, Merseyside, Mary in New South Wales. Um, now, we have got for you a gorgeous kit, actually. Can we? Yes, let's. Oh, that goes in there, Jenny. This is a really pretty kit. 
but actually a very modern kit. And I think that I think perhaps you might want to take these and use them separately and take these and use them separately. But bringing them together would make a really different, really contemporary design. I'd say this kit was probably one of Linda's or Mark's. You've got this, the round duos in here, but you've also got seed beads in peach. They are uh, 11 O's and in pink, 11 O's. And then you've got your white pearls. So you've got a sterling silver chain here made in Italy. That's sterling silver. And the per so you're paying for the pearls alone, I think, here. You've got your round duos. You get 100 of those. You've got seed beads. You've got chain as well. So this really is incredible. 925 findings pack. Oh, I've got a 20 piece. Sorry, it should be a 20 piece findings pack. Uh, they've sent us the wrong thing, but you will get a 20 piece finding pack. Here it is, here it is. This is just, uh, yeah, don't worry. 24.95 XVXC46 is your item code. Uh, just a little mix up, just a little mix up. Now, 24.95, you really are paying for the pearls alone there. I think that's fantastic. So you get all your findings with that as well in sterling silver. Now, our tourmaline is coming up soon in the pips we are all obsessed with this i love this strand it's so beautiful uh, now we're going to give this to you in one item's time but right now we're going to give you i think i've got it here you know i think i have a pearl toggle clasp it's beautiful i think little findings like this are you know you know the saying the eye is in the detail it really is. And it's findings like this that just give your jewellery that finesse that you're looking for. That's a genuine pearl. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Love that. Um, oh. And actually to have the pearl in the clasp, how, how special is it's that? It's beautiful, it's isn't it? absolutely lovely. I'd put that straight onto a pearl necklace and you'd be delighted with it, wouldn't you, if you had that... Um, it just looks so professional. Yeah, finishing touch. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. I yes. actually think that would make quite a nice pendant as well, straight onto a, a sterling silver necklace. I think that would look really pretty. We have got such a super price for you here. J-E-R-F-12 is your item code. 6 95 All of that silver, that's a genuine button pearl right in the middle there as well. We hope you're doing okay today, jewellery makers. We're so excited for the mega deal, for the masterclass and the mega deal today. We've got, we kicked off this weekend yesterday in style with Hayley Kruger. Then we're taking it through to the wonderful Rachel Norris and for pudding tomorrow it's Mark Smith. I know what could be better actually. I tell you what it's like a gourmet meal of designers is what we've got this weekend I'm loving it we will be full to bursting with inspiration by Sunday night won't we. J-E-R-F-12-695 lots of you coming in for this Jenny and Cardiff takes three Lanarkshire you've got yours Cumbria Jane takes two Cheryl load of two for you uh, Maker in Greater London, Christine, Lincolnshire, Pauline, Emma, Sandy, Angela, to name but a few. But I've just seen the time and I think we are five minutes late for our mega deal. It is five past mega deal. Here we go. Look at this strand. You've got some cherries in here. You've got some rhubarb pinks and greens. You've got the most beautiful pips. We are absolutely delighted to be bringing you. And it's really, it's, it's oh my gosh, how parabatone are those? It, it, don't you just love this? Um, and it, I find it quite remarkable that this is a new shape and size. Where has it been? <laughs> you know, how come we didn't think of this before? These pips have um, have launched here on Jewelry Maker probably about six months ago now. They're a really recent addition. When you, We've been here years. I've been here 10 years on and off. 
Uh, this is a beautiful strand, a celebration of colour. And I just think tourmaline is a great mojo booster. If ever you're like me, who is usually wearing entire black or block colours, um, I'm not great at mixing colours together especially when it comes to jewellery design or clothing or anything like that. So a, a strand like this is a true inspiration to me because Mother Nature has put these colours together so beautifully. And I really love the way they form. You've got these beautiful... I mean, this just reminds me of dipping my toes in the streams when I was little. It's got that whimsical, beautiful colour. Uh, it's a gemstone that is um, steeped in myth and legend. It's supposed to protect you from ill fortune. I think these in stacker bracelets would be beautiful. You can keep it simple with these, can't you? I like the fact they're faceted as well. So you've got that glitter too. So you yeah. can wear them in the day, you can wear them in the evening. So you've got this light. And look how well the colour stands out. Um, stands out when you wear them. You really see the colour uh, against your skin. They, they, they work really well. I, for me, because I like making animals and creatures and things like that, I'd separate them out, may, maybe um, have the green tones in a dragonfly and bring the pinks Ooh, into dragonflies and, and butterflies and other things. So I'd take the colours and separate them. And you can make a really lovely sort of... Um, a very a scene almost with um, grasses and flowers and leaves and then you've got the, the pinks of the flowers so you've got all those coins that will sort themselves out really nicely to make a really pretty picture design <laughs> i love that, like that. i love yeah you're That's right I do. if i got that strand in the kit i'd sit down and do that and, and, you know, it's the colours of nature that inspire you to put them into those dragonflies. This absolutely, yes, the body of a dragonfly right there. You can see it. And those Paraba blues are in there, aren't they? You've got those beautiful rubelite tones. Look at the reds. Oh, my gosh, 9 95 I'd definitely be multi-buying this. Rachel Norris's a Snowflake booklet is coming up. Don't worry. TWV X97995. You're all over this, and I am not surprised at all. This mega deal is for lying out. Uh, Carol, you've got yours. Elizabeth, two on the phone lines. Lola takes two. Helen, you've got yours. Sabine takes two. Susan, Joanne, Kim, Brenda, Marion, Maker in Yorkshire, London Town. I have got Tracy. Gem is in Bedfordshire at this time. <laughs> It is the weekend. <laughs> Donna and Hilda, Helen, you've got yours. I've got so many of you lining up. There is a queue on the phone lines. You're multi-buying on the phone lines as well. What a beautiful, inspirational strand this really, really is. 10 carats with that gorgeous sparkle. You've got all of the important tones we're going to be giving you. And in fact, you could, if we look at Rachel Norris's book here, you see where you have got the two hematites, you could put lines, these in, little in creatures place. Eyes. Yes, because you wouldn't, you'd be able to save that strand and use little pieces of it um, in all sorts of designs. So, yeah, put them in little eyes of a, of a creature. And they'll know. twinkle. Yeah. Yes, they will. Beautifully. TWVX97. The sign book is coming up for you. But, of course, I mean, Rachel was just literally signing them before our show. I put it on my Facebook um, on my Instagram, literally, we could only have so many signed copies. We only have a, 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 a pallet's worth is what we had left <laughs> yes. in stock. Yes. Um, so that's how many do you think you just signed? I don't know. It was, it was about four boxes. It was like four boxes I went through okay. of them, and they were quite big boxes. So, so about 80 of them? Yes, yeah, something like that. Yes. Okay, that's mm. all we've got, which isn't a lot. Uh, the Snowflake booklet coming up. Your masterclass, your long-awaited masterclass is coming up. Believe me, if you are a new jewellery maker, you need to stay exactly where you are. Keep your pyjamas on if you want. We don't need you dressed. You can be in your dressing gown, just relaxing. It's fine. Uh, now, in fact, if anything, I wouldn't get dressed. I've got a beautiful emerald colour appetite for you. Actually, look at this depth. It's incredible. My favourite colour. Love green oh, so gosh. much. Look at the depth. Mm. This is simply beautiful. I just love this. Message just in. Uh, wow. I tuned into a brilliant duo. Hello, lovely <laughs> Jenny and the wonderful, um, amazing Rachel Norris. I inspired to have the talent uh, of her little finger one day. Deborah, don't worry. Because Rachel is going to give you step by step a little slice of her talent in our masterclass. And thank you so much for the lovely message. Aww. 
CQJN29, 38 carats of emerald appetites. Only been on one. Look at the tones, though. I actually think this goes very nicely with your tourmaline, you know. Love those together. It's brilliant, isn't it? I love this strand. That, that colour is amazing. Put it with your pearls. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. 1995, 38 carols, 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 carrots. 20 minutes time. We are starting your masterclass. We're going to give you, we're going to do what we did yesterday, give you the kits first, continue on. Um, yes. We're going to, honestly, let's have another look. Let's inspire you again. Why can you not leave the room? This is why you must not leave the room. You must have us on the TV if you don't want to miss out. The because only, I'm sorry, the only person who's going to have to leave the room is me because I've left the diagrams, my templates in the car. So I'm going to run in a I'll minute. Let, I'll, okay. It's okay if I go now. Absolutely. Or, yes. Please, please. Rachel Norris must leave the room. I will leave the room, but no one else can. No one else can. No one else can. Rachel will be back ready for your masterclass. I promise you. Now... Ten, I've got ten unchecked baskets there. You better come back. She's coming back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, um, we have got for you. Let me find it. Where did I put it? Here. Oh, I love this. Now they call them ladybugs in America, don't they? But we call them ladybirds. This is beautiful. That's what they call them in America. Have a look. I love this. Now, would that go on a necklace? Would it be on a bracelet finding for you? Would this, would you put them together and have this swinging and have that as a little pendant? Isn't it beautiful? Or would you put it up that way? That could be your bail, couldn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't this, isn't this mad? Because these really are two separate findings, aren't they? This is brilliant. This is Polish amber. In sterling silver, ladybird and leaf pendant, 1995. Do you ever wonder if they think what's a ladybird? It's like if we say, have you got a, have you got a cotton bud? They look at you and go, hmm? Cotton bud. Hmm? A cotton bud. Do you know what my other thing is? Do you know what my thing is as well? You know when you go to America and they say the restroom or the bathroom, they just mean the toilet. And of course, there, you can't, you're not resting in there and you're not having a bath in there. So it really baffles me that. It's always baffled me. Can you, because I, when I used to work in Canada, I'd have to say, excuse me. Um, so if you go in and say, excuse me, where's the toilet? They look at you and go, ooh, like you've been a bit too direct. And you're like, sorry, the restroom? I'm going to use the toilet though. I'm not going to have a sleep. G-I-G, Y-30 is your item code. Excuse me, do you know where the star buy is, Groove Rider? Do you know where the star buy is? Here we have for you the most beautiful strand of Appetite. I love Appetite because it, it just reminds me of that Lagoon Blue. There is nothing quite like an Appetite Blue. It's totally natural and that always baffles me. Mother Nature doesn't just give us this colour in the beautiful lagoons of Thailand or Greece. It doesn't just give us this incredible colour in Santorini. This Madagascan treat is a genuine gemstone. 
and that that color is is it's a little tiny bit of heat there is no dye that's usual and it's just to keep the consistency of the color throughout and the saturation throughout these would have been these are naturally blue they're beautiful these have only ever been on once as a night owl on the late show a very, very beautiful strand. First time on Freeview. So if you're watching us on Freeview, here it is for you. I think these would go with both silver and gold, Rachel. Yes, I mean, they, I mean the colour the, the color is, it'll just burst out of the design when you put, it just, I mean, your focus would be drawn to the, that beautiful um, shade and tone of blue. It's uplifting. Um, Yes, silver and gold, copper. I put it with copper, oh, copper equally yes. so, you know, um, and all metals actually. It's just beautiful pearls. It will look really fantastic with pearls too. E A J N thirty seven is your item code. This star by is winging its way to you very very shortly for a crazy price from Madagascar. Have a look at this. Isn't it beautiful? £16.95 for your pop of colour. And it really is an intense pop of colour. Sabine takes two. Elizabeth, Paula in Blanel. We've got Esther in Surrey. Maker in Martha Tidville. Thomas, you're shopping. Greater London is shopping. That's got a Thank bit of like a different colour appetite in it. Ooh. But I think it would fit in, in a seahorse for design or something like that. So you could just pepper it through. Um, a design like that on the edge on, on the edges all around the tail and through the body and yes. it would work really well because that's appetite in the a different shade but that's appetite in the, in the seahorse as well so you've got and their pearls. sky blue appetite and this is your neon appetite yes. but you're right it just it's, it's got, got, that got that oceanic feel yes. and the translucency yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I love seahorses. They're so tiny in real life, yeah, aren't they? Like aren't you can they? barely see them. <laughs> uh, Sixteen ninety-five. E A J N thirty-seven. Phil, Christine, Marion, you're there. Angela is shopping from South Yorkshire. Thank you, Rachel, That's darling. Right. Uh, we have got an hour for you. We're not going to go to the break until quarter past because we want to give you your kits. And then at quarter past, Rachel will be taking over the entire hour and lighting up our screens and inspiring us as always, as she always, always does. We are so gassed for this show. We are absolutely gassed for it. Are you gassed? Are you gassed? Are you gassed? I'm gassed. I'm gassed. $16.95. Just an amazing price. Now, check out... I'm getting... Oh, I love this. And Rachel is going to love this. Look, Rachel. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you just pass it over to me and I'll... Just take it with me. Absolutely. It's beautiful. How many do we have? Oh. Look at this. Uh, it's amazing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Angels should sing when this is... It literally is the most <laughs> beautiful... And it's literally... I don't keep saying literally. Look. And it's so clever. How kind that you, you can just sit it up and make it just... Um, to sit up nicely. <laughs> it does, look, there's um, a face in this. Yeah, lovely. It's said to be one of the most magical, powerful gemstones if you believe in crystal healing. Mm. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. It's sold out and gone. Yeah. Oh, lucky you who's got that. Who, how much lucky was that? I didn't even people. look at the price. I didn't care at that point. I just wanted it. <laughs> but someone's got that one. That very one, haven't they? Yeah. Lucky things. Very, very <laughs> lucky. I'm jealous. Rachel and I are envious of you. <laughs> Now, message just in. Uh, oh, wow, I love seahorses. What a stunning make. Well, it's in the book. <laughs> so you'll like, if you want to make it, it's in the book this, later This on. book? <laughs> so this you can book. make it yourself. It'll be in there. Oh, look at the owl. <laughs> oh, my word. Hang on. Wait a minute. Somewhere will be the seahorse. I think it might be near the beginning. But you'll see all the other designs. I'll just keep picking and flicking. <laughs> keep There's having 15 a flick. designs in there, so... Hang on. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> so. Now. It, it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you the pearl, though, that I've got right now, so that we don't get too confused. Yeah, exactly. Now, you can put a peg on the end of this if you wanted to, and I've got a little peggy sue here. Or you can put, um, you can put a head pin on it. 
but you've got a, a tiny drill hole at the top. I've just put my peg in there. It doesn't come with a peg. I just have one to hand. Um, and then straight onto a chain. We had that um, set earlier on with the um, little cram little clamshells, the gold clamshells. Yes, that was the nineteen twenties yes, designs. Yes, so put those together with um, you've got the pearl to to pop in there because you've got plenty of extra pegs, haven't you? On that one, I can't remember. Yeah. Any. Do you know these uh, kind of designs in London at the moment are so expensive? I mean, you can see that amazing round pearl, and then it's taking an organic U turn mm. and giving you just the most fantastic texture you can see it's real you can see that this is natural and organic and and things like this at the moment in london are going for about 200 pounds on a chain it's 14.95 oh, so it's nice. actually sold out that now let's go apparently we've got a bougie deal okay oh yes we've got the tight we've got the um coated chains haven't we these are my new favorite chains at the moment so rhodium plating don't yes now, rhodium is more expensive than, uh, than platinum, and it's rarer. It's only usually found by accident. Did you know that, rhodium? They, they don't go looking for it because it's too hard to find. So yes. if they find it while well, they're looking for platinum. So it's with it in its, in yes. its formation. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's in so such small amounts. I think, isn't it, um, gold will fill an Olympic swimming pool, and platinum will just fill the bottom inch of a... Olympics and all the platinum in the world will just fill the bottom bottom inch of really? the pool, Olympic size swimming pool. All the gold will fill one. Platinum will be an inch at the bottom. But what will this be? Rhodium would be, be a even fragment. Less? Yes, like a sliver along the, yeah. along the bottom of the pool. Rhodium would be just a little crumble <laughs> in the back. Now it really is very rare rhodium, and that's and but it's super. For a, a lot of people will have their white gold in their platinum mm. plate rhodium plated. Now, the reason for that is it will prevent tarnishing. It will prevent scratching. This doesn't tarnish. Now, rhodium is a super hard-wearing metal. You get two chains here. Rhodium, now this plating is layer upon layer upon layer. Rhodium is a service. Rhodium plating is a service that you would take. And, and Chloe, our um, head of TV, used to go all the time and get her rings rhodium plated it brings up the shine but it also gives you the look of platinum for the price of silver that's what you're getting here the uh, now let me see if i've got a silver chain just to compare it with so you can see the difference now at silver you can see that there is a clear difference between the color of my silver and my rhodium my rhodium looks like platinum and the silver of course looks bright and white like silver this is an incredible opportunity for you to really take your designs into that high-end realm not only have you got rhodium plating but you've got that diamond cut on the chain so you're getting such a lot of luster you're going to get strength from rhodium you're going to get that quality that color that looks like platinum from the rhodium and these have been made in Italy so you know you've got quality 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 all the way through 16 pounds and 95 pence is your price there are three ways to shop there are three ways to pay PayPal debit card or credit card 1695 KOG P71 there are so many of you there each chain is 18 inches this is a double trouble deal so what is that per chain ba -ba -ba -ba. like eight pound fifty a chain £8.47. Look at me, I did a math. That's quite good. Very good. And I love that cut, but it's very glittery, isn't it? Yeah. And I can't see it closely because I'm standing further away, but the glitter um, coming in, coming from you, is amazing. It's it's fabulous. If I sort of open up the links a bit and we go a little bit... it's got a special cut on it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it? diamond cut. Yes. Can you see? Look at Lovely. that. Beautiful cut. And, it, and that's specialist in mm. itself. So mm. you've got the diamond cut. Then you've got the rhodium plating. Yes. It's just such great quality. And it does look like platinum. I, I think mm. if you looked at this, you'd think, ooh, plat <laughs> someone's doing well, platinum <laughs> chain. It looks like platinum. KOG P71 is your item code. Loads of you flooding through. Heath, Linda, Laura, Margaret, Susan Beryl, Doris Takes Two, Helena, Debbie, uh, Christine in Berkshire, Wendy, Maker in Merseyside, Barbara, uh, Sean, Gemma, Mary, 
We've got so many messages about Rachel's booklet that we can't get through them. We've just heard in our <laughs> ear. It's coming up soon, soon, in about five minutes. Uh, you haven't got your booklet yet. It's not available yet. Somebody's just said, hi, got my booklet. Not this one. It's brand new. If you have, you must be magic. Uh, brand new today. So, Rachel, uh, we are talking about... Now, yes. you and I were speaking earlier, mm. and instead of bringing out a book, you've bought out the chapters Each individually. Chapter one, because um, when I bought this one, the book, the big book out, it was lovely, um, but actually, you know, we couldn't get the kits together, and, you know, in 15 kits all in one show and and also actually I couldn't go into it as much detail in each individual chapter for example um you know so you have to condense one, it to get really, into a book yeah I've really what I've done is is given you everything you need so in that is the jump I think the the um the class making oh the 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 class how to make um the jump rings the necklace um, and there's lots of hammering techniques to make flattened jump, jump rings in there and things like that. There's lots of extra stuff. It's not just jump rings. It's actually you're going to make some flattened um, effects and, uh, to the jump rings you're using. And then on top of that, you're making three sizes of snowflakes and, and, it's all, and, and you can use them in any sort of design. So, and in the masterclass, we're going to expand that and make a tiara with them. We can't wait. <laughs> we cannot wait. We've got the kits to bring to you. We're not going to a break at the top of the hour because we want to give you the kits first. Now, last one before we start. And now, you, don't say I didn't warn you. Are you ready? Because this is the last last item before we start with the masterclass. And at quarter past, we're going to go to a break. We're coming back with Rachel Norris. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> now. I have got a stunning amber pendant for you. And I think the beauty of amber speaks for itself, oh, doesn't it? Yes. If you are into mm. nature or history, we just like that beautiful, very unique colour. Look at all of the silver. Oh, now you can make to sell. This could, it, it, this could be earrings if you want to get two today. At 9 95 I absolutely would. Uh, it's a pendant opportunity straight onto one of your chains. And then, you know, you've got a 60, 70, piece, 70 pound piece mm. of jewellery. Absolutely. This is a profit maker for you, I think. Your Baltic cognac amber will get darker and deeper over time. And that's something that never fails to excite me. You will enjoy this for years if it's going to be an heirloom. The person that gets it after you is going to enjoy a different depth, a different colour. You need to check out. We are now very limited stock on this one. And I think it's just about one minute to <laughs> Rachel Norris. It is about one minute to Rachel Norris. Is it Rachel Norris o'clock now? Can it be? Yes, it's Rachel Norris o'clock. Are you ready? <laughs> Get you. yourself ready on the phone lines. 0800 655. Pick up the phone now. Jewelrymaker.com online. Get yourself logged in. That's me logging in. If you've got the app, it's the quickest way. Get it open. Maybe you're watching us that way. I am going to take you through the booklet. We have to wait till the top of the hour before we can actually give it to you because ordinarily we'd be at a break. It's the logistics of life. Now, I'm going to show you what you are about to receive and we will be truly grateful. Now, I'm not going to give you all of it because, of course, I don't want anyone doing anything sneaky, taking screenshots. There's always one. There's always one. Have a look. You are going to get step by step. I need to let you know there are 50 jewellery makers in a queue right now on the phone lines ready. Now, remember, We've only got 300 because of the current situation with the awful virus. Uh, we would ordinarily have 600. I think last time over 600 of these sold at launch. So we could only print 300. This, yeah, this is the first time this one's been out. So um, we are launching then, it now. Yeah, we're going to launch it now. <laughs> so and last then, time you launched one, um, did you know it sold over 600 that's really of the funny. booklet? I didn't know. <laughs> no, so th we haven't yes. got enough of these. Oh. Well, uh, um, I will, uh, that means I won't be able to get a copy, so I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll be disappointed, but I'll be really I'm happy. I'm sure you can have mine. <laughs> I'm joking. You can't. <laughs> you can. Rachel doesn't need it. She, no. It's all in your head, do you know Rachel. What? I, nice. do, I do collect them, actually, because it just gives me such... It's just, you know, little achievement. It is. It's a, a, a little achievement. It's a massive <laughs> achievement. If you've got any of the past booklets, you know you need this one. I'm going to give you the kits... 
momentarily. Oh, now, I'm already hearing in my ear that approaching a third of the, of the stock, if everybody checks out that's on the phone lines, will have been allocated. So let's make it fair and let's bring it not just to the phone lines now. Let's bring it to air. Rachel Norris's Snowflake Necklace, the long-awaited Rachel Norris booklet, the next step in your chapter. Are you ready? It's the next chapter in your collection. Maybe you've got your... Re Here it is. V-S-T-Y-16-7-95. It's not 9.95. It's 7.95. Here's what you're going to learn to achieve. We are going to have a masterclass. We've got the tiaras. We have got so much to show you. Have a look at what you are going to be able to achieve. There are 150 of you in a queue, which means half the stock will have gone. We've only got 300 of these. You've got to check out baskets immediately. So many of you there. We are as busy as a million bees around the queen that is Rachel Norris right now. Over half the stock has gone. We've got queues coming out of our earlobes. So you, if you're on the phones, you need to hit that number one button. This is absolute. Oh. My producer, what is happening? Oh, this is wild. Um, Can you hear it in your uh, ear well, or not? I, I haven't got an ear. Piece, so they're I'm going here. it's wild <laughs> it's you. wild Thank you. everybody's gone mad and they have you want to see all the names <laughs> i've got multi buyers maybe this is going to be a gift 7.95 well, you're taking from basket what we're over allocated already we are approaching over yes okay we're taking out of unchecked baskets right now We've only got 70 available and there are so many in baskets and a huge queue on the phone lines. So this is going to sell out very, very fast. I know that we should have had more. We just simply could not. It was not possible to have more than 300 of these. I, I know it's not enough. And all I can do is apologise massively to you. I am so sorry that we've only got, we only had 300 of these. I am so sorry. It's, there's nothing we could have done about it. We wanted more. It just simply was not possible. Uh, now, somebody has taken a massive amount of these on the phone lines. Um, huge amount of you. You have to check out baskets. If you don't do that now, then you have missed out. If you're on the phone lines and you've accidentally put that huge number in your basket, please uh, please drop that and just take the amount you need because we've just seen that somebody's taken a huge amount on the. Maybe you want them. Maybe you. Maybe maybe they're all gifts. What a relief! I've got mine. <laughs> Woo, Elaine, well done. You snooze, you lose in this uh, case. Absolutely, we are now limited stock. That means we have less than ten percent oh. of the stock. Um, hot it, <laughs> hot it. What it yes, is. <laughs> hot off the press. It is. She's hot it. Uh, now we have got Deborah saying, phew, got mine. Yay. Got the rest of them. Had to have this one too. Rachel, oh, you are you. a goddess. She is. Sorry if I've already asked. Been away from the keyboard. Could you please ask Rachel to sign one as a surprise for one of us? Can can you sign one? Is that okay as a surprise? I'm not, don't mind. Yes. I mean, is that one able to go out? Absolutely. Or is it, um, Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, no It'll be a surprise one. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Do you have a pen? That's a good idea. I do. Um, I'm going to I like the way you went to check behind your ear. <laughs> we can do it after the show. Claire says, Woo, I got my book. Love, love, love. Rachel's designs. Uh, right. We are re we're in single figures. If you don't check out, it's, 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 really i will let you know because somebody on the telephone has taken quite a big amount like 10 of them so if they put some back then i'll let you know i don't how do you do it on the phone lines put 10 do you just add your oh well they're speaking to oh they must want it then if they're okay fine um right so 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 ridiculously over allocated another message andrea says thank goodness i set an alarm to remind me this was on i got mine just thank you don't sweetie finger on it because it's just been signed to be might smudge so there, there is a rachel norris in there. <laughs> look at that suzanne in hertfordshire already have rachel's book just added the booklet to my collection. So just so you know, this booklet is brand new and these designs are not in the previous book. This is new. Uh, got mine, Julie, well done. There's so many of you. Right, those are gonna sell out. I'll let you know when they have completely sold out. Now, we've got Rachel's book. 
We've got Rachel's book. Now, uh, we've had a lot of you asking for this. We only have about 80 of these, is it? We'll know exactly as soon as we've loaded it. And they are all signed copies. So if you would like Mastering Wirework Jewellery by Rachel Norris, um, then you need this. If you enjoy making wirework jewellery, then you need this. Now, this is globally sold. Have a look. Rachel talks to us about the tools that you would need. You've seen some of the designs already. The B we've seen. We've seen, oh, the, the creature that I had earlier. Um, look at these. Look at these designs. Look at the elephant. I've got two original Rachel Norris pieces. I've got uh, the horse that Rachel gave me when I was leaving Jewellery Maker and then I came back. <laughs> I might again, leave again and come back, you never know. And then I also have <laughs> got my um, reindeer with the, with the tiger's eye. There we go. Look at this! Yep, I've got the angel here, actually. Oh, my gosh. Look at the angel. Rachel, this is amazing. <gasps> That's it. That's the angel here. There we go. And oh my. I haven't got all the designs here, but I've got some of them. Oh my <laughs> word. That was after a picture of my mother did. And she did was um, went to Goldsmiths Art College and did embroidery as her degree. And she did a massive, beautiful um, embroidery of an angel. Oh and my so gosh. And you took it. Angel. And yeah, and made it into a, into a wire work. Every single one of these is signed. We only have 20 now left. You have to check out baskets. We've only got 20 opportunities left. Every book is signed. What a brilliant Christmas gift. Now, the RRP on this is $19.99 if you shop for this elsewhere. It's $12.95 here. Uh, you can see that there. There's the proof. Oh, my gosh. Rachel, this peacock. <laughs> There's two colorways. And Can I get this book as a beginner? What, yes, while work? Um, the very first design in the book. I, I deliberately don't, don't put whether they're difficult or hard or anything. you just got to go with your feelings when you look at something. And um, because it's step by step, you just take it step by step. So you do one step and stop. And, one, and it's so easy when you do it like that. It's not kind of, it's not hard. So the first one is a flower shape, um, which I think is really nice and easy Let to achieve. So that was the very first design in the book. That's the horse I've got. <laughs> I've got that in a brooch. So, is. Um, so yes, go with the daisy flower necklace, which is the very first design, and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Daisy um, flower and this is the first, first design. One. Um, you just need to buy, there find it is. a coin. Um, oh no, no, back, back along, along a bit more, darling. And um, you need to find a coin shaped cabochon, and there you get them coming up on Joy Make all the time, or even a lunar cab or a pearl round, um, you know, flat coin shaped cabochon, and then you can make that daisy necklace. Um, and that, that's really easy. You've basically got wire forming techniques. That and you think is weaving. beginner. You think I could do that you as a beginner? You could do that as beginner. Wow. Uh, yes, yes, you can. Because because I've broken it down, and it's um, let's have a look. Because I've broken it down into steps. You don't look. Don't ever look at the whole piece and think. Oh yeah. I've got to do that. You just do one step, and then you do the next step. Then you do the next one. You know, and you don't don't try and think of it all at once. <laughs> And then you'll gain your take confidence. Your time. And don't worry if it's not perfect first time, because it won't be. It'll be, there'll be little wobbly bits, and then the, you'll know. Perhaps next time I need to have a bit more tension on, on my hands when I'm weaving, or um, you hold the the frame near the the point where you're weaving, and little 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 things you'll pick up, and you'll be better the next time. So don't worry if it's not perfect next time. The whole part of this is the whole joy of this is your development. I've been doing wire work for 10 years, and I, when I look back at my pieces 10 years ago, you know, I've evolved, I've evolved over 10 years. So and it's, it's is, such a it. lovely journey point. to see yes. how you've evolved. Now, I've just got to let everyone know, Rachel, that has sold out. Now, what I'm going to do is give you very quickly your kits. We're going to go to a break, and then we're going to start your masterclass. Uh, so I've got the silver first, 11 O seed beads, and your 8 O seed beads. These are beautiful we're giving you head pins uh, in silver, base metal, and you get 100 of those. 
you've got your check glass beads and you've got your wire now this creates the silver tiara um, is it the one with the snowflakes on it that, that you created um, out of this yeah, all kit? All the silver tone is made. All of made, the silver is made um, from this kit, is it? All the beads in one tube. Um, wow. I've still got loads of tube beads left. I think I went and did, you can do, get the necklace and the decoration out of one kit. And oh half my tiara, gosh. I, think. I went into really? the tiara. Yes, I mean, there's loads and the beads easily. Um, Crikey. It's, um, I think I got lo I literally loads and loads and loads out of it. Because basically, that cascade is quite a lot of wire, quite a lot of decoration. You can mm. easily split that up into, you know, one big snowflake and a, and a, and a glass, glass droplet or something coming. Um, I get, um, um, uh, oh, you can get, um, what are those, the light fittings that are made out of glass that... Chandeliers. Chandelier <laughs> crystals. And you can sort of get a whole load of those. So make a whole load of snowflakes, put a chandelier crystal under each one. Oh, and you've got yes. a beautiful... Um, decoration uh, the reason i couldn't show you that today is because i'd order them and they haven't arrived so i'll forgive me. you um but that's what you can do so just take the, the top one the large one at the top and and make make those or Beautiful. you can make all, all the different sizes and shapes so that's the whole point is you can make so many different patterns and and uh, designs from the individual snow, snowflake forms i can't believe how many pieces you can get out of the one kit now you get all the wire in 0 0.8 0 0.4 and one millimeter in silver now i'm going to keep going uh, we've only a few of those left now we're really busy as you can imagine now if you bought the snowflake you've got to be quick with that now we're going to give you next which one darling uh, the same but in gold which i just love and this has got the red beads in it I think you've got to get both because they're just both amazing. You've got the gold eight O's. You've also got, don't worry, I'll forgive you anything. So you've got your eight O's and you've got your, oh, they're both eight O's. Your check fire polish beads, you get 100 of the red fire polish beads. You can see that's better. You've got your head pins in gold and you've got the same gauges of wire, 0 0.8, 0 0.4, one millimeter. Uh, here we go. WJXC26 is your item code. We're about to give you the most crazy, crazy, crazy price. Why? Because he accident. Okay, my producer slipped and pressed it. Okay, fine. It's not supposed to be a four. It is. Uh, it's a mistake. I'm not supposed to air it. Fourteen ninety five. <laughs> and it's such Christmas colours. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So many of you sending amazing messages. Thank you so much. We are putting them all on the screen. Um, we, we're just so busy. I can't, honestly, we're so busy. It's crazy. You'll it is to, crazy. You have to try the tiara on. You have to I'm try going the gold to. One. <laughs> Please, can I? Yes, you can try the gold one on because I think okay. that would suit your head shape. So just pop it in as you would. It might get caught and things Hang like that, but it doesn't matter. You know, I've always thought of being royalty. <laughs> This would be amazing for a winter wedding, wouldn't it? Look. That's right. And you've got space you can put pins to, um, and I'll show you how to put a comb in there. If you want to put, make a comb, put a comb in there to make more strength. I want to it, big but, hair, yeah. like big hair <laughs> extensions behind it because I've got flat hair. Big hair would be amazing, yeah. wouldn't it? Now, the phone lines are buzzing. Busy. Sorry about the cues. I'm so sorry. How long are they? They're really, we're, I was going to say, we're really queuey. And that's, <laughs> <Q -y. laughs> we're really very queuey right now. I'm so sorry. Now, we, you need a toolkit. Let's give it to you now because, oh yes. because you need it. And Rachel, you've got yours yeah, out ready. Yeah, actually, and it's quite love a lot of tools this. I use all the time anyway. So it's and it comes in the roll. Yes, it's lovely. So it's got, I'll, I'll let you talk about it because there's loads to talk about. Well, it's, it's brand new for a start. You're going to go wild for this, and I, I know you are. You could actually put that around your waist, could you? No, you couldn't. Um, right, so it comes in the tool roll. That's not your price, but that is a good price. You have got your hammer. Is that like a rawhide hammer? It's a rawhide hammer. Yes, that's really good for work hardening without, um, without marking uh, your, or flattening yeah. the wire so oh my it's gosh. really really good it's really useful actually especially if most of us haven't got one and well they're um, expensive for all yeah, hammers yeah, this is a raw hide mm. hammer so then, it's really good to have one in there ring mandrel 
or a mandrel. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you've got a, a huge mandrel in there. Then a reamer, that little straw you just take off. Oh, it's a pokey tool, sorry. <gasps> you need this steel ruler. You've all been asking us for those. You've got to have a steel ruler. Then you've got your file. Then you've got your uh, chain nose pliers. You've got your round nose pliers. You've got... Is that a gem... What's this? A gemstone grabber or is it something else? What is this, Rachel? It's a... Oh, you know what you do need there in there is some drill bits. So basically you can put... Oh. Um, you can If you just get some drill bits. I've got oh, one here that read. I had bought originally on my own. Euro I bought this from Jewelry Maker. Yeah, you got and those it's, in it's, stock. And basically these little drill bits will fit in there and you can... Um, just use it to ream things and drill th holes and things. It's really, really, really useful. You've got to have that. Yes. You've so got to have that. Uh, then you've got your snips, your bead or space measurer, and you've got your uh, snipe nose pliers. You need you need to get this quick. When the and, and it really comes good. with the roll. <laughs> it comes with the roll with the raw high hammer. I'm trying to be quick because I know that you want to go to your. I know you want to go to your masterclass. 59.95 MSG X46 this is brand new today. It comes in the roll. It looks so professional. You've got everything you need and more. The rawhide hammer. You have got. You pay this for the rawhide hammer in the reamer elsewhere. By the way, that that they they could easily fetch 30 pounds each. You've got the steel ruler. You've got all of your wire working tools with the sparkly. So you've got one, two, three, four of those. They, they're eight pounds separately on other companies. You've got your drill bit holder. You've got your uh, file. You've got your pokey tool and you've got your measure. And it all comes in this artisan jeweler's roll. You need to be quicker. 12 pieces. It's your wire wrapping toolkit. You need to be as quick as you can. Now, we are going to a very quick break. We're going to leave the details here. We're going to get ready for our masterclass. It is time for Rachel Norris's masterclass. You've been waiting for this all week. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some incredibly exciting news. Now, many of you know that us guest designers work incredibly hard behind the scenes to bring our tutorial DVDs to the show. Well, this Sunday, the 22nd of November, I am bringing, and I can't quite believe this, I am bringing to air during the mid-show between 12 noon and 2 p.m. my 50th, that's right, my 50th DVD. And because it was a special, I was asked, you can do whatever you like, Mike, you can do whatever you want on this DVD. So I've chosen two of my favorite all-time products. I'm incorporating Super Duos alongside Shell Pearl. Now, as many of you know, they are my ultimate beads. I love using them. And to be able to produce a DVD using these two products, just a dream come true. So that's Sunday, the 22nd of November. Join myself, presenter Jenny and the team between 12 noon and 2 p.m. for the launch of the Shell Pearl Super Duo Projects DVD. Kits, bundles, products, tools, you name it, we've got everything. It's gonna be an incredible two hours. And of course, my 50th DVD launch. So make sure you tune in between 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. And Jenny and I look forward to seeing you there. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker.
Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. We have got the best Grand Didierite I have ever seen on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be incredible. We've given it to guest designer Hannah Osborne to work with, and she has made the most exquisite jewelry with it. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. It's time to learn with the master of wire work, the one, the only award-winning Rachel Norris Masterclass is coming to a screen near you right now. Please sit back, relax, hit that record button if you've got it, because we are about to learn from one of the best in the business. It's Rachel Norris, everybody. Hello, everyone. Every, hello, everyone. So, um, basically, what we're doing today is extending the designs from the Snowflake booklet, and we're going to make a tiara. Um, and you can use that tiara for all sorts of different things as well. So it's not just just for putting snowflakes on. So if you can make that tiara form and that headdress, then you can just go to town with whatever design you want to put on it. But uh, today we're going to to make the snowflakes, uh, what to make the, the um, put the snowflakes on there. So, um, I don't know whether you've got any um, 1.25 millimetre wire coming up, but you'll need some of that. 1.25 um, coming up. Yes, because you'll definitely need some of that um, for to make the We've got tires. some. It's coming up yes. on your screen just now in yes. rosa gold. That's right. So, um, so you'll need probably about... I think I've cut enough. I think, baby. I'm gonna, you can work from the reel, to be honest. Work from the reel, because if you don't know what length you need um, and you're going to add a comb in, we're going to work from the reel. Now, on the um, website, on the Facebook page, we'll be photographs of these templates. And I've got various templates for various designs. Um, there is um, the um, golden tiara one, which we're not going to make today, but showing you sort of the, the basics of that. And it's just the same as making this tiara, except you're making snowflake fronds and adding them on, using the techniques in the booklet. And where are these at? They're on our Facebook they page. Will be on the, yes, they are photographed. We did send the album over, so hopefully at some stage it will um, It'll be, it uploaded. Will be up there. Thanks, so Rachel. This, uh, and there's also one for the... Um, um, there's a reindeer one. I think I put that one up there. So you want to make reindeer horn horns as well. You can do that too. <laughs> yes. Um, and um, there is a kind of guide to show you which way to put the wires um, because you have to follow the arrows, basically. That's all you have to do. Follow the arrows and then go through, um, watch my video or watch this video now to show you how to form the actual frame because you just go to and fro a little bit with it. But once you've got the hang of it, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. But that's that diagram. So that, there's a photograph of that will go up. And this is the template we're going to use to make the tiaras. Now, it does look like a bit of alien headphones, but only because, <laughs> just ignore these two blue prongs. Well, those two blue prongs are for if you want to make the individual snowflake tiara on its own. Dealy boppers. Yeah, dealy boppers. Um, dealy boppers sort of um, Love it. style. And that, that headdress is almost flat. Can you see it's almost flat with just a very slight shaping? But we're also going to develop into a tiara that, like Jenny is wearing, um, and the other silver tiara, which is gone. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Um, but that is Beautiful. standing upright. So we're also going to, I'm going to show you just how to sort of develop into that. So it's like a two, crown. You've got the different forms of, my, of making tiaras as well. So once you've got this frame, you've got so many different possibilities. You can make reindeer horns, you can make the dealy boppers, and you can make tiaras. So there's all that, that from, from this hopefully this class that I'm going to teach you now. So we're going to work on to make the frame first of all. 
and I'm just going to work from the reel. Um, my wire's a bit ropey, so really sorry. Oh well, <laughs> I know what. I'm just going to bear with me. I'm just going to just see if I've got well, enough. I'm going to work from this reel here. And the trouble is, I put all my scrap wire onto the reel, and all the scrap wire came off first. So, <laughs> yeah, and then know. it comes out in fragments, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> so, starting with, we're going to start on this zigzag here, um, and taking some chainos pliers, which are in this brand new kit as well. And do you know what? The chainos pliers that came in the kit work beautiful. I'll show you why, because they've got a really lovely sharp point to them and they're crisp and they close nicely and they're my go-to pliers actually so all the pliers that are my go-to pliers are in this the new kit that's just been shown and um, beautiful closure lovely um sharp closure lovely thin fine tips that will enable you to manipulate things and and fine shapes and i'm going to take this board away because i need to work on a hard surface from the template so the squishy board will be too squishy so am i all right with the positioning just to check, first of all. Yep, you're perfect. Okay, there brilliant. you go. So I'm going to start on this zigzag first, and we're going to start zigzagging. So I'm making a bend. So I'm using, working on the paper, and you can print this out. Just so you, um, take, print this out, and just make sure that the ruler here is the same size as a ruler you've got at home. So make sure the centimeters are the same size, and you've got it perfectly, um, um, perfect size for headband. But if you don't, if you don't. Um, I'm not, not quite sure and you've got a headband at home, just put one of yours um, at home on it and um, it, as long as it fits, that's you draw one, draw it around one of your head, headbands at home and it'll, it'll be fine, you see, so that's what we did. Sorry, the ends have come off. Oh well. <laughs> now, a um, little bit of, I'm just turning the paper a little bit, I'm going to start to make a bend. And all these are basically the same, it's really, really simple, it's just a simple bend and then a little circle. And this this wire is actually lovely and soft, and it's actually lovely and light. The 1.25 millimeter wire is not heavy, and that's another thing you don't want in your head a really heavy, heavy piece of something. So I know there's a lot on there on Jenny's tiara. There's a lot on there, and it's not heavy at all. Quite light. Yeah. You know, and you think it's oh, it slip off. You, I mean, you can, as I say, put a comb in, which I'll show you as well. A I feel like this is really secure in my hair, though. And you can put grips in the side. And I've got quite slidey hair. hair. Yes, that's what. And but this feels that, secure. Making look. them pass with a yeah. So you know yeah. So that's a few. You. <laughs> you know Jenny because you know test. you sometimes put. And I'm quite. A, I, I do yes. this and yeah, rawr, rawr, yeah. And it's staying on. Look, quite I could goodness. be all night dancing and it'd stay on. As long as ricochet across the room, you know, you flick your head. That's a, that's no, a good sign. No, it's not. It's staying on. So <laughs> while we've been doing talking, I've just made a little pyramid and a little circle at the top, and those little circular attachments are what we're going to attach the snowflakes to. And I'm going to ignore the dealy bop a bit and go straight on for this next pyramid, and up to here. And I'm going to be fairly speedy now. Round. I mean, working from the reel can sometimes be awkward because um, um, the reel can sometimes get in the way. Often because I like to work with free wire almost just on its own. But I think if you've got to be economic and you're working with with 1.25 millimeter wire, you've just got to make sure you. I think working from the reel is best. And the reels that are on display here now are quite small mm. and they don't get in the way when you're working. Right. So I've made two pyramids. I'm going to. Make another bend along the um, line of the tiara. I'm going to make the largest one in the centre. I'm not going to make that comb yet. I'll show you how, where we could incorporate that. But if you really feel you want extra security, there's a little template for putting the combs in, so you can use that on the last track of the wire. And that's why you work from the reel, perhaps, with that, because you might need a bit of extra wire with that. Oops. Right. So, again, you need to take more time making these circles. And if you really feel you can't make the circles perfectly, um, use bell making pliers or a pen or something else like that to make a circle. So you can see I was struggling with that to make it quickly. So all we need to do is just pull the wire around a pen. Could you use the very tip of your... Ring mandrel. Or is that too, too big? big. Um, okay, so a pen are, kind I'm of circumference. I'm you bring it up. Um, the, the oh, we've this got one. it. We've got that. These, yes. which are just absolutely perfect. And you'll need them if you've got the snowflake book to make the um, jump rings. These double 
It's a six thing. step yes. one. So it's got six steps on it, hasn't it? Yes, on, on each, each mandrel. And that is fantastic. So use one of the larger mandrels and use that perfect. to make the circle. So you can use that and you can make a perfect circle each time. So there's various things, pens, mandrels, but these mandrels you'll need to make the jump ring. So if you can get those or you have a set already, just work with those um, when, you, when you've got the booklet. So I'm going to work again very quickly making these pyramids and I'm going to sort of do, I'm not going to make any rounds on this one. I'm just going to be very quick only because I want to show you, get on to the next stage very quickly because I want to show you the, um, um, how you put it all together. Oh, I'm, do I'm doing really, really bad circles, but take your time and make beautiful circles. <laughs> And if you say you wanted to make a crown, you could just do um, lots of these little pyramids and then hammer them. You know, that's all you need yeah, to do. Yeah, you to can make keep a crown. it simple, can't you? Yeah, so it's really, really simple it can be. And again, this, you can see how I've done a really, really bad bend here. And I can show you how just to make that look a little bit more professional. So you can make a soft bend first um, and to mark where you want to bend and check it on the diagram and then what you need to do is clamp either side of the bend to sharpen it up so there's a little area where I could really really focus on doing that so making sure you do that all the way around but you can see as I've clamped either side of that bend it sharpened it up and made that corner a really good corner so back keep it around the going around the um, headline and I made the mistake first of all of making my charms just with one line of wire and it's just not strong enough um, and um, it won't, it'll slip off the hair and it won't bear any weight on the actual um, headband. And this is why we're layering up almost like three layers of the wire, um, especially in the centre and two around the side. So you've got your, your crown shapes. Don't go up this line. We're going to follow, continuously follow this line. And you can see this wine, line is really, really wiggly. So we can, we can do something just to straighten that up in a moment. So I'm going to turn the paper. So turn the paper as you go, just to make sure that you um, find it more comfortable to work. Don't make it awkward on yourself. And just clamp along the wire just to straighten any bends out. If you've got a wire straightening tool, you can do that. Or, I mean, I just find it easy just to spend a bit of time shaping that wire so that it's, it's, you can iron the bends out just doing that. You can see as I clamp along doing that, the bends have almost gone. Now we've got to the end here, and I'm going to make a sudden turn upwards out of the plane of the uh, paper. And then I'm just going to make a diamond. So I'm going to just take this off the paper and make a little diamond shape, like a kite-shaped diamond. There we go. You can see that a bit better. Sorry, it's quite a big form, so it's difficult to fit it on the screen, really. <laughs> but you can see I'm just clamping, 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 just to make a little diamond shape. And then just make sure that that's almost in the, like the plane of the... Can you see how the diamond comes out of the plane of the, of the wire and then comes back up again? Spend a bit of time to make the diamond shape like a diamond. And now we're going to bring the wire back around. Now, sorry everyone, just, because I'm working on the reel, which is a real pain. I'm just going to take it off. It's slipping all over the place, so I'm just going to take it away. Don't need it. Right, there we go. So that's much You're better. You're hindering yourself yeah, for no ball. reason. It was just like <laughs> a, a ball and chain. So um, now we're going to follow back round. So this looks like it's all over the place. And it's really awkward, you know, and bits of wire and bit here and there. But once you start to weave the beads into place, this will all hold itself together. So from this, I just want to make sure I've got the shaping correct. So on that first wire that it came down on. So I'm going to put it back to the diagram. And because I was making that diamond shape, it slightly distorted it. So I'm just following that line, just pulling that round, putting that little diamond round at the end. Now we're going to work and just pull this other wire around, just so we're going to shape with the wire tail around, all the way around in a circle to make the main headband. So I'm going to come back round, all the way around in a circle. So this is the main strength of the, of the frame itself. Okay. So that's going to come all the way around, back round. So don't do anything else, just come all the way around to the other side. 
and spend a bit of time making sure that you've got the bends in the right place. Okay, can you see that now? All the way around to that side and then make a, a diamond at the other end. So come upwards from the paper and make a diamond. And spend a bit of time to make sure those diamonds are exactly the same size on either side, just so it looks nicer um, to do that. And those are almost like little grips for the side of the head. So I'm just pulling the wire around as a diamond shape. And now I'm going to bring the wire back <laughs> to make another parallel line around this side. So I'm just going to shape that, that curve, that long line of wire around, just to make sure I've got the right length. And pro I probably should have checked a bit more to make sure that was the right length, because this headband is going to here is going to be a bit big. So I would probably go back and reshape that. So this side is going to be a bit too long. But just make sure that you make sure that you don't do that, because we're a centimetre too long on this side compared to the other side. Will that make a major difference? Well, it just makes slightly wonky wonky one side to the other it won't balance in the center so i would go back okay. and reshape that okay coming back round again here's the point at which you could put the head combs in so once you've got that balanced you know you're pretty sure that you've um you have to make sure things are central so make sure that is the same the right length come around here and you can either just come round this side and make a bend that's what i did i did and cut here or you can take the time here at this point to make a head comb. So you can shape in a zigzag all the way down here a head comb. Okay, and that's something you could use just to embed in the hair if you felt it wasn't. But I think if you want to make one without first, and then if you um, want to add a head comb, you can put one in once you know how to make it, because it's just an added element of the design. Would you make it quite flexible so you can sort of grip it into the hair? The whole, yeah, well, it's just a, a, um, when you make that crown, the head comb will be in that third pass of wire, the last pass of wire, and you just have it from here. And then as you so push it's just it on, okay. you push it on the head, you just push it in. And you, that bit pushes into the, the, top, the front bit of the hair and adds that bit of security. You've got a bit of weight at the front. So that last pass, pass of wire, once you made that, that curve around, that second kite bend, come around here, you can either bring the wire all the way around in a simple line until you get to this little bend here, and make a little kink upwards or you can use this wire to form a head comb like that which you can hammer and a head comb if I show you if I draw really you want it's almost like like that shape can you see how I'm doing it almost like a little like that and then it's not quite as as regular I could have bought, drawn it can you see it's almost like yeah. a little so squish here so bring it down the wire down squish the wire at the end like and a then bring pod. it back, yes, and then it will fit nicely into the hair. Um, and you don't have to have as many prongs as of, it'll just it's enough to fit into that length because if you're using 1.25 millimeter wire, you may only get six prongs in there. You know what I mean? So because it's, you're asking quite a lot of yourself to fold mm. the wire into that, I just did it as an idea. Okay, Thank so you. that's the point where you could put head comb in if you felt the one that you made wasn't going to was going to be too heavy because you could put anything on it. You could put peacock feathers or all sorts of stuff onto your, you know, make a really... Um, like the sound of peacock feathers. Yes. So that's you know what me. you could do. So that's to add the strength to it. But this design, for this tiara, you don't need to. You can bring the wire all the way around and fold upwards. Now I'm going to go straight on to the next stage so okay. that you've got um, um, probably an idea of what I've made. So I'm going to put the board back in place. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. That's it. That's it. So here's the finished... Um, frame or the frame that's ready to, to work on and I've got some wire just scrap wire here just to um, bind it in place so that you can't um, so it doesn't hasn't distorted but you can see the double track here um, either side and the diamond shape and that crown shape here and the arms either side and this I haven't quite um, trimmed to length in case in case when you bead up either side, you haven't quite got, you've got either too, you don't want to end up doing too little here. So I've cut a bit too much and you can trim back to the right length. Because when you bead up this length, this area here, you might find you need a little bit more wire as you, as you pull it all together. You don't want to end up too short. So a little bit extra there won't do any harm at all. 
So there's the frame ready to, to work on. So we're going to work on either side. But first, I'm just going to hammer, hammer some parts of it so that you can see uh, where you need to hammer. So don't hammer any of the circle, the, the round circular bit. If you put a comb in, yes, hammer the comb section that's coming from the centre bit. So you can hammer that bit. But you do need to hammer these end plates and you do need to hammer these supports because they're going to need to be work hardened to actually take some of the weight of what you're doing. So bring in a steel block. I've got loads of these. This one's really marked, but don't worry about it. Yours hopefully won't be. And I'm just going to take, um, well, I have loads of different hammers, but oh, there's a hammer for everything. <laughs> so you can use one of your big hammers, a big planishing hammer for this one. Um, and I use these smaller faced hammers for little small detailed areas, okay, so that you need to go into. But big planishing hammer is perfect. So you hammer the back of it, like so, and just hammer the end diamond um, with everything else off the edge of the, tiara, off, off the steel block. Like that, and do the other side. There we go. Like that. And then use the diagram again to reshape the tiara. Okay, so use the diagram again to reshape it if it's come out. Also, you need to hammer these um, this crown. So I'm just going to take the the uh, wire off one end and, and um, the only thing in addition to that, that the kit we've got which is lovely and you've got um, a pretty good flush cutter um, set in there I, I use um, flush cutters that I'm used to with the hands so this is why but the cutters in the new kit are fantastic so um, just going to, to come up with this um, chara end uh, sorry the chara crown and I'm just going to hammer this portion, there's a zigzaggy bit, just to give it some strength. See how I'm doing that. And this large face hammer covers a lot of distance really quickly, so you can get it done quite quickly. So I'm nearly there. And that's that done. So Stop there, don't hammer any cross bits, so just be really careful not to hammer any cross bits of wire. So that's just toughen that bit up. That's going to be really rigid now and will hold a lot of heavy stuff on it um, quite happily. So the next bit is adding some beads in. So we need to add the beads in a certain way. Now with here I've shown you, uh, we've got sort of the various stages of completion. And I do the sides first, the sides first. And then they'll do the central the central portion. It just means that you can you can make sure each side is equal, and um, and everything is fixed in place. Because you work on this bit first. Um, number one, you've you've actually got to try and feed in wires through through tiny gaps because. Um, once you've got one end bound in place, it's, it's, it becomes awkward to weave. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, and also you've got time to adjust things if you've got things wrong with the sizing. So we're going to start on the, on the sides. So make sure that you do the sides first and then you do the central bit. Because when you do the central bit, that's the, the time at which you start to bend things upwards and change it from a, from a flat, um, flat shape to a crown shape. So I'm going to take some 0.4mm wire, and in the kits, oh my goodness, they're some fantastic beads, um, and the most wonderful ones are these iridescent, the, the silver kit, oh my gosh. Beautiful, I'm not sure if we've got any of that ones. silver kit left, have the we? The Silverline Crystal AB, they're I'll have beautiful. a look, we're going to bring it up, we've got a, a handful left, uh, we're going to pop, pop it up on your screen. Mm. So you get uh, the wire. The 0.8, the 0.4, and the one millimetre, mm -hmm. and then you get all the beads, and you get loads of head pins as well. Brilliant, brilliant. And what I was going to say is, in the gold kit, if there's any of that left, <gasps> there is the most beautiful um, gold AB, which I just literally I loved. I, I used. I mean, actually, that went re a long way. Gosh, that's, that went really. Is it mad just, how far they go? That's half, a, less than half a tube, and I've done everything and the demos and everything. So and the one that I'm well, wearing, yeah. you've done. <laughs> It's mad how yeah. far so they go. There we go. Amazing. So starting near the base of one of the little diamonds, we're going to work up one side and just show you the start the weaving technique. So um, 
I'm taking a long length of 0.4 millimeter wire because actually you want to not to have to add it in wire um, in the middle of the strut or middle of the side. You can add in wire once you get to this cranny area. So as long as you've got enough wire to get yourself up to this point, that's that's all you need. So oh, okay. I went with um, I'm going with a short length now because I want, don't want to take too long weaving. But I went for about 1.1.2 meters, something like that. That would that would do up one side. So working near one end of 0.4 millimetre wire, which is really good, lovely, flexible and strong and, um, and, and holds the beads and doesn't break, um, bring it round. And if you're working with 0.25 millimetre wire, just pass things, um, extra wraps and pass things through the beads um, maybe two or three times to hold them in place. So I've done about two wraps round um, one side of the frame near the base of the little um, triangle. And then two wraps around the other side. And what the, before I do any cutting, I just want to, and I'm pulling it in, so that end is really close to the uh, intersection here because I don't want any wire ends to snag near the hair. So it's, make sure you finish on the inside of this 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 shape here. So I'm just going to uh, pull or side to side squeeze of the pliers, and let's make sure everything neatens up. And then I'm bringing in some flush cutter pliers in really close to the inside edge, like so, and cutting the wire. And then I use the chain nose pliers again with a smoothing motion in just to smooth it round. You slightly press, work near the tips, slightly press it with it, and also I'm rolling at the same time. So I'm pressing and rolling the wire around. Then run your fingers over and just make sure there's no sharp edges because this is going to be worn on the head and the first thing people do, you know, you're, you're, they're very sensitive on the head, some people they don't like anything on their heads, anything sharp at all. So now the starting point to put the beads on. So we are going to put some of this beautiful um, iridescent AB um, Mayuki on and working with a sticky bead mat, which is one of my favourite, 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 favourite things. I love a sticky bead mat, <laughs> and I use it all the time um, for cabochon setting and all sorts of different things. It's wonderful. So I've brought one 10 so 8 bead on, and I'm going to sit it on the frame in between the two wires, or in fact on the top of the two wires. Um, and then I'm going to pass the wire the 0.4 millimetre wire through that bead again. We're and just putting some more 1.25 millimetre wire yes. on the show. We yes. weren't, we, we had to fight to get this. Yes. So we're just, oh, it's, the it. fight has been won. It's <laughs> well going done. on your screen. I'm sorry you to interrupt you, yeah. but we are putting yes. those gauges that you want in, yes. in oh, 195. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, Rhett, I'm so sorry okay. to interrupt you. Two tiaras out of that. And so that's fantastic. So it's really, really useful. I mean, stock scraps, up at that price as well. Any scraps, um, use it for hooks and the hooks for the decoration. So it's perfect. Um, so uh, I've gone twice through the bead, you can go three times through if you like, and then what I'm going to do is a little weave in between the two wires just to show you how you, you do that. So you, could, you basically work all the way up the sides with that. So one, two, three, you can, as long as you basically do the same uh, pattern all the way up, it doesn't matter how many you put on, um, how many weaves you do, or how many binding weaves. So I've done three round, round one frame. And then I'm passing to the other frame, and I'm going to do three. I'm going to rotate the piece because it's easier for me to work on, and three round the other frame. And this is a really, really simple basket weave. I mean, it's it, the, the whole point about wire working is it's it's just it's you're able to join pieces together with these very simple weaves and binding wraps it's, it's, and as you build them up then the piece becomes more complex but the actual te techniques themselves are not awful you know they're, they're lovely you can do this in, a, in your living room um, with everything around um, everyone else to able to live their lives around you so I've done three and three you could do four by four it doesn't really matter and then put another bead on and you put on the next one on and then carry on all the way up in the same way. Sorry, I'm just not going to get my beads on the wire. And then sit, that will sit next to the first one you put on. And then, again, pass the, the wire around the back of the frame and pass it again through the bead. And work all the way up, all the way up that side, just like that. 
and then all the way up the other side in exactly the same way. And now we're going to work on the crown section. Okay, so you've done all that beading up the side, and it makes a really lovely um, sort of pattern. It's got a shine to it. You probably can't see that on the screen, but it's got a really nice shine to it. It's lovely. So now we're going to work on this um, main section. So you've got three pieces of wire to weave on now. And when you look at the crown, it's really, really simple and similar to the weave up the side. You're just adding in, you're just finding around an extra wire frame there. Can you see if you look in there? So we're going to start from this end first, the bit that's got the trim bit of wire that we very first started on when we first made the frames. And this is the bit that hasn't been trimmed to size. And that's, remember what I said is that as you come round here, you might find that, you're, that you didn't quite have the right length. So as you weave round, and then you'll be able to just cut, trim that to size when you get to that point. Um, you can at this stage curl this wire, but I left it to the very end to make sure I had both wire ends the same size. So what I'm going to do is just... Um, now, at this point, we're going to decide whether to have it um, straight up like that or whether to make it into a crown. So what we're going to do is make it into a crown. So I'm going to bend this up and round just with my fingers, round like so. Can you see there like that? And it makes it into a crown. So I've just, just spent some time just literally just moving that into place around just making sure it all fits together. Can you see that now? So I've made a crown, just simply this like that. So don't do that bit, bending it up until you've done those two sides because you've got something firm to work against and something firm to, to shape against. And there, so I've turned that flat shape into a three-dimensional shape, just like that. So that's, 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 you can see it's not horrible to do. It's not, not, it just takes a bit of time to do the, the binding the beads on, but it's not a horrible thing to do, it's not complicated, it's Can lovely. we move the hammer in? Yes. Sorry. Right, there we go, perfect, so see, thanks so darling. Shall I do it again? So, from the flat shape, all you have to do is start bending it up and round, and bending it up and round so that you can make the three dimensional shape. And you do that after you've woven the two sides. So, um, the other wire stays flat, but just the zigzaggy bit, you can bend upwards. And you can manipulate that after binding the beads in place as well um, you know this is just the first stage of that so I'm going to start to bind that in place the first place to start with is just use I've used got a wire tail left over from doing this um, side and I'm just going to start binding around all three wires just with a, with a binding wrap it's just it's a little bit fiddly when you first start this sort of thing because obviously everything's fighting a little bit to to, to have its memory of its old shape and and it's um, still not all bound in place yet. So I'm going to bring a bead in and hide that connection. And you can see with the golden charm that Jenny is wearing, I actually bound in some tiny little snowflakes um, off, um, uh, around the edges. After, um, so I worked on the snowflakes um, um, prongs in a different order. So in that one, I added uh, put the snowflakes together. Um, from the booklet, or the arms, in the same way as the booklet. Then I wired um, um, uh, half snowflakes all the way around the edges um, near the base. And so it's just a little bit of extra detail. You don't have to do that. So I bound on a bead, and then all you need to do is use that same technique of passing from one wire to the other along this little section here, because you're only wiring, winding around two, so you're adding on beads all the way along there, and that's with that same weave pattern. And when you get to this, this section here, which I, I'm pretending I've, I've put beads along, just bind around two wires here um, with, um, with the wraps, um, leaving the third wire at the base free. So bind that around, adding a, a, um, with two wraps, or three wraps, say, um, in the same weave pattern, but you're binding around two wires. I'm going to just do two for speed. Just bind around the base wire three times, but I'm going to do two for speed, and then bind around all three with a bead. So it's just a slightly different um, pattern. You're just adding a bead in over the three wires. So you can see, and that's how you get the three wires joined together. Oops, come on, bead. 
down you go. So you do that all the way around. And again, just make sure at this stage that you're holding, you can even clamp things in place with pliers and things like that, just to make sure that they're flat like that. Just make sure that that little pa that little panel is, is quite flat, that set of three, as you bind around them. So keep on going all the way around until you get the other side. So going on to the finished crown, or the crown ready to have the snowflakes on, you can see what I've done. I've, I've woven all the way along with, with the same pattern as on the side arms in the, in the spaces in between the prongs, and then caught in, caught in the, the third wire with that extra binding uh, around both wires. So you can see how I've built it, built it up. So these wire ends now need to be curled, and you used to use your round nose pliers for that. Got in them. your kit, your in the tool kit. kit. So, That's on your um, screen just now. And I got to rave about these as well, because these are beautifully fine tipped. Seriously. Yeah, they're really skinny, aren't they? What you need. They've got good base, so you can get nice um, big fat loops there. But if you go to the, the tips, they are beautiful. That's what you need in a good set of pliers. You need these fine tips so that you can make the... And the closure's good. So I really recommend these these particular pliers. They've got fine tips and they're perfect. They're exactly what I want. So you can make the smallest of loops, can you see, or the biggest of loops um, with the same set of pliers, and that's just what you need. Got about three minutes, Rachel, right, just so, so you know. This is really quick now, luckily. <laughs> so you just make a curl. Make a curl, cut the end off. Because the end is work hard and straight. You don't want to get a nice curl. And curl down. Do the same for the other side. If you can, hard, um, work hammer. So, but you don't have to. If you can hammer it, put it on the side of a steel block and use a small face hammer, one ounce or two ounce, to get into that. Well, can you see how to do that? Right. So you do that same for the other side. Next thing you need to do is get your booklet. <laughs> this might take a bit more time. <laughs> so we've only got two left this of those, but we are over allocated by about 70. That's okay. So literally, if you want this, there are two. Oh. Two. Right. Oh, it might have gone, actually. Oh, Sorry. Oh, lucky. Two. So you need to make one two. large snowflake, <laughs> two mediums, and um, two smalls. And there's also a third, uh, fourth mini, but you don't need to make these for these. You do need, to, uh, you can make the mini snowflake for the, for the golden tiara. So as long as you've got the booklet, you can you put can them this. together. So all you need to do then is wire them on. So um, this one's going to fit here, like, like so. Whoops, a daisy. And these will fit round, like so. I'm just going to show you the basics of that. If we can get the other silver one, I'm going to bring that over. Oh, that's oh, lost my head. We've <laughs> lost Anne Boleyn. Lost my head. So you can see how these are wired on. So I've got a small amount of time. So if I turn this around, you can it's see beautiful. how they're wired to the back. So stunning. Now I'm going to bring in a bit of scrap wire and just show you that just wiring on the basic start of wiring one on. So Now while you're doing that, Rachel, I'm just going to remind everybody the kits are both limited stock. We're going to give you a little refresher uh, that on the screen. So your silver and crystal uh, QWX C96-1795. Uh, the next one is the red and the gold. Very quickly before we pass back over to Rachel, WJX C261495. Both of those kits are now limited stock. Okay, Rachel, you've got about so, a minute. That's right. What I did, <laughs> so really quickly, I'll describe it. So I started by attaching some wire to the centre of the top of the centre of one of the loops um, and wound it around a few times. And so I'll do that. And I'm only going to wire, wind it around twice. <laughs> which you should do about four times probably and then you can bring in your snowflake you find it four times bring in the snowflakes so it sits with the loop in the middle and just make sure the struts struts sit either side of one of the arms face, facing down and you can see that with this one here and I have as I've as I've gone around the loop I've wound all the way down the struts and gone into the little points in the snowflake and actually and actually um, bound it in. So all you need to do, put the wire through and bind it through the snowflake, front to back, concealing the wraps in between beads and wrap. Or, and you, you can see I've just done one to start to make the attachment and then pass it back through the snowflake again. And just make sure the wraps are hidden. There's so many beads you can hide the wraps in, but you can see how it's starting to attach in. 
Thank okay. you so That's much, it. Rachel. Uh, now, you're going to be back in an hour, so yeah. anything that you feel you've got questions for, yeah. um, get them through to us now, and then Rachel will be back in one hour's time. We're trying to allocate the 1.25 in the silver. Um, we are having a bit of a difficulty doing that. Uh, thank you so much to the That's wonderful okay. Rachel Norris. Don't you go anywhere. The fun continues with Pearls after the break, and Rachel will be back in an hour. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some incredibly exciting news. Now, many of you know that us guest designers work incredibly hard behind the scenes to bring our tutorial DVDs to the show. Well, this Sunday, the 22nd of November, I am bringing, and I can't quite believe this, I am bringing to air during the mid-show between 12 noon and 2 p.m. my 50th, that's right, my 50th DVD. And because it was a special, I was asked, you can do whatever you like, Mark, you can do whatever you want on this DVD. So I've chosen two of my favorite all-time products. I'm incorporating Super Duos alongside Shell Pearl. Now, as many of you know, they are my ultimate beads. I love using them. And to be able to produce a DVD using these two products, just a dream come true. So that's Sunday, the 22nd of November. Join myself, presenter Jenny and the team between 12 noon and 2 p.m. for the launch of the Shell Pearl Super Duo Projects DVD. Kits, bundles, products, tools, you name it, we've got everything. It's gonna be an incredible two hours. And of course, my 50th DVD launch. So make sure you tune in between 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. And Jenny and I look forward to seeing you there. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8am to 8pm. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker. Thank you so, so much to Rachel Norris. We're just doing a little changeover, but the most exciting thing for me, we've got some gorgeous pearl kits coming up for you. The most exciting thing for me. <laughs> you know I went home and put my candle on last night. I fully did. Uh, this is coming up in a bit for you. It's a huge rose quartz from the mineral man i am so excited if i had a tail i would wag it what about this weekend everybody so we kicked off yesterday with hayley kruger and with debbie debbie kershaw debbie kershaw is back now we've had rachel wonderful norris we've got the gorgeous debbie kershaw coming up in just a second and of course tomorrow we are going to be launching Mark Smith's 50th ever DVD. I'm going to be talking to you about 50 reasons we love Mark Smith. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, now, that's coming up soon for you. We've got two gorgeous kits. I've got more books, a bead tray. I've got Malachi. I've got it all going on. Oh, Handy Andy. Yeah, you know this. You know this we've got Handy Andy. Have a little look. He's dabbing, yeah, he's full, he's a full-on dab. Please welcome my guest for the hour. It's the wonderful Debbie Debbie Kershaw. 
<laughs> how are you, darling? I'm good. How are you? I'm grand. All the better for seeing you. How amazing were those designs, those racial oh, nice designs? She's just something else, and isn't she? And do you know she? what? Not only is she a genius, but she is a lovely, lovely person too. And a feeder. And a feeder. Have you had... We have all been eating not just any cookies Ooh. you know those cookies yes. and i'm telling you i did not know i like lemon drizzle cookies but <gasps> oh man oh man Tasty. they are on my wish list <laughs> um we are buzzed for your um your show right now we've got the most amazing kits and didn't you get did you get these little star Aren't they yeah, great? Like little stardust beads they're gorgeous they're fantastic let's have a perusal across your jewelry these are gorgeous. I love pearls. There's so many things you can do with them. I mean, you can go minimal, you can go crazy. I mean, I've, I've put just a, one on a chain, which is so on trend at the moment. And, um, you know, or you can go a bit crazy like that one there. It's gorgeous. I love it. Now, should we, are you ready to shop? There's three ways you can do it. 0800 644 com if you're shopping online. Or you can tap the app. We're going to give to you... We're going to give you the ones that we were just literally talking about. Here we go. So you've got coloured pearls. Now, it's very... I used... I will tell you this all the time. So I used to work in Canada, which sounds like I lived there, but I didn't. I used to fly out there every month for a week and have the rest of the month off. That's a mad thing to do, isn't it? But yeah, you say it's a life, but I had children. So mm. I, di and I didn't want to live there because I wanted, didn't want to take them away from my mum. But when you get on a plane... And go on like a 10 hour journey away from your children it is they didn't care they were with my mum they loved it she spoiled them never said no but it was a hard <laughs> thing um but i did love my time in canada i worked there for about 10 years i think on and off how oh, lovely i've got family in canada I've never lovely been. oh you must go mm. anyway my point being mike you must think well what's the point in that jenny what are you talking to me about that well my point is that it reminds me of Canada. I noticed that a lot of the Canadian women, I was in Toronto, yeah. um, wore coloured pearls. It was the first time that I'd ever known oh, they were really? a thing. Very, maybe it's an American thing altogether. Maybe it's just a North American thing. But yeah, I really noticed it. And I love the style in Canada, the seasons in Canada. And this reminds me of that. The colours in Canada and, and unlike any uh, anything else in the world you get the most amazing seasons and this it, it really is typical of that now i think these could be very bridesmaidy these colors together i think they're just blooming gorgeous and you also get a black spinel strand now black spinel is always popular just look at that sparkle it's absolute finesse then these were the babies that we were just talking about now if you like making chakra bracelets or if you like making anything a little bit different or even wish bracelets and you don't want to do gemstones with them then these are your one now you're also getting chain lever back earrings eye loop head pins uh split jump rings your toggles your um yeah two of those flat head pins you get your lever back earrings and you get your crimps and crimp covers so you get absolutely stacks in this kit for 21.95 now let me just invite you to um take your mind shopping to that place where you can get crafty things you're normally in an industrial estate in your area it's hobby craft um <laughs> i was gonna we're going to hobby craft we like going there don't we off we go do do tootle 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 I like going there for certain things. The baking section in the one in Stevenage, it's the nearest one to me, is absolute rubbish. But you'll go in there. In my opinion, they didn't. They don't. They just. Yeah, I am a bit sorry. <laughs> um, good for ribbons and cardstock. That's you know. I'm not going to take it much further than that. Anyway, shut up, Jenny. So. My point being is that if you take yourself into that hobby shop and you get yourself a metre of chain with 18 karat gold on base metal and you get all these findings, first of all, I think you're going to find that pretty hard. This is real gold on base metal. And I think if you did find them, I think they'd be about 25 or 26 pounds at least. And perhaps the chain would be separate for eight pounds. I don't know. Um, I think that's a great price for the findings alone. You've got two strands of genuine pearls with that gorgeous colour. So they are painted a pearlescent paint over the top of freshwater pearls, black spinel, genuine gemstones. The price is phenomenal. And this is party season jewellery, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, it totally is. Um, I just want to say, I'm looking at it now, I have the spinel mixed up in my kits because my jewellery has got the red spinel in, in, are we sure that this goes? The garnet, I think that is, Yeah, the garnet. Yeah. No, it's... that's okay because you can mix and match these. You get black spinel in this one, definitely. Okay. Yours so just came in, in my, separately. Yeah, mine came in differently. Beautiful. So if you look into my uh, jewellery, it'll have the red in instead of the black. But that gives us an but alternative you can use look. either, so that would Absolutely. give you a different way of doing it. Thank you so much, Debbie. Now, we have got that kit for you. And in this, in that instance, you've got those beautiful pearls. I'm trying to describe the colour on those. They're not peach and they're not cream. They're somewhere in between. Maybe a, like a, an antique lace colour. They are in a, like a very vintage -y antique look. I yeah. think these would be great for bridal, but these would also be great if you're making new sort of modern pearl pieces. Yeah, you can go either way. Mm. Can't I think you? you can with pearls, can't yeah. you? I love pearls. You can go crazy, like I just wire wrap those and just round them all round each other. Or you can go minimal and just put, like you saw just now, just one pearl on a chain. It's completely up to you. I've got to say, this garnet is unreal. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Look at the sparkle. I love that strand. Is this exclusive, this strand to the kit? You can't get this outside of the... That garnet is unreal. It's beautifully sparkly it's got the most amazing clarity there are tiny wee facets on every single one and it's just giving the paparazzi flash i love that now we've got here's that antique color we were talking about and they are classic vintage that's such a lovely golden color isn't it mm. like an antique gold i love it then you've got the silver very mother of the bride there but then just in front of me you get the silver stardust beads and they are silver on base metal. But then you get all those findings, so the same as last time uh, with the findings and with the beads. They're all in silver, though, this time. And then you get the two strands of freshwater pearls with that gorgeous pleasant paint. And then you've got that garnet. Now, that garnet really is. I'd pay £20 for that garnet on its own. Is I that think what it's lovely. Going to? £20? 90, yeah, with change. <gasps> Whoa, okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty special because when you think of what you can make with, and you know, pearls at the moment, they've just gone crazy. It's like every other year they do that, don't they? I mean, yeah. They never go out of fashion. But this year, I mean, pearls are everywhere. I think the crown has had a lot to do with that. Because they're so regal, aren't they? So they're so regal. regal. And you look at pearls throughout the ages and they're just, I mean, the V&A did pearls throughout the oh, ages, didn't yes. they? And we had the Queen's pearls, we had, um, you know, Pearls dating right back to the Tudor time. We had uh, Audrey Hepburn's pearls. Yes. We had uh, Jacqueline Onassis. I mean, uh, oh, and they had some from Elizabeth Taylor's collection, the pearls and diamonds that she had, uh, all displayed at the V&A. Oh, I think it was called the Pearls Throughout Eight, the Ages um, display at the Victoria and Albert. And I really wish I'd got to go. And I went to go and something happened. I can't remember. I probably broke a leg or something. DNX C39. This is the classic pearl collection i'm absolutely buzzing to see what debbie is going to show us because i know that i know that you love pearls as much as i do they are one of my all-time favorites you never can go wrong with a pearl it's always going to look stylish it's always going to look classy it's always going to look sophisticated uh, and if those are things that you, perhaps you feel like you're struggling with in your designs you absolutely got to have them haven't you you got it. Debbie, what are you going to show us, my darling angel? I'm going to show you how to make a flower out of pearls, because why not? Why not, indeed? So, um... I, I knew used... you'd get a flower. <laughs> I know. We love got... them. I love them. Um, so there you've got a lovely sort of purple, and I've, I've put the garnet in there, but you could put the black spinel, whatever you want. You could put seed beads in there if you wanted to. And I've just used 0.4 wire, which I've added in to the kit there. So I'm actually going to make a blue pearl. Um, flower on this one. So on the one that I made uh, here on my mat, can I see my mats? Just check I'm in frame, please. Ah, I am good. I've got seven. <laughs> Perfecto. Okay, seven um, petals there because I tend to find that um, an odd number like threes, fives, and sevens. It's just more pleasing to the eye. It seems to be a thing. So I'm going to pop on one of the pearls to my 0.4 wire there. Let's move it out of the way so you can see. And then I'm just going to bring the wire down the back of the pearl. And this is quite easy to do because the back of the, this, these pearls are quite flat. So they sit against your skin really well. And then I'm just going to hold the base of the pearl and just do a gentle 
twisting technique. Then I'm going to take my tail again and put on my next pearl. Drop it all the way down to my first pearl and really just place it where I want it to roughly sit. Pop my tail down the back, holding on to both of the tails at the bottom and gently twist so that you've got two there. And then I'm going to add another one. So you've got three here. Again, I want it to sort of, I'm going around in a circle with it so I can see where I want my little pearls to sit and my flowers. And then I'm going to hold on to both of my tails again and just gently twist with my hands. If you find it difficult to twist things with your hands, don't worry, you can actually do this with your pliers. That's really not a problem. So that's three there. I'm going to I'm going to just do five here so you don't have to watch me twisting away for ages. So that's three. Let's move the tail out of the way. Let's see where I want my fourth one to sit, roughly there. Obviously you'll be taking a lot longer than I am and enjoying it because it's really I find jewelry making and all my crafting at the moment really relaxing, especially in the times that we're in. Oh, you got yeah. We were talking about mindfulness yesterday, weren't we? Well, you know, you know, I couldn't have an actual candle. We were talking about being obsessed with candles. Yeah, I couldn't have an actual candle in the hotel room last night without setting the fire alarms off because I have done that before by accident. <laughs> so, who goes to work and brings their fake candle with them? <laughs> You're hilarious. And I was thinking what, what we were like saying. Like a flameless is, candle. Yeah, flameless one. You know, I the, love them. the one with the battery in. Yeah, I've got that them. Going, and I was thinking about what we were saying yesterday, how obsessed we are. That's how obsessed I am with candles. I can, Listen, you've got to have a candle going. It's, there's something about... <laughs> the, it's the rule. Yeah, but those flameless candles I use for when I want to turn all the lights off and just have a little rest. Oh, in the but summer. But I don't want to fall asleep. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. because if I fall asleep, then with a the candle going, I've got a real Dangerous, thing yeah. like, yeah. you know, if anyone's going to set their bedroom on fire it's going to be me isn't it <laughs> so yeah that was me with my handle so I've done five of just for this flower which of course you can do I've done five of my petals and then all you need to do with your tails is just sort of wrap it around so that you're giving that flower some structure you can go forwards and back you can go around each the base of each petal if you want so that's like that until you've got a pleasing shape but you've also got some structure there so it's not sort of bending about and then what I did was take my longest stem pop it through the middle and pop on my let's put it in my stardust bead. Now I've got a slight kink at the end of my wire, so I'm just going to nip that off actually. And then pop it in. Go in, little stardust bead. Ah, oh, I've done it. And then once that lovely star uh, dust bead, starburst I literally said, starburst bead is sitting in the centre, I'm just adding in a seed bead at the end or you could add a spacer from your kit and then I'm going to take my wire back down through my star, uh, <laughs> I can't speak today, through your star, through my star bead and just secure it at the other side, okay I'm not going to mess about so that you have basically got your little flower there with your little bead or whatever in the middle and then you can just twist your tails at the back and sort of connect them to whatever you want so if you wanted to push those upwards and just do a, a wrap loop and add that to a chain you could if you wanted to wire wrap that around something you could so a nice sort of simple project there for you to do um, with your pearls Thank you so much, my darling. Now, I've got a book that we're going... Uh, I've just been looking at this. We don't have enough of these. I've just looked up on my screen. Um, and the price we're going to is so ridiculous, it's almost offensive. 
because I've seen things like this for about a hundred pounds before. Rose quartz, Great yeah. big, but it's Lovely, heavy. heavy. Mm -hmm. That was in a crystal healing shop. It'd be about between eighty and a hundred pounds, depending on where it was. Mm -hmm. The price we're going to, I don't even want to talk about it in front of the rose quartz. We don't want to offend the rose quartz. I don't do want to no, offend the rose not. quartz. I'm slightly glad, though, because I'm going to get one. Now, I want to show you the Coachella. We're not going to a festival. Should we go Coachella? I'd love to go Coachella, <laughs> wouldn't you? Coachella, yeah. Oh, I'd love to go to Coachella. All oh, the way in America. Look at the earrings. Look at these. Oh, you need this book in your life if you want to be able to create. And that was just two of the many designs. We are buzzing for these designs. There are 50 different designs here. This really is incredible. Even when I show you at the back of the book, you're going to... Ah, oh, look at those. They're gorgeous. Look at the colours. Have a look at the earrings. So 50 different designs. And you've got the step-by-step -step pictures to show you exactly how... To create them they get they go from a beginner right up to intermediate 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 kumi hoops uh, flower basket oh my gosh look at these the rising phoenix now if sir mark smith was to see that he loves his phoenix have a look look at these look at these now what if i was to tell you that these are going to 34 pence a design that is utterly mad your 50 beaded earrings, UTM D57. We're going to 16.95 and away you go. Uh, make sure you're very, very quick. We are absolutely smashing the Amazon price on this one. So if you want to be able to create, if you want to give the gift of creativity, then absolutely. A book. I love learning from books, whether it's a recipe, whether it's anything. I love learning from books because I I, to. you know where you got that design from. Whereas if you got it off the internet, you're there going, oh, that was years ago. I don't know where I got that yeah, from. That's true. Books are the one, aren't they? You can keep them, but I think as well, if I I don't know what it is. If I'm looking at it on a screen, like when I did the beadsmith things for, for us a few weeks ago, I had to print off the instructions because I can't yeah. learn by looking at a screen I don't know why I, I, I need the paper I agree with and you and I want to underline things and make notes and put it in my own words and with pencil and that's what you can do and also Jill Wiseman's in this book and I love Jill Wiseman Jill <laughs> Wiseman is in this book I oh, so I just designs. gave you a little um I gave I gave you a rundown so there are designs from Penny Dixon Barbara Falkovich Amy Heftwagovich I said that wrong. Lisa Can, uh, Maggie Meister, Christina Neat, Melissa Grukowski, uh, and Jill Wiseman, which was definitely one that um, that we were you, you were buzzing for. Would you, yeah. Where have you where have you seen Jill Wiseman? Well, Jill before? Wiseman does a lot of tutorials, uh, free tutorials, and Jill actually was one of the people that taught me how to seed be just by Ooh. her books and her yeah and she's really she makes really wearable designs some some seed bee books i look at i have to be honest and i think they're complicated for the sake of being complicated what i love about this book is every time you turn the page i think oh i'd make that because i'd wear it look how wearable yes. those designs are yes you know, they're you're not right. complicated for the sake of being complicated do you know what i mean does that I, make sense it 100 percent does i think they're gorgeous i love every single look at these Waxing crescent moon earrings. You would definitely wear all of these. And there's... Oh, I love those. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous. Look. And I love the Phoenix ones as well. And do you know what? I think these are all fantastic. Arabesque. 
There's loads. We've only got 20 books left. Message just in. Yeah, I love Jo Wiseman too. It's not just me. Isn't she wonderful? And when she teaches, she just teaches in such a slow and a way that you can understand and she just yeah she helped teach me seed beading so to have a book with a stuff in I think is quite special I, I agree with you there's loads and loads and loads of you stacking up for this maybe you're going to get it for a Christmas gift maybe it's, you're gifting this to yourself give yourself a little gift mindfulness everybody mindfulness we try don't we we do we, try. Try. we really do uh, crystals candles beading making baking all these kinds of things are just a joy to do, especially important if you're trying to get that sort of mindfulness in your life. Now, why? <gasps> it's My producer is in a funny mood. Do you want, what are you doing? Trying to see how far you can. You're like my kids, seeing how far you can push it, aren't you? <laughs> All and in a minute, you're going to push it too far. Was, I'm going to take it lower, and then someone went, no! <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 Bruce went, what's wrong with you? What's something you, wrong Bruce? with you today? <laughs> I, I know. Like, no, don't take it lower. <laughs> oh, well, too late. This is very 20, good. The RRP on this is 24 I was just going to ask you that. Well, of course they've sold out. Absolutely. I want one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we please do my... Oh, oh hang you. on, you've got, to get, you've got to get in your frame of mind with me now. Are you ready? Can we bring the lights down a little bit, please? Hmm. Lights down. Lights down. Hmm. Hmm. Something like this, next to my candles. Yeah. This is a rose quartz, and it has the most beautiful, gentle essence of a colour. It's the stone of the heart. A crystal of unconditional love. It carries a soft feminine energy of compassion and peace. Tenderness and healing are definitely two words that are associated with this gemstone. Nourishment and comfort. Uh, it speaks directly to the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. Dissolving emotional wounds, fears and resentments. And circulates a divine loving energy throughout the entire aura Reawakening the heart to its own innate love. It provides a deep sense of personal fulfillment and contentment, allowing one's uh, capacity to truly give and receive from others. This is called the heart stone. I just needed to get in my little Zen space there, which is why I asked my director to bring the lights down because we just like Zen. And now I'm about to rock your world right back up and wake us up because at 19.95 you're paying the price of a tiny piece of rose quartz. This is ridiculously low in price. We should never, never see anything like this at this price again. Look at the size of this. It's beautiful. If you're into crystal healing, you need this. Now, it's smoothed off at the bottom. This would also be amazing for taking photographs of your jewellery. Imagine if you just wanted to place pearls across it and you wanted to take photographs of that. We've only got a few of these left. Please make sure you're checking out baskets. At under £20, this is completely nuts. A small, small piece. In fact, less than a quarter of this would be. It's sold out. Has it sold out? I really wanted that as well. Don't you think that is a brilliant price for that? And it's heavy, so with our postage, that's absolutely brilliant. That is brilliant. Love this. I love you. I unconditionally love you. Sorry, I'm coming. Say that again. We have got... I love this colour so much. Triple trouble, darlings.
have a look at what I've got for you. I've rowed mine up. You get three long strands because how ideal is that on your bead loom? How ideal is that with your peyote? I absolutely love rowing gemstones up like this. And maybe you just, maybe you think you genuinely don't know how to do any of those. Just put them on elastic and wear them, stack them. These are brilliant if you want to replicate that uh, tassel look in your jewelry. I've, I can see piles and piles of jade next to me and they will go so well with the jade. Now you're getting three strands. This took a week for us to get approved because these actually were put into a special um, a, a special area on our system which says these are for kits you're not allowed them and um, we begged for it because these are beautiful these could be gold in the in the Christmas season these could be the sunshine or chamomile yellow for your summers and your springs these are for kumahimo these are for tassels these are for rosary linking they are definitely for the bubble technique as well they're for your peyotes they are for your bead loom there is so much you can do with these beautiful butterscotch and chamomile and golden gemstones we are talking about yellow quartzite it's from the united states it's naturally this wonderful doris day sunshine color and you are all flooding in for this one diana's already on the phones for this one here we go at four pounds a strand moxc02 11 pounds and 95 pence incredible value you are getting three wonderful strands i've just simply placed them all together to show you how glorious they are in the bead loom uh, i've got a maker in greater london diana yorkshire claire in london you've got yours hannah sue i have got so many of you lining up tom you've got yours susan's shopping also oh my gosh i love them i love these would you put them in sections of three would you put them with gold or would you put them with silver I'd put them with gold. I think they'd be gorgeous with copper. And you know this sort of the new findings that we have on our new findings pack that you can put like a three strand. I don't think I've got yes, one. Yes, the which, three you know, loops. Yes, I know exactly loops. what. Yeah. So it makes your strands sit together really beautifully and not sort of overlap. So that would be beautiful to use with, with those. I absolutely adore them. I think these are so different to anything that we've got. I think they are utterly beautiful. Now, if you've just bought the um, the, the beaded uh, earrings book, you need to get these because there's so many designs. Oh, we weren't staying at that price. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> it's all right. He's, a na he's in a naughty mood today, this one. Your one's in a naughty mood. MOXC02, be as quick as you can. Uh, it's cheeky. It's very, very cheeky. If you want to do that bumblebee style, add in some black spinel. If you want to keep it classic, take... In fact, let's put... Let's put your garnet in there as well. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's floral now. Love that garnet with this. That looks beautiful. What colours would you put with this, Debbie? Well, I was just thinking, I'm looking at this book, which is why I'm quiet, and I'm just <laughs> thinking that in a lot of these designs, there are some bicones, and you could substitute sort of your glass or crystal bicones for actual gemstones. I like doing that before. Yeah. You could never get hold of gemstones small enough to be able to do that. But if you've just got this book, like it's a couple of these earrings, two, three, four, five, you'd only Perfect. need 14 per earring for this swing time earring here. And I think that you could substitute... You know the, the crystal bicones for rounds with just a couple of, of minor, minor adjustments. And I've just been looking through here thinking how lovely these designs would look if you just put gemstones. And even the colour, like with these bronze and gold, mm. antique golds, how lovely would that be? And they'd be amazing. Rings, I think they'd be really pretty. I think if you bought the book and you're gifting it, you should get something like this oh, to go oh, with the book. I want I've that just under the tree. Definitely. <laughs> I've put it with the jade that's next to me. 
Mm -hmm. And how gorgeous are these with jade? That's beautiful. Isn't it mm -hmm. stunning together? I love it. But definitely think about the bobble technique. Those sort of 1920s tassels are going to really lend themselves uh, to these strands. So many of you there. Uh, two on the telephones. Olivia Tossin. I've got Alison Karen. Jan Janice Susan. Maker in Yorkshire. Claire. Diana. Maker in Greater London Town. Kath. Tom. Worcestershire. Ma another maker in Yorkshire. Three in Yorkshire. Hampshire. Nikki. Uh, you're there as well. Derbyshire. You've got yours, Hertfordshire. You've got yours. Hold tight for those. I'm about to give you chain. Don't say I didn't warn you. And look at this. I, this is my favourite one. I love it. Look how long it is. Oh, that's lovely. It's all oh, twisty. That's really I love unusual. it. Look, I love these chains. They that's don't gorgeous. even need to. Isn't it gorgeous? For layering, that's perfect. You've it? got a layer. Mm, it's all it. about the layer at mm. the moment, isn't it? You've got to be layering. It's just stylish. It is. Look at it on your black top. I mean, look at that layer. That's just so beautiful. I've also got biscuit on me, so let's just get rid of that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love a Figaro chain. So Figaro is three small, one long. Three small, one long. And it's a really traditional chain. This is, I was going to say it could be feminine or masculine, but I think with it being so much longer, I'd keep it as a feminine chain. Mm, and I think because you've got that large link in there as well, you could probably add, I mean, I'm not right up close to it, but a featherweight head pin. Could totally. you get it through? Oh, absolutely. So that yes. you could add, if you've got any of our boutique kits or any of our really beautiful um, high-end strands or even that orange strand next to you on the T-bar, you know, hanging off that on little featherweights, wouldn't that be pretty? It would be gorgeous. That's what I want to do. I love that. Let me just get my hair out of the way because it's actually longer. It's behind my hair. Here we go. I've got microphones and all sorts down there. Yeah, look how long it is. Isn't that oh, lovely? Those pearls would be lovely. Like just little pearls of course, on the way darling. down. Oh, yes. Of course. Am I hurting my microphone with this chain? I do apologise. Now, this is coming up and it's on split pay, just so you know. Now we're going to keep going. Are you going to make me take this chain off? You are, aren't you? Handy Andy is coming. Do what you like. Okay, I'll keep it on forever then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I will. Wait a minute. Hold tight. Wait there. Wait there. <laughs> Rewind. Are you serious? Huh? How long have we had this? Have you? Look at this. It's two chains in one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Stop. Did you know that's what you've got? Oh my, oh my, look, wait there. <laughs> yes, but you know you've got two chains in one. Oh, stop, I love this. Right, okay, hang on a sec. I'm going to have to take one off to show you because look, I'll show you the first and then I'll put it on because you know, you should. <laughs> look, what, look, at, look at this. So you've got two chains coming out of these and one of them is a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to show you how that looks when you put it on. I'm just going to pop that down. Just give me two seconds. Oh my gosh. I love this. I think she likes this, they just said. <laughs> I don't like it. It's like cricket. I love it. I don't like this. I love it. Look how it finishes. Oh, that's beautiful. I am for this. I am mm. all about this. That is so a bit. Oh, we've only got nine left. 30 inches of your multi-strand Cordino uh, chain. I am obsessed. Yeah, but when you think about it, it's not 30 inches. It's 60 inches because you've got mm. two of them, mm -hmm. which is utterly bananas i love this and if you are if you do want to be a bit thrifty of course uh, debbie kershaw and you sell things and you think jenny i'm snipping that off well that's up to you mm. i'm not snipping nothing no me neither i love it like that oh my gosh so i had it tangled i just wanted to show you i've untangled it don't you think that looks so expensive? You've got instant I, um, layering, haven't you? I'm bouge. The bouge meter is strong. You are today. My bouge game is strong today. <laughs> Love my bouge game today. Oh, more chains. With these Ferrero Rochers, you are really spoiling us. <laughs> now, you have got a shorter chain, which I would definitely layer up with this one. Because it's all about the layers, darling, don't you know? If it's, if it's good enough for Donatella and Coco, it's good enough for me. <gasps> oh, 
Look, look, quick, 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 quick. Look at all the links. This is like a double link to your usual Prince of Wales. It's only eight ninety five. The, this is amazing. $8.95. Bouge Factor 1000. So you've got that Prince of Wales, but as you will notice, you've got the twists going on. This really is fabulous. I love it. I think we're giving such super value here. Be as quick as you can. QNI. I mean, if you look online for this kind of Prince of Wales chain, you can get several Prince of Wales's. Wales is. No, my, is mine a Prince of Wales? No. Um, and I've got such a skinny chain on and it cost me 30 euro. Sorry, I'm doing a double chin while I'm looking at it and I've made myself dizzy. It cost me 30 euro in Greece, mm. that chain. Mm. And it's so much skinnier than the one that's on your screen right now. This is incredible, incredible. Oh, Kathy, you've got yours. Nicolette, Carol, Valeria. Oh, sorry, Valerie. Uh, Pat in Menorca. Hola. Ronald, you've got yours. Loads of you are shopping for this. Sally says... You'd love to come to one of our workshops. Oh, do you know what, Sal? But you're in a wheelchair. And no, we have um, full uh, disabled facilities access. Disabled. Um, we've got a lift. We've got ramps. We've got uh, everything set up for you. But we're doing Zoom ones at the moment. So that might be right up your street. Might be a bit easier because you don't have to actually actively leave the house. And if you're not sure how to set Zoom up, we will uh, we'll call you and we'll talk you through it. So if you'd like to get involved in any of our workshops, go online and have a look. Or you can email sarah.bingham, which is B-I-N-G-H-A-M, at jewellerymaker.com. That's sarah with an A, bingham, at jewellerymaker.com. Why were you trying to make me say bingham? Just because I thought it was funny. It's boys that, isn't it? It's boys, yeah. boys, boys. that. Why did you do that? Funny. <laughs> Because it was funny. Was it, though? Now, anything that sounds like trifle has got my ears pricked up. Look at what we've got here. Wait a minute. I know I've got jade on, but I just want to put more jade near me. I've got some... There's some multicoloured jade next to me, and I just need to put them together. Isn't that gorgeous? The colour is just... I don't think I've ever seen colour like it. That's beautiful. I love it. Trifilite. Now, it's not something we see very often. It's a beautiful mineral, isn't it? An absolutely beautiful gemstone. Now, I'm trying to find some examples of jewellery. It's, it's actually... Do you know, it's actually quite rare to have it in this colour. And when you get this, so this is Brazilian, sometimes it can appear quite grey or quite dark. So to get this in this colour, and is this natural? It is a rare gemstone. It's really, 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 really rare to get trifolite in, in this kind of colour. That's beautiful. It's very highly collectible. And we hardly ever get it here at Jewelry Maker. Now I'm going to find some examples. Now this is this particular one is Brazilian, but this is also mined in in America. But actually, the Brazilian one gives you this incredible colour. Now I'm just uh, trying to find for you. I think we're one of the only places that are in this country that you're going to get gorgeous trifolite. Now, some trifolite changes colour. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. It can change colour. I'm sure that's correct. So some trifolite changes colour. You will get... I'm, I'm sure it does. It, trifolite changes colour. It does. It does. We confirm it. It's beautiful, isn't it? 29.97 beautiful now let's give you let's give you some nuggets oh Debbie <laughs> do you want to go skipping it's one of those huge strands really this long. is 
two and a half meters long. Oh, uh, that's perfect for your crochet because you need lots oh, for yes. crochet, don't you? I'm a bit obsessed with the crochet at the minute. Oh, I love crochet. Mm. I I want to get, you know, the big fat yarn so I can oh, make one yeah. of the, a fat crochet blanket. Yeah, <gasps> I'm all about that. That's mm. so snuggly. I can I can hang crochet probably just as well as I can with a hook. Look at these. You get loads. Two and a half meters. That's, That's a very lot. Mm. A very lot. And this is black spinel. Uh, I would use these in the GC twist. I think they could be quite Chanel looking. I think you can make these look incredibly classy with some uh, lovely white pearls. They're only $9.95. I think Tree of Life designs. Yep. I think these are going to be great for putting on your um, memory wire. And I think if you're a beginner, this is an exceptional opportunity. Now, let's see. How many stretchy bracelets could we make out of this? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. What's uh, uh, they're all five pounds each because I want to give that would be fifty eight pence each. But if I did them for five pounds each, how much is that? Yeah. So that's £85 minus £9.95. Let's talk about profit. Potential of £75 profit straight away. But you could charge eight, you could charge between five and ten pounds for a yeah. for a bracelet but of if you genuine think, gemstones. Say you put, I don't know, one what we'd call high-end gemstone in the middle of it. You yeah. could go even higher. So, of course. You know, a little ruby or a little pearl or a little, Oh yeah. You hey. know, and then ch charge 20 <laughs> Why not? But, but, you, you, but this is the thing. And the thing is, you feel like, oh, but that's absolutely what we should be doing. If, if we're creating yeah, yeah, businesses yeah. From, from our hobbies, absolutely. Charlie says, GC Twist, I thought you meant Gemma Collins, lol. No, we, <laughs> we actually laugh because Gemma Crow just twists it and we call her the GC. Uh, and I always just say to her, I just twist it. I don't need the money, babe. Because <laughs> that's what Gemma Collins always says, isn't it? Uh, thanks so much. Lovely to be included in a fantastic hobby, which brightens up these difficult times. You're so happy. Woohoo! <laughs> Wah! Gorgeous, Sally. Do you know what the most... So this is Sally who is in the wheelchair. When you are in a wheelchair, people push you places you don't want to be pushed, and it's incredibly annoying. Mm. And you don't realise that until you're in a wheelchair. Mm. And how... Yeah, right. So say, ask it. Yeah, so I was in a wheelchair for like a couple of days. Not even that. I cannot tell you how annoying it is. Why are light switches so far? I mean, yeah. what is that about? Frustrating. The, it's so frustrating. Mm. But it's the people just going. Oh, I'll just move you out of the way. I don't want to be moved out of the way. Mm. I've got I've got beef with with people behind wheelchairs pushing other people places they don't want to be going. Now. Let's go. It's they're always like, oh, you've always got something to get on your high horse about. I have, yeah. <laughs> Don't even get me started about trying to get on a train when you've got crutches. Virgin trains. I'm going to name and shame them. They're this far up. If you're in a wheelchair, or if you're on, if you've got a buggy, or if you've got crutches, can't get on them. I had to launch myself onto one of them trains. I did. I had to go forwards. That's not good. It wasn't good. No. I'm speaking for the people. Now, my darling angels, let's talk about bloodstone. Do you know the prophecy behind bloodstone? No. Do you know why it's called bloodstone? So it's a form of jasper. Okay. And you'll see this. Actually, mine looks fair different to the one you've got. Now, bloodstone is called bloodstone because ancients believed the red to be the blood that was shed by Christ when he was on the cross. Mm. So that is why it's called bloodstone. Yeah, that's what it represents. So it's a gemstone of sacrifice, a gemstone of unselfishness. And I think that's, uh, that's this would, would be perfect in your chakra bracelets. And I think I quite like the, I quite, I, I don't like the myth and legend behind that. I'm very 
interesting. It's nice to in have the a myth story, and legend behind isn't that. it? It's yeah. nice to, people like to talk about what the gemstones signify or the story behind the gemstones. A lot of people find that really interesting. When I used to do my stalls, people used to want to talk about it all the time. And people's partners, you know, they'd be standing there and their partner would be looking at the jewellery and they'd be having a chat about, oh, is this amethyst? Oh, what do you know? And they're, you know, very interested in gemstones and what they mean. I really love the tones. If you look really close, blue blacks, blood reds, greens. These are your chakra colours. I love this. I love Ooh, this. I think it's one. such a lovely one. I'd put this with you. Have you ever seen our multicolored tiger's eye strands that yeah, we get? Yeah, that yeah. would be great with this. But also, maybe a few mookites. Not loads, but a few. That would go beautifully, wouldn't it? With like mm. the brown and green colored ones. I really like these. I think wish bracelets. I'd, I'd make mm. it go further. I really like this. Wish bracelets or chakra bracelets. I'm all for. Sorry if I got on my soapbox just then. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what, I worry my crew. They're like, well, you worry me. I thought I was going to go all the other trains are available, but usually they're at the correct. I don't care. He can come here. I'll tell him. Get on crutches. <laughs> Star by. <laughs> Okay, my darlings, handy Andy. We always need an extra helping hand, don't we? And mine, I look, look at him, he looks like a little person. Um, that's got nothing to do with it. But my but it son, has. I my, think he's friendly looking. My son always steals mine. And every time I look for it, it's in his room because he's doing something, you know, and he needs the, the extra piece, uh, little pair of hands or he's making something or... So these are really, really useful. And also, you know, when your eyesight's going like mine, even yes. with my glasses on. I do know that. <laughs> Especially yeah. with the size 15 seed beads. <laughs> Perfect, this is. Now, you're going to get that extra helping hand. So if I wanted to go in now and adjust something, maybe it's pearls, maybe, it doesn't matter what it is, you've got that extra pair of hands. Now, you can see that this will go either way, either way up. It's also great for reading. You can actually have this with your book or a booklet and it will hold on to that so you can go in and you can read and you can make and your hands are free. It's got a weight at the bottom. Now, this is great for all sorts of crafting. It's great for painting. Yeah. You're painting tiny yeah. details. Maybe you're doing model making. We know that Alison Tarry's John does model making perhaps this would be great for somebody that was into that if you really need to get in and see some detail then this is what you need handy andy is your friend he'll help you onto a train now EB, ebz x40 is your item code you've got the glass magnifier 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 we don't bring andy to air too often I've got to bring him up to my eye because it always makes me laugh. Do I, does my eye look massive or not? No? That way around? I can't see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it always makes me laugh. 4 95 We all need a bit of magnification now and then. I tell you what, it's really good to have a magnifier when you're plucking your eyebrows, Debbie. Ex I know, tell yeah. me about it. Absolutely. Do you know what, though? People have been asking for the chain station that we're out of stock of at the minute. And this would work as a chain station, wouldn't it? You could put your chain in each one, hang it there, and then add your bits. Yes! So if Perfect you for bubble techniques. If you haven't been able to get hold of the chain station, which I'm sure we will get back in it again when we can, but this would be good in the, in the uh, interim period. I agree. I absolutely think this is totally and utterly necessary. I was actually using Andy earlier to have a really good look at my rose quartz. It's not mine. I, I missed out on it, unfortunately. But it just gets you to, you know, you can look around gemstones. 
wonderful. Four ninety-five. I know we 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 could have sold fifty of those. We only had a handful. It's so frustrating mm. that we didn't have enough. I didn't get mine either. Like, there were so many. Like literally, I think fifty of you missed out. So we could have we could have uh, given you absolutely stacks of those. Uh, so do come in for Andy as quickly. Helping hands. I call him Handy Andy or Magic Hands. It's up to you. It's going to be on and gone. This we've only got a handful. X C Z X. 14 is your item code. Uh, 195. We've only got 20 of these, so they will go very quickly. We thought we had more. They've 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 gone to the uh, they've gone to I don't know where. 195. That's it. We're going to take that off. Sorry. Uh, now, malachites. If you're doing your tree of life designs, you need this. I love malachite. I love I love green. I do. Debbie. Malik. It's like a vortex of malachite. <laughs> This oh. is wonderful. Two and a half metres. Goodness me. I bet malachite really lends itself to that shape, though, doesn't it? Because it's got yeah. so many intricate details. And, oh, I love that colour. I love this colour. I've just done the GC twist because I don't need the money, babe. <laughs> uh, we say we don't because it's putting all of your gemstones into one piece, isn't it? All your eggs into one basket because the GC don't need the money. Gemma Crow does it all the time. But look at that. It's amazing. Malachite's in the World Cup. It's also a gemstone. Do you know, this is going to sound mad. But there is a boot maker that I am obsessed with that does tassel boots. They bought out some little job boots yesterday and behind it was a malachite plaque and they've got this green tinge to the leather. And I thought, that's, they're using malachite. Mm. Malachite is a brilliant one because it has all these different layers to it and it's really organic. You can see it's organic. That Russian green coming through. If you love Sharite, put it with malachite. They look incredible together. Don't forget to text us in. We love hearing from you. Uh, TSX P63 is your idea. We've got Rachel Norris coming back in. Debbie, you're coming back in an hour. I what am. have you got coming up in an hour's time? I've got disco balls. Disco? <laughs> D I S C O. They're not actual disco balls, but I think they look like them. You got, you know, the little rounds with the abalone sort of mosaics. They're amazing. So we've made some sort of party jewelry. <laughs> Shall I do an interpretive dance now? Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Um, I can boogie. Yeah. So we've got a lovely kit with that with that in, and there's also some little sort of seed beads in there as well. So quite unusual. Oh, disco makes me think of John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. And wasn't he the most handsome young man, John oh, Travolta? Oh, and he could dance. A man who can dance. So handsome. Oh, lovely. Oh, I much preferred him in Saturday Night Fever than Greece. He was, he was all right in Greece. No, I mean, I just, I just, shut up, Jenny. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just liked him more. So, in fact, we're going to go to a break. We've got the, the Rachel Norris uh, coming back in. Thank you so much, Debbie Debbie Kershaw. You're welcome. Thanks You'll be back me. in an hour with your disco diva style jewellery, which yep. you can't wait for. And I think you should probably discuss with Danny, uh, you know, a little bit of disco music while you're making. Okay, I think yeah. I think that's going to be really enjoyable. So disco music, we're going to half promise you that um, coming up in an hour's time. But right now, it's Rachel Norris o'clock again. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. We have got the best Grand Didierite I have ever seen on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be incredible. We've given it to guest designer Hannah Osborne to work with, and she has made the most exquisite jewelry with it. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some incredibly exciting news. Now, many of you know that us guest designers work incredibly hard behind the scenes to bring our tutorial DVDs to the show. Well, this Sunday, the 22nd of November, I am bringing, and I can't quite believe this, I am bringing to air during the mid show between 12 noon and 2 p.m. my 50th, that's right, my 50th DVD. And because it was a special, I was asked, you can do whatever you like, Mike, you can do whatever you want on this DVD. So I've chosen two of my favorite all time products. I'm incorporating Super Duos alongside Shell Pearl. Now, as many of you know, they are my ultimate beads. I love using them. And to be able to produce a DVD using these two products, just a dream come true. So that's Sunday, the 22nd of November. Join myself, presenter Jenny and the team between 12 noon and 2 p.m. for the launch of the Shell Pearl Super Duo Projects DVD. Kits, bundles, products, tools, you name it, we've got everything. It's gonna be an incredible two hours. And of course, my 50th DVD launch. So make sure you tune in between 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. And Jenny and I look forward to seeing you there. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker. Rachel Norris is on her way. Oh, I've got my label. I've accidentally kept this on. I don't know how that happened. Oh, now we have got the most beautiful manager special. Whilst we are at the bouge, then I think we should absolutely be introducing you to this gorgeous gemstone. Tanzanite gives us all the true blue color that we could possibly ever want and more. This player croak gemstone gives us that onset of blue, but then flashes of burgundies, pinks, golds. These are stunning. You've got clarity. And do you know what the great thing is about this strand is that then they're, they're not spacered. And if they are spacered, it means you get a few less on the strand, of course, because you've got to make way for the spacers. So these are ram packed full of precious tanzanite. I think the bubble technique would be absolutely wonderful for these. But waterfall earrings in a cascade are definitely on the forefront of my mind. I'd use the tassels for another project and I'll keep this one very serious, very strict, very beautiful, very boutique. And I would team it with pearls. This really is a high-end kit. JVSF25 is your item code. Let's go shopping for Tanzanite, December's birth gemstone. 30, oh, I've just heard the price in my ear. Let's go, let's go for, not this is really fabulous, really fabulous value. Only ever been on once on our show. Now I'm gonna show you this with Rosa Gold because it just goes so well. 1995. You saw this here on our show a couple of weeks ago as our manager special. We just had to bring it back as a manager special. Again, back by popular demand goes so well with gold as well. I would only ever touch Tanzanite with a genuine precious metal. I, I, ju I just would. I think maybe with the, do you remember the rhodium chains we had earlier? I think those would look spectacular with those because you get that look of platinum, wouldn't you? At 1995, JVF. No, sorry, JVSF25, under £20, takes it. Top drilled drops in your collection. Now, we're going to move on. We're going to leave those with you. I've got so many treats here. Oh, let's give you more pearls. So, we were talking earlier, weren't we, about pearls in rings. And you get, how many should I have? Three. 
you get a three pack of pearls here. And see this one here is drilled halfway through. This one is two. And this one, so they're all half drilled. I think these are earrings and ring set. I'd use the smaller one here for a ring. And then the other two are in a pair. So I definitely have, those are your earrings, aren't they? Then there's your ring, I reckon. What do you think? Or brooch, we've been talking so much about brooches. And if you bought Rachel Norris's book, I would absolutely be using these. Definitely, they're wonderful. Do we have any of the, no, we sold out of everything, didn't we? It all sold out, I'm afraid. Here we go. White freshwater culture coin pearls uh, between 13 and 14 millimetres. You've got, we've only got three pieces. BQG P42 is your item code. Let's go. £12.95, just over £4 each incredible value 0800 655 if you'd like to come shopping with us and dial for your purchase uh, it's a free phone number jewelrymaker.com if you'd like to shop online if you haven't done so already please download our app it's for free in all the usual app stores 1 pmp so if you shopped with uh, the gorgeous becky this morning and the wonderful susie who looked absolutely dropped dead gorgeous didn't she 3.95. Click combine order, but make sure you check it out each time. Don't leave it in a basket because it's not safe there. Uh, BQG P42. Let's move on and let's give to you. What's this gorgeous Swarovski bundle and coloured pearls I've got next to me? That's lovely. Have a look. This is a gorgeous bundle. I really love this colour combination. I think it's quite summery. I think it's quite wedding guest. I really like it a lot. Look at those together. Then we have got Sarovsky. XYXC10 is your item code. 1695. These are genuine freshwater pearls with that colour. Don't you think these would be amazing on your uh, Christmas table? Wouldn't you just make the, those little cranberries, aren't they? And then you've got the gold. They're beautiful. And away you go. Caramel apple, we're calling this. Oh, I suppose like a candy. Like a, they're like red apples, aren't they? Oh, I do love an apple. I actually love a toffee apple, but they'll pull my teeth out. There's something very autumnal about a toffee apple, isn't there? Remember going out to the fair, you know, when we could go out. And you've got the Swarovski in there as well. X, Y, X, C, 10. You've got yours, Thomas. You are shopping for yours, Greater London. You've got yours. West Midlands uh, is shopping Hampshire. Patricia, 16.95, the lowest ever price. We haven't seen this since 2018. It's been bought back. So on the rewind, you get to grab yours. Look at that. What's your favourite Christmas tune? Is it too early for Christmas songs? And how do you feel about the rejigging of lyrics of a certain Christmas song? How do you feel about that? Text us in. We want to know. We're not a debate show. But, you know, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Fairy tale of New York. So some radio stations, Radio 2 and all the others, have said they will. it's up to the discretion of the presenters if they want to play it because it's got quite old-fashioned lyrics. The person who wrote it from the Pogues saying it was about the character, she wasn't a particularly nice character when he was writing it, um, and it wasn't meant to offend. I think, personally, there are far more offensive things. Well, I don't know, actually. You know, like, if they're going to do that, then they have to take Cardi B and all of that lot off of there as well, because you can't have it both ways, can you? That's just the way I feel. Now, let's go fancy. Let's go fancy. These are fabulous. <gasps> Christmas wreaths. Loads of you are asking for feathers for your Christmas wreaths. And look at these. They're, they're perfect. Dipped in glitter. Look at these feathers. 
hair combs. Lots of you were asking for hair combs during Rachel's hour. Uh, then we've got, we're trying to get Rachel back, but she's, um, she's in the middle of a demonstration. And once you, once she starts, once you pop, you can't stop. 1920s. Here's some, here she is. Pearl colored silver. Why we can't get that? We have not been able to get, have you seen what you've got here? Pearl colored wire. We haven't got this in ages. Here Rachel comes. She's finished popping. She's finished popping. Have a look. Look at this. Look at this colour. It's the pearl colour. I love this wire. And then you've got the silver, the normal silver. So can you see the difference? That's really polished. And that's got sort of like a, a white gold finish to it. I love this. Do you know, for that pearl coloured wire, that is brilliant. You've got all these feathers. How many feathers do I get? Five guaranteed. One, two, three, four, five. You've got silver pearls in here. There's six feathers, sorry. You get, you've got pearls in the picture. You've got pearls. And by the way, these are the half, half flat pearls. Look, this really is crazy. It's crazy. Look, look, you've got the flat domed. You'd pay that for the pearls alone. This is crazy. Stephanie, you've got yours. Janice in Suffolk. Amanda, Leslie. Katrina, you're shopping as well. Susan, you're shopping. Oh, I love that. But I do think a lot of you are doing Christmas tiaras. But don't you think this is very... We keep talking about 1920s, but I think this is ever so 1920s. Lots of pearls. And very mother of the bride, actually. No, I think... Mm, I think this is... I, I absolutely think it's like a 1920s tiara fascinator style love it absolutely love it ixx c96 yes it is for flapper girls flap like with your feathers yes no no but you're right it is yes absolute flapper girl style definitely definitely that is the voice of the one the only the hard working <laughs> rachel no we are really are you all right do you need voice rest are you okay no it's fine have you well, had a drink um, I haven't. I've just filmed something special. So. You need a drink of water, yeah. don't you? <laughs> it's been fun, actually. It was lovely. There we go. So what were you... Yeah. Something special for Christmas time? No, it's something special for... Um, I'm not allowed to say, but jewelry maker tutorials. Something special. Oh, I think I know okay. what. Yeah. I think I know what. Is it the secret thing? Yes, yeah, an additional thing, thing yes. to the thing. Yeah. Yes. Can't talk about that. Which it's been killing me, that. <laughs> killing me. And yesterday, Liam nearly let cats out of bags uh, on my Facebook page. And when I was given the talk, like, Jenny Cleary, you with the big mouth, don't say anything. And I was like... <laughs> I know. It's mad, isn't it? Uh, Rachel Norris is back. We are going to give you pearls now. So Rachel uh, brought in earlier lots of examples of her very fine pearl jewellery. I've got glitter everywhere now. Um, and these, uh, look at the luster that's coming from these pearls. These are high luster, round pearls. Look how round these are. They're beautiful. Absolutely. Um, like the big pieces I was showing you earlier on, That's those are just glamorous. They're... Um, Oh, I love, I love wearing them, actually. I love wearing them because they feel... You've got something beautiful around your neck and um, and you know... You They're regal, aren't they? Yes, yes. And you feel really good wearing them, actually. And they are really a good shape, those ones. They're really so round. Shape. Yes, a really beautiful shape, you know. I love and, this. Uh, I'll just can make a pendant from the middle of that. Um, oh, and... That's, that's all you need. I mean, we were talking about pearl <laughs> knotting, and I think this is a classic one for that, isn't it? Absolutely. When you when you've got them so round, yes. then then just run with yeah, it and no. be classic with it. Because, I think um, sometimes, well, you have organic shapes and you have a sort of jumble of textures, and that's lovely. But when you have round shapes, the perfection of the um, of the arrangement around the neckline. Is, is beautiful as well. Mm. So yes, that's what is. You, you go with the strength of the strands you're working with, and the strength of that is um, roundness, the, the luster, um, the beautiful size, and you use all that in the design. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. They, these are absolutely fabulous. Now you've got to keep coming through for those because we are we've gone limited on those. Let's give you now. Do, 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 do. Please uh, just give me two seconds. So. 
Uh, we've got the final few of these. We've got them in two different colorways. Have we got the other colorway? Yes, we have. So this particular one, you've got the green amber and you've got your traditional cognac amber. Now these will all loop together in bracelets, but you'll see actually, you've got a quite a deep set amber in each one of these. This would be a focal point of a necklace and then chain around the back. This is a bracelet just simply linked together with either silver wire or jump rings. These are earring findings. They're, they're such a wonderful, they're such a wonderful addition. Do you like amber? Are you an amber fan, Rachel? I love amber. <laughs> I, I love thought amber. you were. I wish, I mean, again, um, I could get amber pieces out. I mean, I've, um, remember the, um, uh, you know, the, the Royal Bee, for example. Um, we, um, I know, I'm, I'm letting another major cat out of the bag, and I hope it comes off, is that we're trying to source some amber for that bee, especially shaped, um, but it's, it, that's fingers crossed. But I made the beautiful, <laughs> beautiful squirrel um, and monkey booklet that came out oh, a few months ago, if anyone's yes, got that. Yes, I remember. And that's, um, that's got the lovely shapes of amber in there. It's, it's um, such a beautiful... I've fallen in love with it more as I've worked with it, to and be And it's honest. so lightweight, isn't it? <laughs> you know, so if you're using yes. heavy gauges of wire, mm. it's a lightweight gem that takes up quite a big space without weighing it down any further exactly as you look into it you've got all this this depth every time you've got depth of 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 of, of the little reflections within it and, and little objects maybe caught in it and you appreciate it's time you appreciate it's come from a living um tree uh, millions yeah. of years ago and it's just all of that history i mean it's been used in through through history into viking jewelry and you know, uh, it's been sort of revered and used for, for years. You've got all that, all those, that historical links bringing you yeah. to now, and we're using it to make contemporary pieces. Wow. I, I, so yes, we've good. gone quite contemporary. Mm. I really love looking at the classic medieval pieces that have amber in it. I, yes, I think it's yeah. fabulous. I love medieval jewellery, mm. and I'm a little bit obsessed with having a medieval table. I want a medieval dinner party one day, oh. and everyone's goblets. It's a bit like the, um, the, uh, the TV show that's on the moment, which is fantastic, uh, with that castle. You could. Uh... Which one? <laughs> you can say it, you can say it. Um, I'm a celebrity. Oh, I haven't seen any <laughs> yet. You've got to see it anyway. I'm I mean, yes, anymore, I've got them. I've got them ready on catch up. Show. Is it good? Is it looking good? <laughs> it's brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, we don't need Australia. I'm afraid Australians, but <laughs> we, Wales, Wales is holding up. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> I bet they're missing the sunshine now. <laughs> they're losing weight because they're shivering it off. Have a look at this classic cognac. This tends to be your favourite, so if you love it, snap it up fast. You've got the solid sterling silver 21.95, JYG, sorry, JXG, Y71. Lots of you coming in for this. Paulie, you've got yours. Stace is shopping, lots of you are shopping, yeah, in fact. Beautiful. You get 10 pieces all together, you get all of that silver, and the depth is fabulous. And it's double-sided, yes. so it doesn't matter if it flips or rotates or anything, so exactly. that's always good. So it's yes. great if you want to use these in a dangle, yes. in an earring, yes. Yes. anything like that, or as a yeah. charm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. They could go in charm bracelets, mm. but with a little round on the end or something. Now, it's time for a star buy. I'm sorry to be, I have to be quick because these are going to sell out. It's time to give you another fantastic deal. Something so unique that I actually have got a confession to make. I used the peg earlier when I showed you the pearl and I put the peg back in. Um, hopefully we've got, so you get a silver peg with this. And look, it's been drill holed and you've got in the center, sparkling away that focal piece. I haven't got the peg, so I put it with the pearl earlier. I, and my fault entirely. It does come with a peg, it was me. Okay, so if you were going to really sort of go to town with that as a design, um, you could try and focus on that on the on the sparkle in the middle, and you could make a, a stellate or star design coming out from the back, and really Ooh. make it into a, a star. 
uh, or a golden star with a with a sparkle in the middle, um, or you know, or um, or a comet or something like that. So I'd I'd bring the, that out and make a sort of um, some star shaped prongs or or you know in a in a curvy oh, one yeah. and come out from the side, make a sun god, make anything. I'd, I'd actually. And the sun would be great. I can't even describe it. I'm useless. It's in my head. I'm really sorry. And it would be like a sun rays coming out from the base and round, and then bring it up straight at the sides and up. And that'd be, that'd be quite nice. I actually. love that idea. Yeah, so that's what I do. <laughs> Rachel Norris, everyone. There we go. So you've got <laughs> in the centre a little cubic zirconia inside this teardrop and it comes with a sterling silver peg it's a small peg that screws in with the loop i showed it to you earlier with the baroque pearl and it is entirely my fault that we don't have oh wait a minute i've got one here in here that's mm. exactly the same so let's pretend that i didn't do anything wrong so there's the peg for you i've just popped it in just a little bit of jewelry glue and you're away to go lovely have a look is at that. Is that sterling silver? That sterling, sterling silver, silver peg, peg yeah. Well. yeah. yeah. I think it's got to be, hasn't it? Mm. £12.95 and 95 pence for that amber alone is fabulous. If you want to put this into a ring, you can. If you want to use your silver, you can. If you want to put this into sunbeams like Rachel suggested, you absolutely blooming well can. Your Baltic Cognac Amber, RQG, Y07. Kathleen, you've got yours. Sharon, you've got yours. Multibuyers on the phone lines are taking it. Cubic Zirconia in the centre, just giving it that real point of difference. And I love that colour. I love those inclusions. I think they look fantastic. Jean, you've got yours. Susan in Worcestershire's shopping. Greater Manchester shopping. Oh, how are you, jewellery makers? I can't believe it's Saturday already. The weeks are just going, aren't they? Isn't it madness? <laughs> Utter madness. Utter madness. Uh, absolutely wonderful colour here. Christine, you've got to check out. Pauline and Susan, uh, I've got to check out. This is your star bike, £12.95. Now, we've got connectors for you. We've got more pearls for you. We have got one of my favourites of all the garnets, and that is the Zavarite garnet that we've got here. Look at this colour. Oh, I love this. That's a bit of me, that is. Look at that colour. Yes. It's perfect for Christmas, isn't it? So, and we had some lovely um, deeper greens earlier on. Yeah, the um, emerald coloured appetite, bring didn't that we? In. You could like zhuzh it up with that too. But the, um, that's the Christmas tree to the gar the, uh, the red garnet holly berry, isn't it? So Definitely. Yeah, it would look really good. We had some red garnet berries earlier and it, that would look superb with that. Now, we're going to keep going and we're going to give you next. Some more gorgeous amber. Now, I really like the way these have been set, and I'm, I'm sure Rachel will too. So essentially, and you wait to see the amount of silver that's gone into this, you've got an earring and pendant set, but it could be that you you want to put these into something else. It doesn't have to be... Uh, you could put this into a ring, for instance. Look at the size of this pendant. Now, I want you to remember you've got a pendant here, and I want you to think about how much you'd pay for the pendant mm. alone. Look at the sterling silver. Look at the workmanship. I'm going to mm. flip this over because that is a lot of silver. So it's people doing chain mail. Um, if you're doing a <gasps> chain mail um, Byzantine link bracelet, I mean, that wouldn't that look nice coming off the edge of that? Definitely. So, um, that's instant, isn't it? So you make your silver chain mail up and then pop that on the end. And that I think that goes hand really in hand lovely. with the look. We were just talking about the medieval look with amber mm. it just looks great and yes. perhaps you could even patina crown, the the uh the silver in this you and could. make it look a little bit aged you could, you could. yes you i could. love yeah, it yeah. 24.95 sterling silver really shiny so I, I like quite like it i'm a, i'm a i'm not a patina girl i like the you like shine, shine. metal yeah <laughs> no i'm with you i do as well but i love the look of the mm. sort of really ancient jewelry as well I do. yes i do but I know what you mean. <laughs> but then I'd shine it up. I'm the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're always cleaning and stuff, and we want everything shining. Like you want to see my sink. I've got oh. I've got a special cloth just Gosh, to shine it. Honestly, <laughs> oh, that's sad, isn't it? 
That is sad, isn't no, it? I'm pleased you have. I'm pleased you have. Would you do that? I've got a ceramic <laughs> hob as well, and all I do... Yeah, I've, I've got um, bamboo wipes. Um, I'm recycling. I don't use as much kitchen roll. I've got these bamboo things that I wipe and, yeah. and clean, and, and I use a thousand... They have a thousand cleans before you have to throw them away, so really good. Wow. And so, yeah, they're really good. And every, they're Are you good. obsessed with polishing? <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. I'm not so good at that. I am obsessed. <laughs> I know what... Po- like, I have to have beeswax polish. There's a bit of a build-up of um, the old... Um, of old patina in the house. <laughs> I'll say. come around and polish for you. I, I, you I actually really house. enjoy it. It's my favourite oh, job. Lovely, Denny. You're welcome. <laughs> I've always enjoyed polishing. <laughs> Just like humming away, having a polish. Uh, next up for you is bum 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 bum. Do be do 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 do. I've got nothing. Oh yes, I have. Here it is. So. We have got for you the very similar to the drop with the cubic zirconia in the centre. This comes with a peg as well. You could put this in a ring to go with your drop. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. I haven't put my peggy in uh, properly. But you've got that cubic zirconia in there as well. So that's just been hand drilled in. Again, it gives that little bit of extra sparkle, doesn't it, to to the to the to the amber. It's lovely. And you've got the peg. It's very unique. I've never seen this before, having a, a, a gemstone well, like that um, in the middle. Actually, there there it is done quite a bit, isn't it? What's that? Glen Lara does quite a yes, bit. Yes, yeah, I've and seen Glen Lara um, do it, but never with an amber. Jan Dwyer brought in um, drilling of pearls, and she was setting. Um, stones in so it's it's just like that i suppose and it's showing the depth of of and the versatility of amber to be able to do that actually so you know i know and it's glittery and beautiful it is very sparkly yes. and you've got that beautiful color behind it and um so again what would i do with that a similar sort of thing i think i might even put it in the body of a little beetle or something like that yes or, you know have a little like tiny little glitter at the back and that would do wouldn't it that'd be nice absolutely would you can't even see that drill hole through the uh through I the other side it's either a fraction of the amber you see i wonder i mean they they're so good with the the light coming through perhaps you just can't see that that bit i think glenn lara when he does his wonderful gemstone settings he he understands the exact refraction yeah of the whole gemstone, so you can put it. You can't even see where. It's mad, where it's isn't it? Set. Yeah, it's amazing. He's 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 a wonderful guy, yeah, Glenn. Lovely. There, he's a lovely yeah. chap. Next up for you, we're going to give it to you. Ah, now I've got this bracelet on, and I always think, I always think that this particular finding would be perfect for the piece of jewellery I'm wearing. So if you've watched our Elizabeth with Argentium, she showed you how to make a, a bracelet similar to this. And don't you think that would look gorgeous like that? Yes. So Absolutely. you could just pop that there and have mm. a bracelet very similar. Mm. Wire it in, because we've got the loops, you could easily wire it in um, to the side loops um, and, uh, and attach it that way. But chainmail as well, you, get, you gave us the idea of chainmail. Chain I think chain it just, mail, I think chainmail so flows suitable. with this gemstone. Yes, um, yes. And it's, it's perfect for chainmailers who may not be confident in making the wire work um, part of it, but they can, they can, they've got a ready made element that they can put in that makes something look just, just so different to uh, a you know, standard Byzantine. Um, uh, and then you've got that um, in the middle or, um, pendant coming down from from the chain mail so it, it just fits with the smoothness of a, of a ch chain mail is very regular it's got lovely smooth um, surfaces and round regular shapes and wouldn't that, that actually fits in with the form of of, of that really well so I, I agree mm. it, it has got that sort of ancient oldie worldie about it mm. um the the inclusions in here are remarkable 795 mm, that's pretty good i mean have could, you seen the size how of could this you make a silver element like that yourself um <laughs> for that i smash i mean look they could go in a ring even the time they've taken to make it i so, think that's fabulous so i've got an argentium ring on mm. and we sold these rings separately you could easily put this into a ring like that this is this is a remarkable opportunity you would pay that for a 
for the silver alone, let alone that beautiful, millions of years old amber is. Yes. And we're giving it yes. to you for seven ninety five. That's <laughs> this is a surefire way of making a profit if you if you uh, ask me. Pauline, you've got four. Jenny's got three. Kathleen Derbyshire's shopping. David is shopping. Uh, Bedfordshire, you've got yours. Seven pounds and ninety five pence. I'm sure this will sell out at that price tag. It is incredible, incredible value. Really, really beautiful. And you've got encapsulated so much silver i really like this on the flip side it looks like a, it looks like it's um it's got a frame around it but that's actually yeah, the back no i like that um because the, the solidity to it and you know that it's not going to come out but it's quality it the light i love the way that you can't even see the back from the front and again that's the refraction of it they've been so clever they've got the exact width of what the silver at the back yeah. for it not to show so because of the optical refraction through from the front you can't even see it look at that it's so clever isn't it Cleverly you're completely designed. and utterly yeah, right i noticed that yes. the other one the um the previous one we showed in the other hour the with the uh, trail of silver and a swell you cannot see the back setting through the you front can't. it's really clever and you get the benefit of having the light being able to go through it it's it's such mm. a trick and it's so wonderful and it's it's about it's mm. craftsmanship that isn't it uh, Anthony and Kay, Ste uh, take two. Stephanie, Mary in De uh, County Down takes two. Sue in Merseyside, Helen in Essex, Jenny in Cardiff. Uh, lots of you there. Thank you for shopping with us. Now we're going to keep going. And I tell you what, is it is that right o'clock? It definitely is. Let's do that. Let's do it. Zavarite Garnet, named after Zavor National Park. A garnet that gives us the most amazing fire. It is incredibly fiery. The most fiery, of course, of all the, uh, the garnet family. Now, it could be that you did not know that garnet came in this colour. And you'd be forgiven because I didn't know until I worked uh, for Gems TV the first time. I didn't know. Uh, and I think it's something that is brought to light. Now, I'm going to put this... Yeah. One in one gemstone, lucky things. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and isn't, do you know, garnet, we can trace back as an adornment mm. to before the Bronze Age. Mm. So over 4,000 mm. years we've been loving garnet Beautiful. and using it to adorn ourselves mm. and, and use as decoration for trinkets and tools mm. and swords and take it into battle. It's mentioned in the Bible. I mean, historically... Garnet. Even the name, it's a beautiful, beautiful name. Yes, yeah, Garnet. It's, it, in, in, it inspires the feeling of richness and big sumptuous tables with overflowing with grapes and wine and, <laughs> and all of, you know, uh -huh. everything. Yes. I think... A bit like Christmas. I think it's a very Christmassy gemstone and I think this could be your Christmas green, but I also think the red garnets, those berries, could be that your Christmas reds. I absolutely adore this strand and I think it's going to give you so much sparkle. You're going to love working with it if you never have before. The vivid colours that you're getting from each one of these gemstones is enough to knock you for six. You've got 15 carats. Amazing. Colour. I think you could channel set these, Rachel, couldn't you? Yes, definitely could. Round um, a different, uh, a different cabochon, or through, through a ring, through through anything actually, um, because the impact of that colour, that tiny, tiny um, gemstone has so much impact. I think Beyonce I had a Zavarite garnet ring, yeah. didn't she? What would you use? Gold, rose gold, silver? Uh, ooh, um, I'd probably go for gold to bring out the richness and silver to bring out the coolness 
Um, again, depending on what you wanted to put it in, it would go with all of them. Um, so it depends on whether you're going for hot or cold in your design. <laughs> I like that, though, because it means that we've got versatility because you can use either. A lot of people have a preference. Thirty nine ninety five for this incredible... Did you see our start price? Over £100. Right now, on your screen for thirty nine ninety five. Where can you see Zavarite Garnet? Go in and research. You'll see Chopard using uh, Zavarite Garnet where they want that pop of vivid green but they also want the brilliance and the fire uh, mm. you'll, you'll see this in the Paloma Picasso uh, collections for Tiffany & Co you'll see this being used this mm. gemstone by some of the all time greats those that celebrate colours in their design will use Zavrite Garnet to do just that it really is in the industry mm. very highly regarded because it just gives us so much for such a small price, you've got 15 carats here of Zavarite garnet. This is if this was emerald, you'd be. It's what three carats? You have to go through a ton no. of rough no, to get really. three carats no. of this gemstone. No, we've got 15 carats here, so I mean that is yes, tons and tons yes, of rough. Sore. We've had to not me personally, of course, but, but uh, someone has, yes. you know. Uh -huh. you know. And, 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 and the thing about genuine it. gemstones is the, the backstory, the fact mm. these have been mined mm. for. Mm. I think it's remarkable. Just beautiful, isn't it? M I N V 61. Is your item code for that one? Now, I've, I'm in receipt of goodies here. Now, we launched this toolkit yesterday and we only have a handful left. So we have got for you, if you couldn't stretch it to the last toolkit, which um, had your rawhide hammer and your reamer in and was in a roll, we've got an alternative for you. You've got the snips. You have got your nips. You have got two of your, you've got, of your tweezers. You've got your gemstone tweezers bent at the end to pick your gemstones up. You have got your skinny nose tweezers as well. You've got your pokey tool here. I need, and they can do it with all sorts of things. I use it to make um, shapes and um, like little tiny uh, engravings in, in metal, oh. um, like leaf veins and um, fish fins and things like that. I use, use that to almost write like a scribe and write on things. It's really useful. Polymer clay is really useful in that. Um, silver clay for making little holes in. It's useful for all sorts of things. You can't really craft much without to, yeah. having to pick one of these yes. up at some point. I use it to make the starting hole before I drill because, um, what's it called? Yes, like a, a guide marker hole point. or something like that. Yeah. Yes, and it, and it acts as a, a little dent in the metal and then the drill will sit in there and not slide around all over the place. Perfect. That's so. a, and that is, it's invaluable for that, yes. isn't it? Yes. So you've so. got your round nose pliers, you've got your chain nose pliers, you've got your snips. Now, these round nose pliers are coated as well, so as not to damage the colour of your wire or tarnish your wire. So you've got all three of those. You also get the case. It's eight ninety five. Now, you'll pay that for one of these tools. You'll pay that for one of these tools elsewhere. So you're getting all of them and the case, plus the tweezers, and you're getting your jewellery scissors as well. Lots of you come through for that one. Now... We've got, we've had a lot of requests for the previous booklets from Rachel. The oh. only one we've got, and we, and let me, how many have we got? We've got a very small quantity. We've only got 25 of these left. Oh, so, so we haven't got the, the jewellery. No, have, don't be silly. It's fine. We, so we literally sorry. have only just got it because yes. we've requested oh. it and we didn't think we had it in stock. That's and kind. we Thank we've you. managed to find 25. So this is the peacock. Talk, us about, talk to us right. about this, Rachel. Well, number one, it's... Um, it's using really lovely, simple d techniques to build up designs, and they are so versatile. Um, you can use um, the, the sort of elements of the peacock pendant in large or small scale to make pendants and earrings. You can make the big feather brooches. I even go through um, some really basic bead um, beading techniques to make that collar necklace, the whole of that collar necklace, which has structural um, in, in wire inside it, and the um, caps at the end and the clasps. So you, every single element is dealt with. So you've got the feathers, the pendants, the earrings, you've got the beaded collar, um, the caps and the clasps, but all the techniques in the booklet. So you can just, you're not left abandoned. You can make that whole set from from the booklet. You could build up a huge necklace just from the feather alone, can't yeah, you? Yes, I do. There's one design in there with the feather and there's lots of 
the small effect that the, the earring elements act as connectors. So that's so literally it's so versatile, not just the designs on the front. You can use those um, little peacock elements as connectors uh, for other designs as well. Love and it. you can put them in different colours, so you don't have to use the same colourways that are in um, the booklet either. You can, you can imagine making them in golds and um, oranges and reds as well to make that really sort of festive, and that would work really well. Or purples and golds uh, or silvers, you know. So, um, and I think there's a picture of the necklace at the end of that chapter, for example, um, if you work through... There will be, or no, maybe the one just beforehand. Do, 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 do. It will be. Flicks. The there whole, it is. Uh, the picture of the whole necklace. So you see, I love so that. You, got, you can use the whole thing like that too. So Beautiful. Like that. So, so that it, it deals with not just one design, there's loads and loads of different um, developments of the design through the booklet. I think it's sold out. Thank did you. it sell out? Everyone, it did. You, it um, sold out, I'm afraid. Tell me about it. Show me what you've made, and I'd love to see what you make. Definitely. Yeah. Can we do my favourite sticky mat, please? Thank you. I love that sticky mat. I love the sticky I do mat. I adore it. Have you got... How many sticky mats um, do you have? I've, I can't tell you how many I've got. I mean, I carry two with me anyway because um, I'll have one for making templates, one for working on, one for putting the beads on by the side. Um, you can set cabochons on it because you won't fracture the cabochons because it's oh, lovely and soft. Point. So if you're setting something and pushing something into place, you've got something really soft um, and it's got measurements on it so you've got all the measurements of bracelets and necklaces and all sorts of things and it's sticky <laughs> and the stickiness means that but it's when not you're... sticky tacky on no, your hands you can wash them if you get dirty you can just wash them with in under a tap so that's a great thing you know you just wash them under the tap and it, and it dries and it's clean again and it still retains its stickiness so um, the stickiness will go and then you wash it get, get bring the stickiness back and when you're putting the beads in place, you can just put your beading thread and wire down to it, and the bead won't roll away from you. You can just put the bead straight in, um, the wire straight into the bead, and it saves you so much time when you're making stuff. Do it really it? does. If you've got seed beads, normally I spill them out, and then I do that, and they all stick. <laughs> uh, but I don't have a tube of seed beads anywhere near uh, me, do I? No. No. Hannah will be thankful for that. It's <laughs> Hannah's bugbear. I always do it. Aha! <laughs> sorry, Hannah. No, not go. sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Thank okay. you so much. No! Uh, there we All go. over you go. Do, 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 do. Now, these are actually metallic ones, so I'm hoping it'll work on the it metallics. Might not, but it might do. We've not well. tried with metallics. Are you Here we go. Lift up and it does work. Here we go. Honest. I'm going to lose a few. No, I'm not. <laughs> you see, and that's pretty good, even for metallic. And then you then. Um, as you're putting the wire or thread towards it, you're not frustrated with it slipping away from yeah, you. Yeah, it doesn't it's try so and move away. And it does, um, you know, it's hard enough with your eyes being bad as it is at this age, let alone not being able to get the thread in the bead when it rolls away. So that really helps. These, it, and it saves on your hoover. Because how many times when you're hoovering it goes crunch? Do you go, <laughs> uh oh? And I always think, That'll be, one day it'll be the straw that breaks the camel's Under back. Under the coffee table, there is enough to make about seven necklaces. Yeah. <laughs> it's less. I always think that, what, what just crunched, <laughs> I'm not sure. Luckily, I've got one of those ones that you pull about. I've oh, got a Henrietta, uh, because you, I have to have that, because they are indestructible. I, love, I, I haven't managed to Have kill, you got one of those? Yes, because I've killed every other one, every other Hoover brand. Me too. I've gone. The one that... Um, the one that everyone says, get one of them, they're the best, and they're wireless, and all this. Useless. <laughs> I, even had to, I even had to go and get mine serviced, and I thought, this is ridiculous. But there are other ones on the market, and you can try them out if you want to. Yeah, absolutely. You could try a shark. You could try all the ones Rachel and I have, but if you're a beader or you've got animals, it's Henrietta all the way. Henry or Henrietta. Now, we've managed to get the monkey! Pendant booklet, yes! Oh, so we have got the monkey. Is that a DVD or a oh, oh yes. yes. Now is this the last I've edition? Have I got oh, him anywhere? We've got him. We've got him. Now oh, we've yeah. only got a few. No, Over six hundred of these went, and we've got all the amber in the hour. Just scroll down for nine ninety five uh, for the monkey mango pendant, monkey and mango pendant booklet. Uh, Lyndon, Devon, Sharon, Christine, you're straight in for this one. Maybe you missed out last time. It's back. It's sold out. We've got a few back in stock for you. Don't don't Sorry. worry, darling. If you yeah. haven't got it, it doesn't matter at all. But it's so beautiful. The monkey is my mum um, because she was born in India 
um, and was brought up there. And um, she was um, three years old and ran away from home because <gasps> next door was a mango tree. And she climbed that mango tree and ate as many mangoes as she could and then fell asleep behind the, lutsan, the sideboard in the neighbourhood. She climbed path. up the mango, mango tree. tree. Ate well, as many mangoes as she could, and then fell asleep full of mangoes um, in the house, the house next door. And they found her asleep, and so she's the monkey <gasps> up the mango tree. Um, oh my gosh, I mangoes. love that story. Ben. Wild from the start. <laughs> 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 I did not do something similar with sambucas. I did not. Um, I can't drink sambuca. sambuca. What is sambuca, Danny? It's the one that you set fire to. Oh, it gosh. used to be when I was younger, my party trick to fill my mouth one. up with sambuca, light it, let the flame go, Danny. and swallow it whole. Um, of course, you shouldn't do that because no. it gives you a stomach ulcer, Rachel. Because oh. um, oh. you're ju essentially oh, burning. So it wouldn't you give know. you any eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, no, well, it goes, and then you swallow it, and everyone cheers, and you think, yeah, I'm no. the party master. And then you wake up. <laughs> like that catches up with you. Oh, poor Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Poor stupid Jenny. <laughs> uh, no more. It actually oh. makes me go uh, when I think of that. Oh, now you. you've been using a gorgeous garnet strand, have, haven't actually. you? I'll, I'll um, just. I, I've got to link. I'll Sorry that we've worked you so hard no, today. By the way, this is, this is fine. Did you just have that napkin in your pocket? I I had the napkin from a previous show. Now just pretend that's garnet because I'm going, that's oh, what you'd use it with. Actually, you know how obsessed I am with the Christmas table. Yeah, this is but, perfect. Um, I've made a very simple. I love it. Just pretend that's the garnet, but I'm going to show you the the. Um, do you have a wirework Christmas table, Rachel? Uh, I do now because I've so many years now. I've made things. They all go come out and they go onto the tree. Um, I'm literally oh going to put these three, this pendant element on and then you've got a little little part of a necklace. It's two seconds. This is very bougie and we love it. And then, um, so what I've done is made some holly leaves um, and then wired on the garlic. So the, the holly leaves are made in one mil. So all you need to do is just make some holly leaves and then 0.4 millimetre wire and you got these as beautiful berries. What's this, what's this here, this gauge, 1.25? I think that's 1.25. Yeah. So what I've done is I've got an, an old um, inside of a cling film tube, okay, and you oh. wrap the 1.25 round, idea. okay, and then you have two long bits on the other side um, sticking out, turn it over onto a template, make a holly leaf, um, fold the wire back and then down for the spine and curl the end and then hammer it and that this is um just it's a little part of a necklace it's oh sorry thank you so yeah, i probably much. done it the wrong way around it's probably all facing the wrong way but um it's showing that garnet Beautiful. all wired into an, at the start of a necklace and what i'd do is make veins if i was um you know my maple leaf booklet if any of you have got that just use the techniques in the maple leaf booklet to make um little golden veins with the 0.4 millimeter wire and you can complete that necklace. So use one millimeter, 0.4 millimeter, um, and the garnet, and that's all you need. And you've hammered these, haven't you? Yes, I've this is them. wonderful. So that's a sort of, and you could make. You could put of those. that around. Uh, you could make that into a garland. You could easily, yeah. You could, did I just you? take that thought out of your <laughs> yes, head? Sorry. Yes, you you can have I do it. that sometimes. You can have it and use it. <laughs> Fireplace, garland, 100% with Absolutely. real holly yeah. across the top, but yes. then this, this trailing under the bottom. the decoration. <gasps> Easy, isn't it? Yes. Round a candle, um, round the centre point of, um, of, a, of a table decoration, um, on a necklace as well. So that works really well. So uh, what I do is link, uh, I'd have a, I've got a few more side pieces, I just haven't had time to link them together because I was filming the thing. We've um, got the maple leaf <laughs> collection that you were just talking about, That's necklace a, collection, yes. which is where you're saying you can take you, this all, technique. All the techniques from, so really adapting the maple leaf design to make a holly leaf. Um, and that's, I put the garnet in as the berries at the top. The garnet's only mm. £4.95, 40 really carats, that is incredible mm. for garnet. Now we've mm. got the, the booklet for you to make your maple leaf designs, which, you, which is where Rachel's taken this technique and put it into um, all of these pieces. And of course, we're going to make it a style buy.
Okie doke. We've got it for you. If you want to be able to create the leaves just like this, we didn't think we were going to be able to have this and we have got it. So it was a little bit, woohoo. Um, now, it's an adaptation, this leaf, of the one that's in the maple totally leaf is, yes. uh, booklet. Yes. And we've got that for you just now. Now, this will come with a warning. We do think this is going to sell out very, very fast. Please get yourself on the oh, phone the lines lovely too. So as soon as possible. You've got two designs in there. So you've got the sunflower um, with layers of petals and weaving techniques and you're using sort of um, amber chain beads um, in the centre to make the glorious sunflower centre. You learn how to make the connectors in the side and the clasp. And also you used, um, you've got the same um, booklet will teach you how to make the, the leaves inside. So just all you need to do is make those a bit more like a holly leaf and use the same techniques, wiring the little garnets, and you've got literally the, the make it Christmas. So, so it's, a, it's, it's an mm. easily adapted design that yes, you've given us, which you're, is wonderful. Yes. You're learning how to make a leaf shape, and you're learning how to make those lovely, complex leaf, vein, leaf veins. They look complex, but they're actually quite simple techniques to use. Again, everything's broken down step by step by step. And again, I wish I had um, the little box of everything in it is sitting in the um, somehow the the outside. It's just literally 50 yards away, but I can't go and get it. Um, but um, you can see the picture on the front of the of the booklet. Um, so I show you how to make the leaf frames and um, the uh, the frames and wiring beads, and then you've also got the sunflower techniques as well. So you've got two beautiful designs in there in that booklet. So. Um, I, again, it's one of it's that's such a lovely photograph on the front. Sam took a lovely photograph of it, and it's one of the nicest things when you see your pieces photographed by some professional. So I do all the photographs inside, but then mm. having Sam um, do those photographs just meant the world to me. And he's done such a lovely job, actually. Just oh, I think oh, that's lovely, and it is I beautiful. hardly believe I've made it sometimes because I just you don't you forget and oh, I've made that. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's come to fruition. Now, do you want Hannah to go out and grab your bag for you if you tell her where it is? I can go, uh, our um, floor manager can go and get it for you. Um, I know exactly which box it is, so if okay. you mind, I'll, I'll run and get it. So it won't be long. It's just there. It's in the conservatory. £7.95 MYT Y69. £7.95 is your price. It's our fault entirely. We didn't think we'd be able to have this. We are now being told... We are, I'm, I'm going to be honest for you, we, with you. We were saving this for Christmas Day and we've just had special permission to be able to bring this on air because Rachel's here. You are going absolutely wild for this. We are guests to have it. MYT Y69, well over half the stock has gone and sold out there is a queue on the phone lines um if you noticed we had to bring um the graphics off and reload them because we had so many people come through and put this in a basket that it did something to our system so then it off it it i don't know whether it kicked you out and then you've come back on again whoops that was me spilling beads that belong to rachel no, no, don't worry. I won't even reference that you've got the wrong box, Rachel, of course. <laughs> We're going to give you the example in just a second. But if you want to be able to create gorgeous pieces like this ready for your Christmas uh, table, then it's an adaptation of what's on your screen just now. £7.95. You've got two beautiful designs. And this is one of the chapters. Now, it did sell out. This did. It's back in stock. This one is has been reprinted for Christmas Day. We've only got a few opportunities left now. Oh, my gosh, there are literally over 100 of you with this in a basket. Rachel Norris panting, <laughs> stressing out. That's amaze. Oh, my gosh, you are wonderful. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. I just want to show you because it's sold out. <gasps> Rachel, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Do you know what? That would be amazing, like, around somebody's tummy if they had the most amazing stomach. You know, like a belly dancer's. Yeah, that's simple. You can make oh, it my gosh. Look well. at that. You see the different colourway. May I have um, that so I can... Yeah, so you, can show, you don't have to make... I love way. what you've done with the beads. Aren't yes. they beautiful? Look at the beads. So the beadwork is amazing. All of that. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, oh, Rachel Norris. So I've got the sunflower. So I'm just going to make a mess everywhere. So That's okay. There's the sunflower. Thank you so much. There you go. There. I'm sorry I that we it. made you do that <laughs> because it was totally off piece because we didn't think we were having it because it was safe for Christmas Day. <laughs> Imagine that as a ring. Look. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
Oh, that's wow. um, but it's <laughs> it's outstanding. And they had um, with the blue and the copper, it makes it was um, looks like a gerber, you see. So you can make it like a different different flower just with that. Oh but, yeah. Um, so a sunflower to gerber with the different wire tones and beads. You know, it's really really adaptable. Rachel, this is amazing. Thank you. Well, no, thank you because thank you because if I didn't wasn't. I wouldn't have been pushing myself to do all this if I wasn't on Jewelry Maker. I just wouldn't be pushing myself to... You, know, you don't, do you? Unless you have um, a focus and, and something to focus on, you don't develop. And this is what I've... It's been really good. I've, I've, it's been going two ways. Did you, I can't ways. imagine that you ever realised that you'd be this good at this either. I don't I mean, know. I don't it's, know. you're I just... amazing. Um, Beverly says, Hi, Rachel, I made these napkin rings and five years they're still going strong. Came out of a magazine. And that's from Millie B. Oh, it might have... Was it, I did a napkin... I did one of these for um, um, a beading magazine about five years ago. It might have been those um, similar ones. I made those um, for a beading magazine. Was, wow. Uh, I did a tutorial with it, them on. And let's talk, yeah. because actually <laughs> making and designing isn't your full-time occupation. We've got lots of brand new jewellery makers here. Yes. You've got quite a stressful, high-powered job. Yes. I'm and you, yes. you jewellery make to take the stress away. I do. Even though you yeah. give yourself the most intricate <laughs> projects. Um, what, yes. what is it? Tell everyone what it is I'm you do on a daily basis. I'm a in vascular ultrasound. So I run a vascular clinic. I run an, an NHS service provider. And I do ultrasound on blood vessels all over the body. So if you have a sort of um, a deep vein thrombosis, I can do that. Or a varicose vein, I can do that. Or you have a blood clot or a blocked artery to the brain or the, the arm or the kidney or the or the leg and into the foot. Wow. And that's, I'll look and find the pathology, aneurysms, all sorts of stuff like that, graphs. And I'll scan them, um, make the diagnosis, and the surgeon goes and sorts it all, sorts it all out. And then I go and check, check the surgeon's on a good job afterwards. Um, and so we've been operating Whilst beading all and making books, everybody, <laughs> Rachel is literally superwoman. And Rachel has three children as well. <laughs> and a husband and a, and a dog. You've got dogs dog. as well. Yeah, I'm a lovely dog, yes. I loved it. If it wasn't for dogs, where would we be? <laughs> they never answer us back. Mm, they're just so... I get The kids are on the sofa, the husband's on the sofa, and the dog just comes to me and goes, oh, you feel back, you're back, you've been out five minutes, I love you. So that's honestly, what, yeah, I know, my dog like. does that, and it's like... <laughs> Yes, it's me. They're just delighted to see you, aren't they? <laughs> now, we've got a really beautiful strand of antique pearls just to finish off our show. These pink freshwater potato pearls are just a delight for your collection. Uh, GJM G43. They're only £17.95 at this point of the show. It is my absolute pleasure to thank Rachel Norris love you massively. Yes, Huge you love today. to you. Um, when are you back with us, Rachel um, Norris? Well, I am sort of having December off because I actually haven't had any time off. I've had two weeks off this year and I haven't had any time off so I'm, I'm going to need a break. So you I'm going certainly to, do. I'm going to have a break around Christmas time then I'm coming back in January to do a show which I'm excited about because it could be anything. I, I've got some ideas <gasps> and then I'm bringing a really big booklet show in, in, in March time and then a really, really special one for the, the, the birthday show. All planned and it's all exciting. We've so always got Rachel in the, Norris in the, in the diary. Thank you so much. I will oh, see you on Facebook of course. Well. Love, Love Rachel Norris so yeah. much and um, thank you for everything that you do thank for you. us here at Jewelry Maker and, of course, for the NHS. <laughs> um, now we've got Jade, a Jade showcase coming up for you. It could not be any better of a day today, could it? We've got the gorgeous Debbie Kershaw coming back with Vicky Carroll, who is also equally gorgeous, and some Jade. I think, I think <laughs> that is uh, your evening sorted here today, isn't it? I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Don't forget, we have got Mark Smith's DVD, 50th DVD, uh, launching with us tomorrow. We have got a great big bundle on split pay. And my goodness me, we fought tooth and nail to get you the value that we're bringing you tomorrow. Huge, huge kisses to each and every one of you. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. We have got the best Grand Didierite I have ever seen on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be incredible. We've given it to guest designer Hannah Osborne to work with, and she has made the most exquisite jewelry with it. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. It's me again, Becky. It's lush to see you. How on earth are you doing? Well, what a day we've had. If you were watching me on this morning show, you will know we had exceptional pearls and we had um, the wonderful Susie on with us and we had sell out chain bundles. Oh. They flew like that and I mean I have good quantities of some of them I swear one of them I had about 200 when my producer Danny's only managed to get us some more chain bundles in so if you missed out on the silver the rose gold all the gold bundles today I'll be honest it's not the same they're not the same gram weight and they're not the same length but if you were just like no I missed the bundles I love a bundle because I love a deal then I've got you covered also on the mid show you've just had the wonderful Jenny Cleary the incredible Rachel well done to any of you who got the book um, and the signed ones as well and you got inspired by those makes if you got inspired by those makes that had this wonderful frozen and feel to them with all of these delicate colours coming through from the wire but the angles of, of the shapes that made them quite bold if you are about the boldness with an element of, of delicacy oh my goodness you're going to love my kits from Demi Cashel <laughs> hello I think that might be you in a noise Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I'll go with that. I'll cool. take that. Cool. Thanks I need back. to talk about your kits. <laughs> oh, I know. I know how much you love these because these were one of the first products we spoke about yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are on the way for you in kits. 
as well as all of those, I have got for you Splendour of my pick of the day. Do you know how certain noises just, just make you smile? This noise makes me smile. Yes. Yeah. It is the sound of our pick of a day. And if these were to speak, what would they be saying? <gasps> they would be saying new. They would be saying sparkle. They would be saying party. They would be saying unisex. Yeah, we've got it all on this strand. Pick of the day happens at five o'clock. Your hematite wheels, not too far off. Can I just tell you something really random, but completely real? I've got just shy of 270 of these. That should give you a hint as to price. In case you are new, when we have big quantities, over 200, that will mean that we want to shift them. So we often take a little nudge down in price. I'm going to bring the 270 of these to you at five. I promise you it's worth the wait. As well as that, I have got the best, most well-known, unique, distinctive colour of Morganite coming up for you from a very special location. I have also got um, purple sapphire. And do you know what? I'm not even going to show it to you just yet. I'm going to make you wait. I'm going to make you wait a little <laughs> bit. Just a little bit. It is in this hour, though. And I have got for you... If you follow me on Rebecca Reddick and present to social media, you will know that I've recently put up a um, photograph of some scones that our gorgeous director Paul bought in for us. I said that um, I needed them after my massive chicken-based takeaway lunch because I needed <laughs> energy for the Jedi hour. And that is absolutely the case. They are coming up for you in 7 o'clock hour, including those coins on the end there. 12 different strands all clear out prices. I'm going to be doing that in seven. As well as all of that, I'm going to be bringing to you dinosaur bones. I'm going to be bringing to you shell pearl. I'm going to be bringing to you all of this and more. But I'm starting off with a piece of history. A piece of history in a shape that when we did this the other day, it was a different colour. It was so popular that people just went instantly in baskets and then just hovered there until the price. Sometimes that'll happen because people will expect something and they'll go, OK, if that price they expected comes in, it's a bit too rich for their blood. They may well take it out of their basket. That didn't happen with this. I am bringing to you minimum 44 million years old, fresh, zesty lemon amber in the donut wow. shape. Now, this sold out last time we did an amber day and it was so popular that it flew out the door. We've not been able to get it in since. This as a shape and as a design is stunning. You will know this shape and design if you follow high-end jewelers. You will also know this shape and design if you're interested in your storytelling jewelry that maybe is multi-use. Shapes like this have been used over the centuries as a signifier of eternity, no ending, no beginning, but also with that um, sort of rivet in the middle, if, if that makes sense, the way that it delves on into the middle, it kind of undulates in, it's also been used as a palm stone. We are bringing to you a shape that you might be looking at and going, okay, Bex, I've got an idea, so what do I do? Do I just pop that onto chain? You can do, absolutely you can do. It's very, very sturdy. It's very, very bold. You absolutely could do that. Or if you wanted to, you could do some ideas like the ones we're about to show you. These designs here are done with donuts. The donuts that are in the picture to the right um, with the earrings and the ring, those are the size of these ones. That design, those designs, although they look complex, I've seen them made, I know how they're made. It's honestly really rather simple. That would be classified as, say, a, a beginner to intermediate technique. In the next design, I love the next slide because these ones go to show how by using the aperture, you will use the aperture and you can do... Um, um, in, in the right-hand side one again, use the aperture almost as a way to create texture to add to this fan-out effect of rounds at the bottom. Can I ask you, do you have any um, rounds of amber at home? 
if you do, do you think that could look quite nice with this? So this is the centre and then some of you round around the base like you saw in the picture just there. Could look good, couldn't it? Oh, you're kidding me. We've reordered this in. It sold out on our last Amber event. I now have only 30 available. This is pop you la and it is just £9.95. This is one of our lowest yield to Amber ratio shapes that we do. I mean, come on, even just looking at that aperture in the middle. It's not like we've got a cookie cutter and cut that out and hey, great, we can use this as a bead. Once you drill that and cut that, that is a piece that is therefore gone. This is a heavy loss yield. So it's a luxury to be able to get this kind of shape. I will let you know, um, 30 was what I had before the price point came in. I'm nowhere near that now. Very low. Uh, I'm, I'm, by this, I'm taking into account people who are uh, purchasing this and people who are um, having this in their baskets. I have got for you an opportunity to get, sorry if you heard me giggling then, it's because I'm trying to sign to my wonderful tech up, bust, because yes. I'd like a bust. It's quite hard to do actually, <laughs> without looking a little bit fruity. Anyway, um, I have got last of stock on a sterling silver chain bundle now. The chains that I did for you earlier on, um, they sold out. I did 20 inch, a 24 inch and a 30 inch before. They sold out in moments. We were actually going to recap them. And when we came to recap them, we weren't able to because they'd sold out. Um, this is the sterling silver bundle I've got for you tonight. We're actually not generally allowed to bundle chains, especially in the run up to Christmas, because we end uh, lots of people come in and buy them then. So we end up getting low stock and then it gets near to Christmas. And if we bundle them, we sell out and people understandably can get a little bit annoyed. Um, but we've done it for you today, just as a little bit of a weekend treat. I just wanted to show you if you did just want to bob a chain through. What do you think of this with the amber? Yeah. I mean, I know that is so simple. I haven't actually used any other findings. If you're brand new and you're thinking, how on earth do you make that? Gonna be honest with you, you undo a clasp and then you just slide it on. It, it, it's, it's, it's very simple, but I think it looks really effective. All four chains, including those long, elaborate, hammered cable chains, including this chain here, which I love. It's that really unisex ball chain, including the lovely um, diamond cut beads that you're looking at here, including the infinity chain, which I really like. I'll just move that off to save confusion. I love how the links in this look like the little infinity signs. And that does also include your sort of go-to, let's say, cable chain, which is um, quite useful. If you wanted to make these longer, we did some sterling silver jump rings yesterday. All you can have to do, if you wanted to, is add some onto here and do it as an extender. I'd actually think of extending one by two inches, extend another by four inches, extend another by six inches, and have a layered look, because that's really in. That is about to sell out. I'm sorry, but... I'd rather have some than none, if you get me. I'm going to do a multi-gemstone strand now. And this has got a really unique selection of shapes. I like these strands because they're a little bit like um, bead scoops, but on a strand. And these ones are in your drilled tumble stones. Deb, this is a shape we get to see that often. Mm. So can you give me an idea of what we could make that's maybe a little bit different? I like the idea of just taking one and actually putting it on a chain, you know, so you've got that pop of colour. Love. But also what's really lovely with this sort of thing as well is using cord because then it becomes unisex. So you can use it in your cord designs. Um, you could use it in a macrame design. You could... Oh, you know what would be nice? Go on. <laughs> you know the bracelets that we do, the slider bracelets, yeah. and they've got room in the middle? Mm -hmm. Then you could use some of those in the middle and we'll make it quite different. Sort of give nice it a idea. sort of an edge to it, wouldn't it? That's a lovely idea. Yeah. And do you know what? With all of these that are on here, this is the jadeite coming up later, but I just thought those natural tones always go well, don't they? Um, with something like this, I'm just thinking about, with the slider design, what you could do for maybe... Um, if you're interested in crystal healing is if you were to make something for someone 
who maybe, I don't know, maybe they needed a little bit of energy yeah. and maybe a bit of support. You could select the stones from this that have yeah. those connotations. Yeah, you could really bespoke something like this, couldn't you? Definitely. Um, or even like, you know, I did a course years ago on colour therapy and that is a thing, you know. Yeah. Certain colours make people feel certain ways. So even if you go by colour, if you're not a crystal healing kind of person, you know, colour has effects on people as well. Their favourite yeah. colour, their birthstone colour. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and anything like that. So you can personalise it in subtle ways rather than putting names on things, can't you? Agreed with you there, completely. All of the qualities here. I've got so much. I can't guarantee what you're going to get, but you're going to get a range and a carat weight just like this. Today, yes, these are genuine gemstones, but yes, it is. What? Portion of chips? Bit of cod? <laughs> Four, and I mean a bit of cod, not, not, a, not a medium even. Um, Four pounds and 95 pence for you today. Tiger's eye you've got on here. You've got Amazonite colours. I've got Jasper in here. I've got Chalcedony hues. Amethysts in here. I'm bringing to you Howlites as well. There is so much going on in here. And do you know what it would go lovely with as well? I know this sounds really... Well, do you know what? If you've never had or, or felt or seen dinosaur bone, you, you may well not, um, this might not sound silly, but when you feel this and you feel the textures of this, you can actually almost feel the history. You can almost sense the history. This is coming up for you later on. If you would like to grab it, I'm going to be doing it at about 18.40. It is time now to get inspired and it's so interesting isn't it when we talk about pearls for example one of the best known organics on the planet even when we talk about baltic amber and even when we talk about jet another organic we will talk about the beauty of them we'll talk about how unusual they are we'll talk about how the structure of them is different to crystals etc one word that i rarely not, not, not commonly at all, very rarely, especially with pearls use, is workmanship. Because let's be totally honest, with a pearl as a general rule, there is very little to no workmanship of the overall finish. Obviously, there's the looking after them, caring for them in the nursery, but it's not like we're going and polishing them or buffering them up or faceting them, is it? We very rarely, with organics, focus on workmanship. But I'm about to change that entirely. And that is what I'm bringing to you in a kit. A strand in particular that takes what you know of an organic and completely breaks the rules. This is your kit. Are you into jigsaws? <laughs> the reason I ask is because jigsaws i find really relaxing as a general rule um i say generally because i'll be honest there is a tradition in the redican household at christmas where me me grandma me grandparents me extensive aunties and uncles all get together over christmas um we have a jigsaw competition every single year men versus women and you you get two extremely similar um, <laughs> same size, same pieces. This sounds like a lie. You know if you know me, it's not. <laughs> um, uh, you get two very similar jigsaws, and it's men v women, and it takes place over the three days of Christmas. And you kind of, you know, potter, and you'll do little bit by little bit. However, it always goes awry, because we're always up there on, like, the second night at, like, three in the morning, like, Phyllis, hand me the call! Peace, you know, because you're trying to beat everyone. Anyway, <laughs> the reason I'm bringing that up is because generally jigsaws can be quite relaxing, can't they? Can be quite calming. If you have got a really good sort of imaginative mind, just do me a favour for a second. Imagine that you were about to make a jigsaw, but the jigsaw pieces weren't the traditional shape. They were all square. Would that be quite easy, do you think? Could be, couldn't it? Or would it? Would it be more difficult? Because if they're just square into square, then you don't actually know if they're fit properly. Pretty difficult, maybe. Maybe a bit more difficult. Now let's think about making just the square pieces into the jigsaw. And now we want to make the jigsaw spherical. Yeah, now we've made it even more difficult, right? 
Now imagine doing that with the opal of the ocean. This is organic workmanship and it tells you everything that you could hope to see of the opal of the ocean, PowerShell, abalone, but also the workmanship and craftsmanship of making squares into circles for these mirror ball likes and dazzles of the undulation, oceanic colours with a genuine organic of shell. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. How did you feel when you first saw these, please? This is the honest truth, right? Go on. I opened them and I went, oh, and I went running downstairs because obviously my hubby's working from home all the time at the minute. I went running downstairs to go, oh, look at these. And he was on a conference call. So sure. I stood outside his office going, mm, 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 and then I started getting the hump. <laughs> now, how dare we? How dare he be on a conference call and I want to show him these gemstones. That's so amazing. And in the end, I couldn't wait any longer, so I went stamping back up the stairs. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. So I had to wait to show him and that really annoyed me. <laughs> I bet he walked out this conference call like, why are you in the mood? Um, what was it that compelled you with these so much? Because understandably, you don't do that all the time. I've never heard you do, do that before. And quite frankly, your husband's a very lovely and patient very man. Patient and I'm glad man, that yeah. he doesn't have to do, have, deal with that every day. No. But what was it that compelled you so much to do that, to go and show him? Because they're so unusual. And I love my abalone shell. And I've got all the ones, I've even got ones that we did for when I worked here before, like five, six years ago. Yeah. I've still got some of those. And this was like like a new way of doing it and also they're round so the design possibilities were endless yeah and I needed to show it <laughs> yes yeah and I can feel that passion in your jewelry <laughs> I just you know and I, I just look at that and it's a ring and I would wear that one of those big ones on my finger I just would yeah completely that's the thing with this jewelry mm. it says so much it speaks so much even just pick any piece of these that you want the artistry, the workmanship, the beauty of these designs. If you imagine they'd be upstairs in her house getting these and being like a kid in a candy shop, running down and going, oh, God, wait to tell someone. Imagine that being you when you get these home, when you make a piece of jewellery with them, and then that amazing, amazing day when you wear them out and your friends go, oh, my gosh, what on earth is that? Yeah. I love it. Because it's not so unusual. That's why I like them. Yeah. These are those pieces to make you smile, and we wanted to carry on the smile. So we brought to you additions of genuine real deal preciosa these are your blue iris 11 o's with serious sparkle then we even stuck to quality and went hey let's bring in some spinel to add in again that wonderful quality of sparkle with the pinks and the greens and the purples and the teals that go in with this and then hey let's keep it quite frankly boutique and go sterling silver let's do head pins let's do shepherd hooks let's do class Let's do the whole kit and caboodle. Sorry, yes, sterling silver. Yes, huge, beautiful, four mil faceted spinels. Yes, a preciosa bundle amount of 11 O's, 10 grams. And yes, abalone jigsaw together in 16 by 16 mils. This is your chance to grab a boutique wonder. This is your chance, in my opinion, to grab something absolutely head-turning. Now, you and I both know that I do not have a, a head and a memory for strand prices, etc. I just don't have it in me at all. My, my brain doesn't retain numbers. It's not the way my mind works. I have a feeling, and this isn't me umphing or bumping, I have almost a dead cert feeling that the first time I brought you abalone mosaics similar to this, they weren't the same, I think they were slightly larger, they were $39.95. They were $39.95. My producer's going, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, 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 as in like, yeah, I, I completely mm -hmm. agree with you there. They weren't the same, but they were $39.95. Please bear that in mind. 
I am bringing to you Sully Stanley Silver, Preziosa, the Mosaic and Spinel for £24.95. <laughs> Debbie Kershaw in my peripherals nearly gave herself whiplash with turning around <laughs> then. And she did these huge Bambi eyes at me. We actually didn't discuss the no, price beforehand. Tell me what you think about that price, please. I think that's definitely worth running down the stairs for us. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. It's, you know, it's a, I get a lot of kits and, and it, this is just something different. I tried not to get too carried away, so I have put just one on a chain because I think that's what a lot of people would wear and do. Um, and also I did a little right angle weave with the Preciosa to make a chain um, because I thought I know not everybody likes seed beadings. And if I did something quite intricate, it might put some people off. So I thought, look, a little bit of right angle weave and it just makes a chain. Um, but of course, if you're a seed beader, you know exactly what you want to do with those seed beads. You yeah. could even take them around the disco balls, which is what I'm now calling them. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I love that idea. OK, there are so many of you in for this. Please do check out your baskets. As always, let me remind you, you've got a, thir um, a, a money back guarantee until the 31st of January. And if you've already opened your baskets today, it's three ninety five. If you haven't, you may as well get on it because I've got all of this jade on the way. I've got these wonderful sapphires on the way i've got historic dinosaur bones on the way and i've got hematite amongst others so seize the moment right now and do check out on those because quite frankly all of this together at jewelry maker price is 57 pounds today if you check out now it's only 24.95 you're gonna have a lot of fun with this let's get ready to craft and we're making this beautiful necklace element aren't we yeah, um, I added some chain to this because I just thought it would be beautiful to have that waterfall element and have those lovely little tiny bees because whatever way you look at them, they've got different colours on the way they're faceted mm. and they go so beautifully with the disco ball. So I just thought, you know, let's add some chain in and see what that does. Yeah. So you could just do the bottom part of that necklace and then add onto a piece of cord. You could do the right angle weave that I did with the Preciosa you know, you know what you want to do. You're, you're the jewellery maker. But I'm going to show you how to just make the little component. Perfect. OK, so all I'm taking one of these beautiful. Well, how, what would you actually call it? An abalone round? Mosaic, mosaic we've round. called okay, it. Let yeah. me get into frame a bit better. There we go. Um, but I'm still going to call them disco balls because <laughs> just think they're beautiful. OK, and I'm going to pop on one of the smaller beads and then one of these gorgeous larger beads and so I have added into this this kit I've added obviously some chain and then when I did the right angle weave I had obviously you need some beading thread for that as well and some needles if you want to do that we've um, got some needles and we've got some um, thread as well in a bit oh okay cool so yeah you will need that if you want to obviously do any sort of seed beading designs with this okay so I've put one of the smaller beads on the bottom or one of the smaller beads on the top and then this beautiful abalone mosaic in the middle and the more you um look at it the more colors you see come off it which is just i really liked it i just think it's something very different and i'm just going to make a wrap loop at the top i'm going to make use the top of my pliers so that i've got quite a large loop and then um, i'm not limited as to what i can use to go sort of round your neck so you could use cord if you wanted to chain or whatever so i'm just going to take my pin around my round nose pliers and then I'm going to hold on to it with my pliers there. And then I usually just straighten my pin out so that I get the shape that I want. So it makes sort of that question mark shape. And then I'm just going to pull around the rest of the pin so that I've basically filled that gap between the bead and the loop. And then I'm just going to turn it over and snip off any of my excess I'm just holding on to it because I don't want that to go flying off so that's your basic component there and then I'm going to add my drop now it's up to you how many drops you want to add I tend to again like odd numbers I think they're quite pleasing to the eye mm. so I'm going to just trim off my chain and I tend to just make a nick in it and then pull it apart I usually like to start with the largest length and I can always trim it down once I get it get it on there and um, just kind of fold it in half really so then mm -hmm. you end up with two 
chains that are roughly the same size. Mm. But you're dealing with a waterfall design here, so you really don't need to have an exact... You know, you can be. I always say this. You can be really exact if you want to. Mm. If you're that kind of jewellery maker, that great. You know, you get, get, get your tape measure out, get your ruler out. But I'm very sort of do it by eye. I'm going to do a third one, which I want to be sort of much shorter. Depends how many beads you want to add on, really, is how many lengths of chain you're going to add. So I've got two there. I'm just going to add three here for demonstration purposes. I'm adding it straight onto the loop on the bottom of my head pin, and then I'm just going to close it again like a door and just make sure that's on nice and securely. And so you're ready here to sort of have a look at this and see if it's if it's pleasing to the eye. If you want to, you could have this kind of asymmetrical shape, or I'm going to cut that off because that annoys me. Mm. <laughs> and uh, and have so all that's left now to do is really add on and what i did was i added a selection of single bead drops and my little preciosas now you will need some featherweight head pins if you're going to put also 0.4 wire if you're going to use the preciosas mm. and just so that they can fit on and once again all i did was wrap to loop these on now i'm going to wrap loop this one just as i did with the top um, mosaic I keep wanting to call it a disco ball yeah. I'm fighting my own brain <laughs> that happens a lot to me and then I'm going to wrap it around now I am going to show you how to do a basic loop if you're a beginner maker and you're thinking I just can't get to grips with wrap loops that's absolutely fine just takes practice so that's one on there okay and if you want to do a basic loop the way you would do it is just take your pin to a right angle just above your bead there and then trim it off to about a centimeter so about a centimeter again you can measure it I think I tended to measure more when I first started out just because I didn't have the confidence and that's absolutely fine mm. and then I'm just going to pop the pin into my round nose pliers I don't want really to have anything protruding here and then I'm just going to start in little turns move it away from me and then if I put it down you end up with a little loop lovely so then all you have to do with that is open it up and pop it on to whichever one you want. Now, you might be thinking, well, what, why do I need to do a wrap loop? Why, a wrap loop is actually what we would call um, in metal smithing a cold connection, but it's a really, really secure one. So the next best thing to soldering, really, is a wrap loop because it can't come off. Whereas sometimes when you do a basic loop, like the one that I've just done there, sometimes it can sort of get, get squished and sort of come open a bit. So if you do work your way up to your wrap loops, then that's probably the best way to do it. But you know, you can do a basic loop, that's fine. And then all I did was I just literally kept adding these beads and these drops to my chains until I got the final look that I was going for. So you can go for a very gem heavy look, or if you want to be a bit more minimalist, you can just add sort of a couple. It depends how far you want your kit to go. And then you just end up with a really pretty component mm. with sort of some waterfall drops and again Beautiful. you could pop that onto your right angle weave with your preciosa mm. you could pop that onto chain like i have on the necklace um cord if you're going for a bit, bit more of a sort of understated maybe sort of more funky design um i think the design opportunities with this kit were loads you can go full-on party if you want to yeah. but you can also really sort of design down and make it a bit more minimalist as well this is the wonderful thing about designs like this. You can put your own spin on them. As you can see with the overall jewellery, Deb certainly has. But the thing is, I think these are pieces anyone could wear and anyone would love to wear, including myself. So do feel free to seize the moment on those ones if you so wish. They are absolutely beautiful. We were talking about right angle weaves. And if that's something you are interested in, I have got two sets of wildfire and i'm bringing to you the white one so this one is a brilliant bonded material it's super duper strong and you can use this for lots of different techniques can't you deb you can you can also use it for your um bead embroidery 
You can use it for that. Um, so the needle pulling thread. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You can use it for that. I mean, I tend to use it for seed beading. It's my favourite sort of thread. Um, the reason being um, because I don't find that it tangles as much as other threads that I've used. I have more control over it. Um, and I just, it gives me a lovely drape as well on my finished pieces. So they're the reasons that I'd give if you said, why is it your favourite? Yeah. It's super duper fine, but it is incredibly strong, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's really strong because it's like fishing wire ultimately. Yeah. So, you know, you can, usually it'll have a poundage on there of how many pounds you can put on there without, before it breaks. breaks. And, you know, that's like a big salmon or something. <laughs> and, you know... I don't know about you, but none of my necklaces weigh like six pounds or anything. So you're going to be able to get loads on there. It's really useful. It is for you today. Your white wildfire thermally bonded weaving thread. It's seven pounds ninety five. I have seen the wildfire just like this well known crafting shop for fourteen yeah. ninety nine. Me too. And that seems to be quite a standardised price, That is actually. a standardised... You know, it used to be something that I thought twice about buying. And how... Do you get 50 yards? Yeah, which yeah, is like yeah. 45 metres. Yeah. So that's going to go... go that's going to go a long way. I think once you've used thread like this, there's no going back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you won't look at all the threads no. the same. Um, this is strong enough even for heavier gemstones, such as my pick of the day. Um, earlier... I brought to you some wonderful pearls and we had, and I don't want to harp on about them because they were the deal of the day and they sold out in minutes, but these pearls that we brought earlier on were significant. We brought to you some pearls after that that were strand pearls and we had some made up pearls actually, such as the earrings that I'm wearing now. These are pearls that, that you purchased. They came like this. They are these kind of hoop designs with the cubic zirconia. If you do want these, it's VDMG65 on those ones. They're only $24.95. Um, and the reason I'm showing you them is because we did made up pieces of jewellery with just one in, and then we did full strands. We didn't actually do anything quite like this, which is the true... I've never seen these before. Are they new? Totally new. Half drilled pearls. So what that means is, just going to tilt that forward. There's a drill hole at the top and then flip it around. Note the sizability of these. You're looking in this length over a centimetre. Keep turning. Where the drill hole would be, normally it's not. So that means that with the findings that you get in this bundle... With a bit of glue, may I suggest your E6000 or your um, creator's glue, your craft glue, the one we did not that long ago that's like universal for gemstones and more. All you will do is you will pop a little bit of glue on there. Please do not use any of the following PVA, super strong glues, stick glues. They will not work and or they will work, but they will damage the pearl after a year or so. Um, and then simply pop that into there. And leave it flat against your table to dry for at least 24 hours. That will then be stuck into place and you will have the most elegant pair of solid, real freshwater pearls with gold plating in um, earring drops. It's all the same quality. You will get a pair today and bring in... $19.95 is your drop down price point today. It should have been more than that, but today that's the deal we wanted to bring to you. It is an incredible opportunity actually to get something that is timeless. I hope you don't mind me mentioning the box that you've got beside you, but I do always think, oh, she's got a lovely photo on the side of that. <laughs> Can you tell us um, about the photo on the side of the box you carry around with you constantly? It's um, it's Audrey Hepburn um, because I think that she was the epitome of style and you know, the Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is where this photo is from, mm. is I watched that film just to look at the jewellery. Yes. And it's pearls and it's all the classic. Um, when you think, well, when I think of Audrey Hepburn, I think of pearls. Do you? 100%. Yeah. Yes. And I just 100%. think that, you know, and also she was a lovely person, wasn't she, in real life as well. And I don't know, she inspires me and the jury inspired me. So that's why she's on there. <laughs> and that is exactly why I've just asked about her off the back of these earrings. 
These pearl earrings, I could honestly imagine Audrey wearing. Oh, absolutely. And again, it's the sort of thing that you, my nana wore pearls because I remember like fiddling with her pearl necklace when I was a little sitting on her lap. You know, she had, it's tactile, aren't they? Completely. Pearls? And, you know, and then my mom and, and me and my daughter would wear earrings what are uh, more kind of funky. So pearls are timeless. They Agreed. go on down through the generations. Agreed. Certainly. They're on your screen now for 19 95 which for the quality of these pearls is incredible. Who fancies getting inspired? We gave Debbie, who is... How do I put it? <coughs> I mean, I could say so much. Um, but no, uh, Debbie's one of those people, one of those people who, as a guest designer, you don't like to stop, do I'm you? I'm scared of what she's going to say now. <laughs> There's so many things I could say. You don't like to... You're the type of person who, if you can craft, you want to bet your bottom dollar you're going to, right? Yeah. When we give you <laughs> challenges, it's never just, oh, yeah, I'll spend an hour or two and I'll, I'll make one simple piece. It's like, zoom, zap, they're there. Can I ask you, mm. how do you manage to create designs like this in such a quick space of time, but have them always look so elegant and so comprehensive because i love it yeah i think that's I'm it isn't it it's the passion. About it. and mm. also i'm very experienced i've been making jewelry 15 years making it professionally yeah um but even it, that being said i love it and you give me like i knew i was going to be early today because i stayed over last night so mm -hmm. i said to you guys last night didn't i you know leave me something to do because i'd rather you know i get paid to do this and that's not lost on me yeah yeah, yeah. and i love it and i'm passionate about it so yeah. that's why that you, you know sometimes I have to slow me down and go you know it's okay you don't have to yeah you can chill and for I a bit and i want everybody to get inspiration so i want to make sure i've made something in time for you to give it to to our jewelry makers so that they can see you know what to do yeah. Now, the pink amethyst we've given to you, <gasps> and it is just singing. <laughs> that design there with just a simple, solitary, individual piece. Why did you dare, in all honesty, mm -hmm. to put just one? Because they're not massive. What was it about this strand that made you go, actually, one will handle itself? It's it's Audrey Hepburn, isn't it? It's beautiful, and I love absolutely love this gemstone, and that's what I would wear. I either go mm. teeny tiny in my jewelry or I go huge. I don't yeah. really do much in between. No. Now I would layer this, and I think like this particular one's a lariat, so you could wear it um, in some different ways, sort of sort of round your throat or down a little bit more. And as I was doing this, I thought, you know what? One of these, just quite near your collarbone, and then you could have... That. We've done a lot of chains today. It's if brilliant. you bought the long mm. chains from earlier, you could yeah, have just this mm. and then long chains. Oh, stunning. Everybody knows that if it's price point of £48 is on screen for that long, I've not mentioned it. It's probably because it's going away. Just <laughs> take a second to look at that price now. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. You're getting change on a singular note of pink amethyst, of quality pink amethyst Qu too. Yeah. Quality enough that you only need one actually in each in, in 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 a design, as you were saying. Yeah, you don't. I wouldn't do this sort of design. I've cut, put a couple of seed beads in there, and I've wrapped the single one with some of the seed beads as well. But you don't do that with a strand that can't handle it do you you kind yeah. of you hide maybe some gemstones that are a bit raggedy but you know these are lovely i can't believe i'd have been happy with 20 quid for this yeah <laughs> do we make a price yes i'd have paid that happily 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 every day yeah only 28 left of those ones now so i'm gonna wish you luck if you love your colors of creativity may i suggest your color of happiness Citrine is here now. Not long until I've got the dinosaur bone. Not long until I've got the hematite. Not long until I've got so many treats and treasures I've not even spoken about yet. And not long, really, until my jadeite showcase starting in the 7 o'clock hour. We're bringing to you 38 carats worth of your citrine. These are your smooth heart shapes. Now, they're not hearts in the sense of that they've, they've got almost like you're drawing a heart shape. They're heart shaped in the sense that they are drilled at the smallest point, the peak, and then they dome out more than you might expect from a teardrop. 
31.95 for a strand with this intensity is a good price, especially for quite a, a take on an unusual shape, really, for us here at Jewelry Maker. But again, we want to make it affordable so that you can add it to that wonderful amethyst that you've just gotten your hands on. It is £10.95 for you today. Can I just show it to you with something pretty, pretty unique? I know this is a while away, but I think, are you a magpie? Do you love sparkle? This is tomorrow evening's night owl. It's coming up for you tomorrow, 7.45. It's the one to top off your weekend. It is well worth setting your alarm for. When I bring to you stones like the ones I've just brought, I'm bringing to you incredible, unusual, different. I'm bringing to you different sizes, different colours, different uses. I'm bringing to you different stories, different words. I'm bringing to you different lyrics almost, if you will. They're all there to sing their different song. When I bring to you Sapphire, I almost let you have the narrative because we all have our different stories and we all probably... Think about the same words when we think about sapphire. When I bring to you this stone, if you were to summarise sapphire in three words, getting a bit mystic Meg now, I imagine quite a few of you might be thinking royalty. I imagine quite a few of you might be thinking luxury. I have a feeling that some of you might be thinking sparkle. And I have a feeling some of you might be thinking um, expensive. I also have a feeling that if you have said any of them words, I'm absolutely agreeing with you. Yes, 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 yes. Some of you may well also be thinking blue. Straight after this break, I'm going to have to disagree. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some incredibly exciting news. Now, many of you know that us guest designers work incredibly hard behind the scenes to bring our tutorial DVDs to the show. Well, this Sunday, the 22nd of November, I am bringing, and I can't quite believe this, I am bringing to air during the mid-show between 12 noon and 2 p.m. my 50th, that's right, my 50th DVD. And because it was a special, I was asked, you can do whatever you like, Mike, you can do whatever you want on this DVD. So I've chosen two of my favorite all time products. I'm incorporating Super Duos alongside Shell Pearl. Now, as many of you know, they are my ultimate beads. I love using them. And to be able to produce a DVD using these two products, just a dream come true. So that's Sunday, the 22nd of November. Join myself, presenter Jenny and the team between 12 noon and 2 p.m. for the launch of the Shell Pearl Super Duo Projects DVD. Kits, bundles, products, tools, you name it, we've got everything. It's gonna be an incredible two hours. And of course, my 50th DVD launch. So make sure you tune in between 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. And Jenny and I look forward to seeing you there.
Welcome back and thanks so much again for tuning in. It's me, Becky, and I'm about to bring to you a stone that I know you'll know because it's sapphire. When we're younger, there are gemstones that we almost, you know, cut our teeth on, as they say. There's gemstones that we know from a very young age. Interesting, though, if we had to think back, and some of us will know the answer to this. I'll be honest, I actually don't know the answer to this personally, but some of us will know. Um, where was the first time that you heard the word or worked out what a diamond was? a ruby was, or a sapphire was. I don't actually know. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I, it's not like my mum and dad were really into gemstones and they told me about it. That's, that's not how it went for me. Um, I really, really can't think. The only thing I could maybe think of is in songs, you know, diamonds, etc. Precious gemstones are sung about in songs, aren't they, quite often. Um, also, I'm wondering if it's actually from films. I know full well of films that I can think of now whereby you have film stars and film scarlets wearing and draped in and purchasing and window shopping and hoping and wishing to get one of those three precious stones. And Sapphire is most certainly one of them. When I think about Sapphire, I said to you just before the break that definitely the words luxury and royalty and expense come to mind and I'll be honest blue does as well but I want to make this different I'm about to bring to you a gemstone you know in a manner that you don't I have brought you smattering sporadically of this color on a strand and the way I would put across to you the rarity and the unusualness of this color is when I bring to you a mixed colour strand, a fancy strand, if you will, of sapphire, I will often go, oh, wait, look at that one there. Look, isn't that almost purple? Oh my gosh, there's another one here. There's another one here. That one's almost purple as well. And then here's your pinks and here's your blues and here's your oranges. Yeah, I'll do that quite often and I can't help myself. It's because I know full well to get clear and purple sapphires. We are now, we're not in the commonality if you will as much as it can be of blue sapphire we aren't even in the more often seen fancy category we are now in the elite of the elite if that makes sense as soon as we're mentioning those colors so yes when i show you a mixed strand i will time and time again go oh my gosh there is a purple one there can you see it can you see it can you see it blue yellow green oh there's another purple one there for the first time for me ever there is no stopping, there is no staring, there is no waiting, there is no hoping, there is no crossing your fingers, because this strand is all about purple, shaded sapphire. An absolutely beautifully smiling, luxurious quality of a stone. And this, for me, in this colour palette, is so unusual. It takes the luxury name of sapphire and takes the possible commonality in, in comparison to others of the blue and it makes it maybe just pale into significance. What I'm bringing to you here is different. It's interesting today that I am bringing to you a collectible stone with collectible opportunities because of that unusual colour. When you, we were talking actually before about colour theory and if you, uh, in colour theory and colour therapy, purples are said to be the colour of royalty, of luxury, of wealth, of creativity. That's what purple means. That's what purple is about if you look at the meaning of purple. Haven't I just mentioned four words that aren't just now about purple, they're also about the stone? You might be going, well, I don't know, Bex, if I'm honest, because I've not seen purple sapphire before. So how on earth am I supposed to know? OK, let's do a bit of research, shall we? Take a little look at this first slide and just see if the word wealth or luxury or expense comes to mind. Can we just drool over this for a moment? Not literally. That's gross. How incredible is that? It's it, the title is stunning purple natural sapphire oh i wish i could say that ours were natural
honestly, they're natural. It's not filled, it's not dyed, it's not coated, it's not treated. Ours too are natural. <laughs> what have they paired theirs with? What have they gone for? Quartz, cubic zirconia, have the echoes like? They've gone for diamonds. Diamonds in this beautiful ring. Obviously, this is not like for like, but I just wanted to show with this that when you get stunning in their words, natural purple sapphire like I'm bringing to you, why not pair it with diamonds and why not sell it on for nearly four grand? Absolutely and completely. You might be looking at that and going, yeah, Bex, well, I wish. You don't generally have diamonds on. I had some on this morning, worth looking back on jewelrymaker.com. But if you do want to, Make it a bit more simplistic. How about this next slide as an idea? This you could easily do. This type of design. Again, it's not like for like. But this is simplistic. There is no other gemstone in this. It's sterling silver and it is purple sapphire. Sterling silver there. Now that piece... I'll be honest, it's a lot of metal in that, isn't it? I mean, it is still in silver, but there's a lot of metal there. £1,101. Good price. Very, very good price. Why? Because it's real, natural purple sapphire. These are the types of prices you pay. If that were blue sapphire, a more common colour, would it be that high in price? Probably not. Have a look at the next one. If you're thinking, Bex, that's a lot of metal, because you could be having me on here, right? I know, I'm paying for the metal. All right, let's have less metal. Have a look at this next one. That's less metal, isn't it? Got to be. Got to be. I don't actually know the gram weight, but it's got to be, hasn't it? The purple um, uh, the purple sapphire in there, wonderfully, and I really liked this design because I, I thought you could almost replicate this with like Argentium and do almost like soldered tendrils, actually, if you're silver to create those um, sort of leaf-like designs at the side. I thought they're a really nice accent. That ring there, again, not like for like, but it's £1,078. Again, though, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, right. How much are they charging for their sterling silver? What was that one? Was it sterling silver? Was it was it gold? Well, you know, what are they thinking? Okay, let's be complete as as near as darn it. Again, this is not like for like, but trust me, finding purple sapphire is hard. So this is for a stone of similar colour and clarity. This was the closest I personally could find. I'm sure there's more out there, but for me personally, for the quality of the colour and the quality of shine, this last one that I'm about to show you was the closest I could find. No metal at all. One individual stone. And that stone, uh, I can't remember what the carat weight was. Da, 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 da. Can I read it on there? I can't remember what the carat weight was, but it's a hundred and sixty-two pounds per carat it did actually say further down in the description but i think what it was was it was a one carat piece from my memory but it is that per carat and you could get larger sizes that was it you could get the larger size and dependent on how much more than the carat you got the price per carat went up that stone is is you know a, a piece it's by itself it's individual would you say that piece there is similar in color to areas of this would you would you say the color you've just looked at would you say in your own opinion it was the more tonally gentle hues or the more vivid hues in that last one you've just seen then what would you say personally 162 pounds per carat that piece is why because it's a rare color it's a scarce color when you do see it, it's very unusual to be able to see it naturally. I'm bringing you 20 carats. If I were to bring you 20 carats, <laughs> even at that price for a carat, it's 49.95. There is no other time but now to purchase because the collectors were hovering. You were sat there waiting, waiting to see whether or not we were going to split pay this. Do you know what? We don't have to. It's under that split pay cost. It's £49.95. That means that the price per carat 
we're talking about is £2.49 for <laughs> genuine natural purple sapphire. A huge well done. Collectors, any September babies, a massive, massive, massive well done. I personally have never seen purple, a purple shaded sapphire by itself on a strand. In fact, um, my producer going, I've never seen it before. Never, ever, ever. And I've definitely, definitely not seen it naturally. £2.49 per carat. You're shaking your head as much as I am. <laughs> I think that is absolutely beautiful. Stunning, and right? I want to sit and roll up. Gum. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. I, d I don't know what to say, really. It's very, very beautiful. I think, you know, if you like it on, on the screen, wait till you see it in real life. Yeah. The colour in real life is even more bountiful, if that makes sense. It is a beautiful, rich strand. It is for the collectors and the collectors only. Limited stock. Good luck to you. Not long until I bring to you those hematite. I also want to show you I've got this strand of sapphire on its way, which if you're thinking... Bex, I love that, but I want to make it go further. Then I've got this strand coming up for you. That's going to be in at um, 18.20 for you today. As well as that, I have also got that incredible night owl. Ooh. Get ready, because this is sapphire, more as you know it. Blues and reds galore. But before all of that, let me bring to you... Something powerfully cute. Oh. Yeah, I know. You so cute. <laughs> For all of you dog lovers, cat lovers, any of you who've got some oh. bunny rabbits or maybe guinea pigs, how adorable is this? I know that as an animal lover yourself, something like this, it just speaks to us, doesn't it? Do you know what I like about things like this as well? That they make great memorial gorgeous um jewelry for your pets gorgeous. because you know it's hard enough when you lose your pet but having sort of something to remember them by something like this a little paw print i think would be beautiful yeah absolutely and every time you look at it you, you can think, think about the lovely times yeah. absolutely and completely we're bringing to you today your Baltic Amber paw print. This one has got the gold over the top, which is a minimum on this piece, 22 karat gold, because that's all that Marius and his team will work with. It is 9.95 for genuine real amber, 9.95 with silver and gold. If you wanted to place maybe the donut with it in a certain design, you know, even just with um, like silver, uh, silver gold plated chain going up to it and, and you've just had like different layers, that could look really nice. I see you have more Burmese jade on your show. I have just received mine today. I ordered it the other day. They are great and I hope to get more. And that's in from Sharon. Evening, Sharon. Oh, I'm so glad you've been getting some. Sharon, do you mind telling me what it is that's made you purchase the Burmese jade that you've got at the minute? Do you mind? Just messaging again if you get a second. What is it about Burmese jade that you personally love i'd love to hear from you and in fact anyone else for that matter all of these coming up for you at seven o'clock we are bringing to you the lovely paw at 9.95 i want to get inspired and i want to talk to you again about the kits now if you've just tuned in debbie created some kits earlier on with these astonishing dark deep rich mosaic abalone now, if you do want to get your hands on those kits, those kits are still available. I'll tell you what was in them. In the kits were these abalone 16 mil, about 10 on the strand. Then you got the faceted spinel and you got some prezio speeds as well as the sterling silver findings pack. We did them for you earlier on. If you looked at them and you went, Bex, I love them, but I know what I'm like and I'm going to use all those mosaics up like that. I'm going to want some more. Let me bring you some, but with a different feel. Quite frankly, you loved the previous ones so much. We felt it had to be done that you have these ones too. I've kind of gone a bit funky with this. I've gone a bit crazy. I've yeah. mixed metals. I've put them on cord. I thought they were really funky and I thought they'd be really good for sort of my daughters who's 13, that kind of age. Yeah. And I, could, I thought, what would she wear? So that's why I put it on cord. 
because I shot, you know, you can do your classic designs. You can do everything that I did with the kit with these, mm-hmm. but also they're really fun. So I thought, you know, put them on cord, mix your metals, go crazy, have fun. Great stocking filler. Definitely. So I just realised when you were talking to me then, I'm completely looking past you and scowling. What are you making there, please? <laughs> I'm making... Have you been given something else? Oh, I've got, you know, how Debbie Kershaw is that. Oh, oh, a sneak peek. I love this. Sneak peek. Look at that. Oh, they're on the way <gasps> for you. Oh, my gosh, this design behind her is just coming together. £17.95, your final price on the shell. Do you think that shell colour might go rather nicely with the purple, ameth- uh, purple amethyst, purple sapphire I've just done? It's because I've just seen that amethyst. The purple sapphire that I've just done. Imagine one of those with this. That could look quite special, couldn't it, actually? Even if you just did... As uh, Debbie did in the designs where she put the abalone and just one spinel on each side. You could get one of these abalone and put just one sapphire on each side. You could. I'd put like silver spaces in between if it was for me and put it on a stretchy for a bracelet. Yeah. Thank you so, so, so much for that inspiration. We've got loads more to come. And particularly as I'm about to bring to you one of the best known submetallics. This has got strength written all over it. Not literally. It is your hematite pick of the day. This pick of the day is just so bold. When you're looking at hematite, let me just remind you what we're looking at here. We are looking at a stone, a metallic stone that feels like a metallic. It feels like a metal because it is very heavy, naturally um, metallic rich. And so when you get this, the feeling of it is very unusual. The feeling of it is exceptionally different than any other stone, bar maybe that of, let's say, pyrite. When I'm talking about hematite as a gemstone, I'm talking about something which has got, because maybe of its its, its submetallic nature, it has got a really versatile feel, you know? It's something that I feel you can do so, 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 so much with. um, And it can be for so, 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 so many people. Now, with this being so metallic rich, and let me remind you when we're talking about the metal within this, what we're talking about. The hematite makeup is about 65, 70% iron to sort of when no 30 35 um oxygen you know the little bits thrown in let's find what we've got here is the oxidizing of that iron and so what that is giving to you is a real rich intense metal feel look color strength that when you add a coating to it the strength of that is not hidden This coating that we've placed on it isn't a metallic coloured coating. It is a flat, singularly coloured coating that the strength of the hematite just happens to shine through. So if you want the look of something bold, strong, but unusual, then this is your chance to get it. I am bringing to you today these huge pieces of your hematite, but it has got such a different feel to any of the other hematite we generally bring to you. I absolutely love, 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 love how individual this looks. It doesn't seem quite like anything else, actually, that we tend to show you or tend to bring to you. When we bring to you hematites they're usually round aren't they let me have a look on our website hematite round then it goes nugget then it's round 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 and the kit round wheels round round nuggets round 
round, 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 round cubes, right? You get the gist. The vast majority, I'm just reading them in order, by the way, of our own website. I've just typed in hematite on our own website, and that's the order that they came up in. So this is unusual. This is different. What do you think this shape's going to bring to your jewellery? Did you tune in last night and watch the lovely Debbie Kershaw create one of her renowned, I'm going to say world-renowned now, <laughs> challenges? I love you. Yeah, well, it's true. <laughs> um, if you did, you will well know that she was working with some amber coins which are not a billion miles away different from the shape we're working with here. Because what actually you can do is when you use those coins, you didn't use them side by side like this, did you, Debbie? No. You used the amber coins last night Forward. in a different way. Yeah. Tell us why you did that and if you could do that with these. Because I want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see the side of them. I want to see them. Right. You know? Got you. So, um, and also with the seed beading head on, um, all you have to do is use a smaller bead as a stopper bead and you can have them laying forward. Yeah. Um, and I just think sometimes with something like that, I don't just want to see the side, even though that's lovely like that. You can do different things as well. I want to see all of it. Yeah. <laughs> you can the play with it. Can't I want to see the whole of the moon. That could be a song, that. that could You're be working on somebody here, I can tell. <laughs> I'm bringing to you 360 carats worth of your big, bold, unisex and unique hematite. Let's give you a deal. I think today to be able to bring you hematite that is so, as, as Debbie so beautifully put it, multi-use, that is so individual, that is so unisex. Great deal. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Think about three people in your family or your friendship group. Three totally different people. Now imagine a make that you could create using this for every single person. It does not have to be jewellery. It does not have to be jewellery. It could be um, one of these on the end of a wire work bookmark. It could be one of these on a piece of cord as a key ring for the, for the house keys. It Because they're strong enough, don't forget. They're strong enough to even be on a keychain with key rings. I would never say that for like pearls or anything like that, obviously. But these are strong enough. They're majoritively iron. If you are thinking about the different designs you could do for those different people, I have got something here I believe for everyone. You might be thinking of someone who is 10 years old or someone who is 110 years old, either gender, and you might have an idea in mind. You might have come up with those three people's ideas like this. And now you're thinking, but what about June down the road? And you know what? George would quite fancy some couplings with these because I could put them flat. All right, let's get two. I'm going to get two strands. I'm going to. Let's not break the bank. One minute from now, we're dropping that price. It will be your pick of the day price and everyone will pay that final closing price. Yes, everyone, including Lynn, who's checked out straight away. Good evening. Happy Saturday, Lynn. Oh, thanks for joining me. I hope you're having a great Saturday. It's nice to be able to top up on a Saturday, isn't it? Because at least you've got so much to look forward to for next week. Sandra's in as well. Good evening. You're going to pay the final closing, Sandra, even even though you're in quick shop. I had a telephone bidder in. Welcome to you and thank you for checking out. I had a collector in Surrey come in and check out on this straight away. You're going to have everybody with um, the chance of these ones. Sharon's messaging in about the jadeite we've got coming up later saying, um, I presume so, because Sharon's the one who um, messaged in about the jade, isn't she? It might also be about this, though. Uh, Sharon says, I love the different colours of the in the gems, and that's Sharon. Um, Sharon, I agree with you on both the butt terms, actually, including the jade I've got coming up later. Time is up, but not the price is not. The price is down. That is the best ever deal by a long chalk. Never been lower than 1995. That was a closeout low price before previously but that is 
not what you're getting at all today. It's pick of the day. It's three and a half pence per carat now. And if you love this shape, you love this design, remember the coins are on their way for you in the J Trekkers. Can I just ask you? Oh my gosh, there's so many of you in. Hello to Cardiff and Dublin and London. Hello, Catherine, Tracy, Stephanie. Hiya, Claire. Diana, thank you for joining us. Jenny, hello to Surrey as well. I've got Paula in with us. Thanks, Sue, for getting involved. North Yorkshire, you're in as well. Jeffy's in. Hi, Jeffy, you all right? Um, Pauline, you've just checked out. Thanks for joining us. Janice as well. And um, these two here, Deb, mm -hmm. are the same shape, but drilled on a different axis. Could you use them together? And if so, how? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, you could. Uh, you could have them flat because you could put your wire through the coins. Yes. Okay, so in a straight line. Yeah, yeah, the J-Date. And then you could feed it forward through the hematite, right. put on a stop bead and take it back through the hematite so that they're both ah. lying like that, straight through the jade again, then forward. So you think about weaving. You'd have to have a malleable wire, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, depending on the drill hole. Gosh. So you could have them sitting flat next to each other like that. That's a really nice idea. Does That's that really, make sense? Totally, yeah. yeah. So they both sit flat. So they both sit at the angle that the jadeite is already strong. Yes, that's what I mean. I love that idea. Loads of you in. Do you love a metallic sheen? Well, I reckon you do if you've just bought that. Don't forget, I've got dinosaur bone coming up for you later. I've also got these pearls coming up for you later. But before all of that, amethyst wings and wow well i've not seen something quite like this before oh that is so nice so this is golden sheen obsidian yes obsidian dragon glasses some of you may or may not know it depending if you are friends of the Game of Chairs show. This is the golden variety of this. So it has a golden sheen under the surface. So I'm just going to hold it as gently and still, still as I can. I was going to say stilly. <laughs> as still as I can. But as I give this a little move, and I'm just going to circle it on the strands, just going to spin it slightly, so you can imagine what this is like when you wear it. Can anyone see those bursts of ethereal light with a Midas touch you glowing underneath the surface. Now, here in the studio, it is impressively difficult to show you that sheen just because it's so sparkly on the surface. It's actually quite impressive how difficult I'm making it look. Um, but yeah, no, to kind of hold it still and to spin it and to give you the sparkle of the surface with the lights in here, it's actually really difficult for you to see the quality of this. Here in real life, when you're not looking at it through the lens of a camera and through your screen, it is, it's, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. It's the best quality of golden sheen of Sibdian I have ever seen us do ever we are bringing this to you oh no what are we doing here The thing with a price like that for a strand like this is it actually genuinely really makes no sense. And what I mean by that is I always try, in fact, it's my job to try and get across to you what, what the quality of a stone is and, and how our prices are relating to that. So I might say to you, oh my gosh, you can buy these, I don't know, sapphire nuggets. And they're only going to be a tenner. It's because they're nuggets. You know, they're not that difficult to cut. And then I'm going to bring you sapphire and it's faceted and it's gorgeous. And we're going to do this for 50 quid because it's clarity and because it's faceted. Da, da, da. It's my job to go to you. This is what the information is. And this is why they're priced differently. That is my job. That is my, my job 
it's my contract, you know, that is what I have to do each day. That is what I have to do so that you can make the right purchase for you, you know, so that you can purchase what is right for you as a person. So you know what you're buying and you understand that, okay, those those nuggets seem too cheap. They're too cheap. I bet they're not real sapphire. No, they are. It's just it doesn't take us as much time to cut them. So it's, it's my job to do that. With this, it actually makes no sense because I know full well that these are micro fasted 2.5 mil. That's already a hard shape to get even. Then to facet all the surface to keep it nice and even as these ones are. And then to get the quality so that honestly, if I said to you that 60% of this strand, I know you aren't seeing it, but I promise you 60% of this strand at a low aim estimate is giving me that proper sheen under the surface. The quality of this I would expect to have been realistically the 30 pounds mark oh my gosh i'm grabbing some of them if there's any left for sh or oh, that's amazing oh i love it i love it i love it i love it Ooh, i did some coins well i showed you these coins before before sorry sometimes as northerners just like to add in an extra syllable <laughs> I am aware that before technically as one, um, I'm bringing to you your Botswana Agate. Botswana Agate is one of those well-known and often price per carat more expensive agate than that of its counterparts. What is it for you, Debbie K, that you love about the hues and designs that we naturally get from Botswana Agate? It's just like Mother Nature's treasure. I've got um, a Botswana agate ring, and every t it's huge. And every time I wear it, people comment on it because they don't quite know, you know, what is it is. Is it painted? Is it natural? Mm. Um, you can sit and look. <laughs> I'm going to sound really weird now, but you know I am but I can sit and look at this gemstone for a long time and yeah. get a lot of joy out of looking at each and every one because it's just beautiful it kind of looks it reminds me of the land that it comes from does that make sense yes absolutely yeah I completely feel that way about certain gemstones it's mm. like mother nature has hovered over a plot of land and gone do you know what? I want to make this look that I'm looking at now, this vista, into a gemstone. Yeah, so like Mother Nature's art almost. Completely. Yeah, that's how I feel about this. Yeah. Bringing to you low stock now. It's limited stock opportunity. And I'm going to bring it to you today at 17.95. Or am I? I'm not, apparently. <laughs> I'm bringing to you the Samba. Very nice, isn't it? Pink. I'm bringing it at £8.95 for you today. And we're bringing it to you at a real special chance. Final few, 20 left. Hello, Debbie. Hello to Stephanie. Hello, Susan and Lynn and Pamela. Hello to Tracy and Michelle. Hello to Stephanie. Again, hello to Greater London. I've got Nottinghamshire. You've just texted out. Well done to you. I think I understand what Debbie said about combining oh, coins and discs. <laughs> I made sense. Of I would love to see a demo showing how, if not, if not now, sometime. And that's in from Susan. Susan, we won't have time on show today, but do you think that's something you quite fancy doing? Yeah, I probably I might be able to do it now. If you give me a couple of those other ones that you were showing me them with. with the jade? Yes, the flat coins. Flat coins. Let me hand these to you. If you could use a few and then a tiny strand back for me. Oh, well. Just to show you like what I meant. Is that what you mean? Good, good. That sounds perfect. Here, look, I've got two and I'll give you the rest back. <gasps> You're an absolute angel. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited to see that. We're bringing the final few now. They're about to sell out. Eight ninety five. Well done. Have a look at that as well, just whilst we're here. What do you think of them? Aren't they beautiful? I love the textures of them. They are coming up for you, the dinosaur bones, at 6.40. That is depth and strength and history. This is a hug. I love them together. Do you? 
I know that's a really weird combo, but for me, for some reason, they're just talking to me together today. And I think it's because as I've paired these here, it's always bringing out moments of purple in the fossil itself. That's coming up for you in a little bit. This phosphosidiorite is happening right now. This strand is incredibly intoxicating of its colour. Oh, 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 oh. I've got an idea. Just been asked what that noise is. It's me. It's when I get an it's like my excited Furby noise when I get like a bit. Oh, I've got an idea. What do you think of them together, please, Debbie Kershaw? Oh, yes, of course. It's the, it's the whole purple and kind of green combination. It's just a match made in heaven. And the fact that they're both natural. Oh, yeah, just makes it even more special, doesn't it? Yeah. One's jadeite, coming up for you at seven, graduated strand. The other is phosphosidiorite, natural, graduated strand, coming up now. It's 135 carats worth that I'm offering to you today, and it is that Thai orchid stone. I've got for you the beauty of this. It also have a, a similar feel, actually, to jadeite, so it is a nice pairing anyway. £29.00 and 95 pence for the graduation how many different strands would you have to get do you reckon to be able to make this one two three three strands about three yeah you got six mils eight mils ten mils it looks to be let's say i made each of those natural strands a tenner each that'll be a bargain 30 quid for this or well, seventeen ninety five. I think this with um I did a silk bundle for you before. There was I want to say five different colours and a still in silver finding pack. I would do this with either blue silk or maybe like a more traditional nude colour silk and just not in between each one of them. That is a necklace. Poor. I'll I'll be wearing that days, weeks, months, years. <gasps> with your challenge that you're currently working on, which, by the way, I cannot stop staring at that piece. I'm now I can't wait doing to show it to you. Three things at once. <laughs> I like mug. I'm a woman. I've got three kids, four dogs, and two cats. I can multitask. It's actually her middle name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, Seventeen ninety-five. Well done. I think this year has been a year of angels, right? Oh yeah. I mean, come on. I don't know. I, I've always been one of those people who maybe sort of counts my blessings, as it were, when it comes to people who, who come into my life, who maybe improve my life, make me smile, make me laugh, whatever that might be. I always think that person's kind of, you know, wonderful. And I really care about that. And it's someone, and I will be like, I use the term angel a lot. Like, oh, you're an angel. You know, you're a star. I use that quite often. I think this year more than ever, has almost been a time where real life, everyday angels are pushed to the forefront of our mind. And it may well just be me, but I also feel like the word and term of angel has changed slightly. When I thought about angels, maybe this time last year, instantly the first word that would come to me would be um, guardian angels. I would also think about um, angel cards. We've got, you know, friends in common that um, do angel card readings. I would also think about maybe sort of angels in the sense of at this time of year, you know, Christmas angels and things like that. Actually, this year, though, when I think of angels, I think of all of the aforementioned, but I also think about those people who have been in our lives this year, who have gone out of their way to help others. Mm -hmm. I think about people who this year maybe haven't gone out of their way to help others because it is their job to do so, but have had to go extra miles, steps and extra yards to make everyone feel healthier, feel happier, feel supported, feel cared for. That is the 2020 angel, and I'm about to bring you angel wings for those you love.
angel wings of the gemstone are connotated to creativity and love. Real natural amethyst. This is a hand-carved wing. This wing has been etched on both sides to create sentimental, meaningful jewellery. When we think about wings, we may well think about those of us who have our guardian angels. We may well think about those heroes, those key workers, those people in our community who have just gone out of their way and been angels. We may well think about people who do things like angel card readings and we may well think of people who have lost this year, who maybe could do with a little bit of a boost and a little bit of a mento of, um, you know, possibly that that person in their life is now the angel of their life. There is so much that these mean and for me, the angel logo or motif, if you will, will always mean a lot. It would mean a lot if it was a drawing of an angel wing. It would mean a lot if it was a sticker of an angel wing. It would mean a lot if it was a plastic angel wing. But this isn't any of that. It's a genuine gemstone from the crust of our planet that has a connotated to it. It's a quartz, so it has powers, and I can say that scientifically. And it's an amethyst, so it has many other connotations. And today, I am bringing to you the pair of angel wings, which together, two separate pieces, could be a gift for you. This could be a gift for both of you. This could be a gift for one each person and together now at 795 you can get this in the multiples maybe you want to do it so that you have one and your best friend has one and you're connected maybe you want to do it so that these are very modern one in each ear earrings because actually 40 carats you're looking at about 20 carats in each remembering of course when we talk about carats we're talking about a literal translation from gram weight so it's not that weighty at all are you looking at these and thinking Thinking, Bex, I love the harmony of them. May I stick with that idea? Yin yang. That take on the yin yang shape works really nicely. And I think that, well, there's definitely a way that you can pair that in together. I am over allocated. I hate saying that to you. I'm sorry if you're going to miss out because I understand that these are such beautiful purchases. Single figures left. And now I'm bringing it to you. Each one, of course, as you probably noticed, does have a drill hole. At the top of it, I'm bringing it to you now at 7.95. Good luck to every single one of you. Oh, that's just stunning. Just stunning. Um, I think, actually, if you're going to give that as an angel, to an angel, what about with the um, purple sapphire I did? Good work, couldn't it? Yeah? One of those angel wings off a purple sapphire. Hey, if someone's an angel, they deserve a rare sapphire, right? Let me bring now, well done on those wings. I'm afraid that is about to sell out. We have got for you now your pre-night. Producer Danny is in the hot seat this evening. Producer Danny, have I brought this on air before posh haunts? I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew I brought this on air before because it's so recognisable. I have brought so many different things a fair few times before. I can't remember half the time what I've brought to you before because I bring you so many fantastic products a day. I knew I'd brought this because it was such a standout and the thing that took my breath away about it was the price. eleven ninety five. I can, in fact, remember exactly what I said about this strand when I brought it to you however many weeks ago. And what I said about it was... That, the, that this was the best strand of pre-night I had ever brought to you apart from one. And I brought you one other pre-night that ended on air and we ended it on air at, what was it, 89.95? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. I was the only one that was better. That's over-allocated. Wings have sold out. That's over-allocated, so it's fastest finger first on that. 
Neon Appetite. Oh, they had some Neon Appetites at Star Buy on the mid-show today that look quite similar to this, but this one may be a little bit more um, aqueous. Um, bring him to you now, your <laughs> Neon Appetite. Good These word. with your... Thank you. I know that you love when I throw a good word Do you in, know, don't you're you? you're very good at your job. Oh, my gosh. No, can I just say that I trained as a presenter, and it's not easy, and this is a couple of years ago, and you are very good at your job. Make a note of the date and time. Yeah, this is going straight on my show reel. <laughs> I learn so much when I'm standing here about the gemstones. You're knowledgeable. Just sorry. I just wanted to say that. No, don't. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. And thank you. I will you can pay, pay you later. Then, later. In this um, when you're looking at this wonderful, wonderful strand, it is so bright and bold. It'd go great with Debbie Kay's disco balls, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey? Hey, wouldn't it be lovely? Yeah. <laughs> We're bringing to you today 26 carats worth of your Neon Appetite. These are in your faceted rondelles. And I'm bringing to you today, oh, under £20. I love it. I love it! I've got, ooh, right, let me show you. Now, this might be too much for some, but I'd rather show you, as opposed to you getting them home and going, not quite right for me. Would you do these together or would you be more inclined to night owl? Oh, that was an eerie one, that. Oh. Or would you be thinking maybe, let's go out of this world with the angel wings. Oh, they've sold out. All oh, that salt in the wound. I do apologise, but if you did get it. Or would you be thinking sunshine over a Caribbean sea? That's still available if you want it, I think. Well done to you on that one. Ooh, pretty colours. This is a lovely, lovely strand. I like these colours. It makes me think of... Florals. It makes me think of... Do you know what? I uh, know. The word I was going to say was smooching. <laughs> but I thought, come on, Bex, you can think of something better than that. That's a good word, smooching. But it does. This is, isn't it? This is that kind of cherry lip balm. Kind <laughs> of beautifully delicate, quite blush, quite romantic, quite sweet, quite cute coloured tourmaline. This isn't one of those dark, deep, intense tourmalines that sometimes can turn a little bit... Over vintage, in the sense of vintage, as in it looks like a piece that has been around for a long time and maybe has, has, has lost some of its luster. It doesn't look like that. It's a little bit more fruity, a little bit more energetic, possibly a little bit more smoochy. I'm bringing to you 38 carats worth of your wonderful natural pink tourmaline. And to be able to bring you this amount of bright and open colouring tourmaline is fantastic. Even, even under £100 is a great deal. £59.95 today. But in about seven seconds from now, <laughs> it's not going to be that anymore. Why? Because we can. Get ready to smooch the screen. It's 17 95 <laughs> today. That is such a good deal, isn't it? I think so anyway. Do you think? What do you think of that with the colour? Oh, Bex, I was just agreeing with Debbie then regarding Professor Redigan, <laughs> and then you go and throw in smooching. <laughs> Image instantly ruined. Deborah, yeah, but let's remember. <laughs> you've got to do the best of both worlds, haven't you? <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, 17, and you're very kind of you, thank you, Deborah. £17.95 pence for you today. <laughs> it's a beautiful strand, isn't it? Do you know what? I do love this one with jadeite colours because for me, it's cherry blossoms. That's what I look at when I'm seeing them together. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Speaking of florals, Debbie Kay has been working with these amethyst-carved pizzas. I've put everything on it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, as you do. Oh. It's not finished, but... Um, oh, I just love this. This is the piece that I was staring at before and looking past Debbie and then sort of scowling because I, I was like, I need that. What is it? Oh. The, this is what I meant with the, the hematites. The hematites. Look, they can be like little berries or flowers. Oh. If you, That's why I want to see them like that. Um, I've also used a couple of little beads from the kit, the disco ball kit. Um, but oh, the spinels, yeah. This wire isn't as thick as I'd usually use. We just use what we've got behind here, and I would hammer it, but obviously I can't hammer. But you get the idea. It's just for inspiration. But these leaves, just for your um, oh. vineyard kind of, you know, organic. Yeah. I just think um, really, really, really pretty. The standout thing, that piece is so incredibly catwalk, but the type of catwalk that actually you would wear on one of them days, you just fancy a bit of a boost, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah, you know those days smile. where you're like, I'm just going to yeah. put it on to smile. But the thing that has absolutely knocked my socks off about that design is you've gone and used the graduation in the designs. Now, I have seen carved flowers before in genuine gemstone strands, like this, carved leaves, should I say. I've never seen them graduated on a strand. No, that's Between beautiful. Between 7 to 6 mil and 13 to 8 mil. I've never seen them graduated. Have you? No, I've never seen them graduated. And I noticed that as I was going because I put the, like, like if you look at, um, sorry, it's on a black bus so you can't really see too well. But if you look here, I've got a large one. And then look how lovely that is that you can put smaller ones either side. Gorgeous. So that could be like a pendant on its own. And that's what I started with. I didn't realise they were graduated till I did that. Yeah. So, yeah, I, this is a very beautiful strand. I'd be interested to see what this goes for. Yes, yeah, so would I, actually. <laughs> Because I know the average price of a carved leaf, but then don't mess with me, Danny. Are you joking? My producer. This would be a great strand to give to a guest designer who works really hard. <laughs> yeah. Would yeah. you? Yeah. Just say thank you for coming in two hours early and doing the challenges yeah, for absolutely. me. absolutely. <laughs> thank you for being so lovely and positive and a great, great guest designer who inspires thousands and thousands of people day after day yeah, after day. Five ninety five. It's not much to ask. <laughs> no, it's not. It is absolutely not. I cannot believe that price point. Wait, what? Five ninety five. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, I, I would say 20 quid and then a drop to maybe at the most 12 95 at the least rather. So six quid is amazing. <laughs> I'm very happy, yes. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't. <laughs> I love it, need it, want it. And we'll have it. That is incredible. Mm. Sorry, that sounded a bit sort of super villain then, didn't it? I will have <laughs> you. <laughs> Kryptonite man. What's his name? Pants? Yeah, that's it, Superman. <laughs> Pants? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is about to sell out. This is about to sell out. Huge well done to you there. Boy, that's a great one. Oh, jealous. I am about to bring to you something which I have a feeling will make the collectors of the world smile, but also will make all of those genuine gemstone lovers who, quite frankly, just feel like you want something that is world class, but kept under the radar. Because that's the case sometimes, isn't it? When there are stones that are very, very, very well known, a lot of people, maybe outside of our loop, our family jewellery maker group, outside of our loop, they may well underestimate the availability of a stone. Diamond is one of them that I think a lot of people actually underestimate how much yield-wise is brought out of the ground day after day. I'm talking tons of diamonds brought out of the ground regularly. It is actually one of the more common gemstones of our planet and one of the reasons that it is so highly regarded is because it's sparkle it's beautiful because of course it's very highly promoted but that is one of those stones that everybody knows there are then those stones that you and I as gemstone industry lovers understand they're unusual they're different they're stunning and if they were promoted even half as much as some of those big known stones, 
then you would no way near be able to get your hands on them because they would have been mined out like that. Bear that in mind with this star buy. I want to show you a picture of a location and I want you to just think about maybe put yourself in that place and maybe just take a moment or two to have words of inspiration and and words of connectivity fly around your brain don't overthink them just let them go in a kind of mindful manner just put yourself into any of these pictures what do they make you think of A lot of you may well instantly be going towards that map. And that map in the top corner, of course, showing Brazil. A lot of you may well know the state that you have got highlighted on that map. The state itself is, of course, Minas Gerais. A lot of you will be thinking about that location and some of these images are taken in and around that location and you may well be thinking of that gem rich soil. Minas Gerais actually itself, and I'm, I'm sure we've all heard the name Minas Gerais, right? It's, it's, I would probably say, one of the best known mining regions on the planet for gemstones. There's certain gemstones that are just pinnacle point of excellence that come from that location. In fact, Minas Gerais itself is so highly connected to this industry, that two things are quite interesting about it. Number one, have you seen its flag before? The Minas Gerais flag is, because it's state, the flag itself is a mining lamp with two mining pickaxes crossing over each other. That is the state flag. It's all about mining. And also, Minas Gerais actually translates to general mines or general mining. Is, that is how dedicated that whole state is to mining. And they mine a lot of gemstones and they are highly regarded for it and well known for it. When we think of Minas Gerais, we are talking about a location that is for many a crowning glory spot for premium stones. I'm about to bring to you premium location, premium stone. This is your world renowned distinctive, world-class colour, Galilea Morganite. This Galilea Morganite is a world-exclusive colour. You cannot get this specific shade, this specific glow of Morganite anywhere else. Remember earlier on, just before we played that little star by sting, I was talking to you about those well-known stones, those stones that you get out of the ground that are readily available, but maybe not everyone knows it, the likes of your diamonds. And I said to you before the break, didn't I, that actually if certain gemstones that were, you know, um, and beautifully sparkly, etc., a lot of reason that big companies don't spend the, quite frankly, billions of pounds that they have spent on promoting, for example, diamonds over the years. The reason they don't do it is because they know they're not going to be able to get their money back. So there'd be no need. Let's say, for example, in price point terms, oh, I don't know, let's say there is only one billion pounds worth of quartz left on our planet, let's say one billion pounds worth. Yeah. Would it be useful for companies to spend a billion pounds worth promoting quartz? No, because at the best, they're just going to come out even. So that doesn't happen in the industry. You don't push and promote something you can't get your hands on. So going back to that original point, diamonds, one of the most heavily promoted gemstones on the planet, actually very often paired alongside Galilea Morganite. When we talk about diamonds and how heavily mined they are, I said to you, 
There are certain gemstones on our planet that are so beautiful and stunning, but they're not promoted as much. And if they had had even half the promotion of diamonds, they would be mined out. Do you remember that? This gemstone mined out years ago. The mine for this closed mining Galilea Morganite in Minas Gerais years ago. This has been in safety deposit boxes, waiting for the right time, the right place, the right person, the right gem buyer to buy the raw material, take it and have it cut. And we got there at the right place at the right time, went and got it cut and are bringing it to you today. This mine is closed and has been for years. Uh, what was it? 2015 did it close or 2016? It closed. It's done. World class, world exclusive, color unique, closed out, mined out, Galilean Morganite, 75 carats worth for you of head turning beauty. It's so distinctive. Can you see with this color and this glow? And let's face it the size of these why this might be mined out yeah of course because collectors and well-known jewelry houses come on in swoop this up because it is world class it is renowned there is no morganite quite like it anywhere else on the planet especially now that the mine is closed in Minas Gerais it's done it's extinct if you will it's done it's dusty it's, it's mined out what would you pay for something that you can't get anymore because surely to us it's almost priceless but we're today we're taking that and all of the rules and we're throwing them away we are bringing now and I will just let you know with 80 pounds discount on this I've got to let you know this this is world-class Galileo Morganite I'm bringing it to you now at 49.95. Can I just say if you are a collector and this world class quality is speaking to you of now done, dusted, extinct Galileo Morganite, can I just say to you, this is a bit of advice and as always feel free to ignore me, you're your own person. Um do get your authenticity with this because the amount of people now trying to wangle the Galilea name into a product or into a piece online but not having proof of it has skyrocketed since this mine closed as you can imagine because people are going right okay it's not a million miles away from colour I mean it is hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles away from the mine but it's not a million miles away so we can call it Galilea and we'll get away with it Unless you are buying from someone who can prove that it is Galilea, my advice is do not buy it. And I would even say that as to why you should get an authenticity. Because if you're going to make to sell, you want to be able to prove that you have got that no longer mind location. Not that you've given it a name because, ah, well, I'll just throw that on there. Because you're showing that you have got the right connections. And this really is that. As you can imagine, we were never able to get hundreds of these and today we're bringing to you a very, very special opportunity. We are bringing to you this incredible Galilea Morganite and we're bringing it to you. The brightness and boldness. We're bringing it to you, the Galilea Morganite. Well done to every single one of you. I just adore it. Oh, with the jade I, I'm so sorry this is about to sell out, but congratulations to all of you who got it. Um, I have got an, so much more on the way. Would you do that together? Is that a bit much? Not for me. I love them together. They're on the way. I've got dinosaur bones on the way for you. I've got my night owl. Think you're going to like them together. I've got jadeite and so much more. But I've also got the wonderful sapphire from Malawi that the other day when I showed you some slides about this, we were absolutely gawping over its individuality. Malawi sapphire is, let's be honest, the cashmere-esque colours you train to look for. And the wonderful Debbie Kershaw inspirational person <laughs> has been making with this. How have you found it? Oh, it's beautiful. Um, to, again, just to get to work with Sapphire, you don't have to 
do anything too complicated because I think the stones just speak for themselves, don't they? Like those sapphire earrings, why not? <laughs> I also did a very simple charm bracelet just with the sapphires on the um, chain. And I added them to uh, the uh, sapphire, no, the amethyst as well on a waterfall necklace. But I just think you don't have to do anything too complicated with a strand like this, do you? And I think you've proved that sometimes you can just let them sing. Yeah, you know, because they're beautiful and people will comment. You don't always have to do something like out there. No. I have got for you today a really, really unusual, a really distinctive and a really rich sapphire. You know, this is not an everyday sapphire that I'm bringing to you. This is your Malawi location. And remember, when we are talking about this location, we're talking about something very individual, very distinctive within itself. I'm going to bring to you now an opportunity to get it at an incredibly affordable price. Good price. Yeah. <laughs> By then. Um, <laughs> no, it is. It is because of the location. Now, I know last time that we had this on, I talked your ear off about this. And just based on time, we're just going to get to the crux of it. Have a little look at this last slide. And just to give you an idea of this sapphire and what it means. This is a Malawi sapphire, which, by the way, is known as a fair trade sapphire. The reason it's known as fair trade is because the company that owns the majority of these stones in this location are a fair trade company. And that means that when they sell these pieces, they they make sure that the um, area isn't impacted by mining. So it's fully reclaimed and they, they once they mine an area, they sweep it back over and, and, and plant um, more uh, full or fauna they also it also means that they build schools in the areas and actually this mining area of this stone is currently um housing around about 450 children in that area because uh, they build schools so it's a fair trade stone that's why it's, it's in that title this stone for that one in that picture you've just seen which as you can see is 0.6 of a carat i want to say it's 1300 pounds obviously this is not like for like but Neither's the price. <laughs> I've got 32 carats. I wonder how many stones are on that. Oh, 24.95. How many stones approximately do you think were on that? Did you count them part chance? I didn't. That's but right. let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, about 24, I'm being told. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, I'd say about 24, 25. So, by my calculations, mm. doesn't that mean each one of these has got to be over a carrot? I know it wasn't the same, but that one from the same location, 1,300 for six points. I know it's not the same because ours is a bit deeper and bolder in colour. But actually, I think that works quite nicely in your designs and how you've chosen to show it. Um, yeah, I wanted to, to do it on its own. But then, you know, it's subtle. And I thought the amethyst was subtle as well. And they're different shapes. And I like putting different shapes together. And I just think that they're, they're just really beautiful. So you can add them to something, you know, another strand. Or you can be very simplistic with it. Because yeah. with a strand like this, you can. It's such a gorgeous look that you've created there. Thank you so much for whipping those up. And thank you so much for <laughs> making with the hematite too, which we're about to bring back on your screen. This was a brand new best ever deal pick of the day hematite. You had fun with this one and you wanted to, I think it was Susan, I've got your name right. You wanted to show the idea that Susan had to put them forward, right? Yeah, and I have actually, if I bring this oh. into shot. Is it nearing? It, no, I just did it because I haven't got 0.4 oh. wire. That's uh, 2.5. But that's what I mean. So got I've just you. literally put those next to each other. And you could carry that on to be a necklace or a bracelet if you wanted to. But you can see the same thing is carried out in this design here. It's um, forward facing. Brilliant. You've got such an incredible... Sorry, I've just realised. I'm looking next to me, I'm looking at this sleigh. And I'm like, oh, do you remember that jewellery that you were actually 
meant to make. And then there's just loads more plastic. <laughs> Debbie, you have been so inspirational as always today. There is make after make after make after make. You've done the purple, you've done the pink amethyst, you've worked with the mosaics, you work with the other colour mosaics, then you work with the carved leaves, now you work with the humidote, you work with the jade as well. You have been a busy bee and we thank you so, so, so much. Oh, I enjoyed it. As You're always. Welcome. Fabulous, isn't she? Isn't she? Tell me when you're on next, please. I am on the 30th and the 1st. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Back to back days. Yes. Brilliant. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. See you then. Debbie K, everybody! <laughs> We have got so much more to bring you. I have got on the way dinosaur bones. I have got these huge ripple shell pearls. I've got jade and I've got some secrets. So you better join me after this. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. We have got the best Grand Didierite I have ever seen on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be incredible. We've given it to guest designer Hannah Osborne to work with, and she has made the most exquisite jewelry with it. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. Are you new to jewelry making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewelry Maker every Thursday at 6 p.m. for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies, and showing you step by step demonstrations to get you started on your jewelry making journey. Get started with Jewelry Maker every Thursday at 6 p.m. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some incredibly exciting news. Now, many of you know that us guest designers work incredibly hard behind the scenes to bring our tutorial DVDs to the show. Well, this Sunday, the 22nd of November, I am bringing, and I can't quite believe this, I am bringing to air during the mid-show between 12 noon and 2 p.m. my 50th, that's right, my 50th DVD. And because it was a special, I was asked, you can do whatever you like, Mark, you can do whatever you want on this DVD. So I've chosen two of my favourite all-time products. I'm incorporating Super Duos alongside Shell Pearl. Now, as many of you know, they are my ultimate beads. I love using them. And to be able to produce a DVD using these two products, just a dream come true. So that's Sunday, the 22nd of November. Join myself, presenter Jenny and the team between 12 noon and 2 p.m. for the launch of the Shell Pearl Super Duo Projects DVD. Kits, bundles, products, tools, you name it, we've got everything. It's gonna be an incredible two hours. And of course, my 50th DVD launch. So make sure you tune in between 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. And Jenny and I look forward to seeing you there. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh, welcome 
welcome back. It's lovely to be with you. My name is Bex. How is your day? How's it going? Hey, it's Saturday, isn't it? Have you got a wine? Maybe you've got gin tonight. Maybe you've just snuggled on up. Is it too early for mulled wine? Is it? I don't know. For me personally, when I think of mulled wine, I think of those beautiful, deep, deep wine reds. And I think about those beautiful, intoxicating cinnamon scents. And to be honest, the ruby in this night owl seems quite close. Oh, I adore this strand. It's coming up for you, 7.45. I have got Jade Eye on the way for you too. Oh, yeah. And just feast your peepers on how much is in that Jade Eye. So I've got, how many? 12? 12? It's pretty special, that, isn't it? To start, though... <gasps> It's a new book. It's a new book. I've not seen this one before. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm starting off, if I may, with some gold chains. Now, I just want to give you a heads up. I worked with you this morning, and this morning I brought to you a six chain bundle in sterling silver, different lengths. It sold out. I then brought a three-chain gold-plated bundle in rose gold. They then sold out. I then brought a gold-plated sterling silver three-chain bundle. They then sold out. I then, later on this evening, when I came back on air with you, brought you a four-strand sterling silver chain bundle, which sold out. It's just a little heads up. Anyone fancy going for gold? If you do, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to own this. I am bringing to you today a chance and a half. It is gold plated 925. And I've got for you beautiful different designs. Let me pop them up for you so you can have a little look. Can I just ask you, who fancied the amber pour of earlier on? Would you go for this chain with it? That'd look cute, wouldn't it? Or would you go a bit bolder? Possible? Yeah. Maybe if you were going to do a few cha uh, charms. Could look cool, couldn't it? What about faceted ball chain? I love this ball chain because it has so much sparkle. Oh, when you wear this, it's just going to grab your eye, even though it's quite dainty. That's lovely, isn't it? Or maybe you'd go more traditionally with the infinity link. I love this infinity link. Come here, you. Because I love how every single link of it does tell a story. We're bringing to you the opportunity. I'll just give them a sort of layered look for now, just to give you an idea of how all different they are. I'm bringing to you today four different chains, all in the same length. It's real sterling silver and it's real gold today. All of the chains, $24.95. Who needs to stock up before Christmas? Who's finished their Christmas shopping? <laughs> Come on. I mean, I've started a bit earlier this year, you know, with everything going on. I've started thinking about it a bit earlier because, let's face it, you can't do the last minute Christmas Eve, let's grab it all now this year, can you? Probably not the safest bet. So we're thinking a little bit ahead. This could be one of those wonderful giftables because it's real sterling silver, it's real gold over the top, but also because it's postable. These are going to be really easy to post. And if you're thinking, oh, I could do with some really nice plush pox, posh boxes. We did some boxes earlier on that had the cardboard outer lay and then it had the padded box and then it had the velvet in the box with these really good snap hinges they were beautiful still available we did a bundle if you do fancy them it's jewelrymaker.com all of those oh what's my quantity looking like well i don't have hundreds and by not having hundreds i mean a <laughs> hundred take a zero i've got 10 exactly i'm being told now it is 24.95 if you 
were watching yesterday, you would have seen the incredible guest designer, Debbie Kershaw, worked with amethyst cabochons and she glued an amethyst cabochon to a flat facing gemstone. Did you see that? It was labradorite. Oh, it looks so nice. I could do that here. I'm going to say something and some people may think that this is absolutely absurd, but you know what? It's creativity. And I think if you wanted to try this, you could create something that is totally unique. Do you have a Dremel or like the, one of the stylo Dremels or their, their handheld uh, professional Dremels? How about drilling into this much like you would a pearl and then setting one of our gem sets collectors stones to it? I'm thinking, and I know this is incredibly luxe, but the only reason I'm saying this is because I did them the other day and I think they were five pound a stone. What about the Orissa Alexandrite that I brought to you the other day? I didn't bring them to you stranded. They were in cut stones. Imagine setting those into them, gluing to the back a flat stone and silver head pin and making them into earrings. You were going to have something so one of a kind that the word 1395 won't even be equated to it, let alone 13. You've got the pair of them today at 13 pounds and 95 pence no are we doing a discount i didn't realize that i don't mind if i do 7.95 i've saved enough money so that i could grab this now haven't i of course i have absolutely i've saved some money so i can buy this if it's still available, we did this earlier on. It's worth noting on jewelrymaker.com because I tell you what, we've brought some right goodies. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be spending more money after the show today than I have spent in months, but it's worth it. I'm getting my festive uh, treats ready for everyone, including a few for myself. Um, but yeah, these are going to go great with it, aren't they? This is seven ninety five for you today on that pair. Hello, collectors. How are you? Happy Saturday. Let me bring some opal for you now Ooh, interesting fire opal i'm bringing fire opal to you in an unusual range of toners tonally sometimes it can be quite dark and it can go all the way tonally to sort of you know, 10% tone where you kind of squint on it to see colour. But in areas of this, because it's almost opaque, you're actually getting quite a boldness. So they're still quite open for the tone, but they're much bolder than you might normally expect. I like this for that individuality. It's quite unusual. If you had to pick your favourite time of year to own fire opal like this, what would it be? Spring, summer, autumn or winter? Autumn or winter? I'm guessing. I'm guessing you're saying. I'm guessing. Because for me, it is making me think of like mulled cider. Has anyone had a mulled cider before? Mm? It's this kind of colour, a warm mulled cider. It's delicious. Um, it's more this colour. Um, or even if you think about going to locations with like lovely open log fires or bonfires it's those kind of colors this isn't it we're bringing to you your fire opal from mexico today 0800 644 655 you can join us you can join us at jurymaker.com download and tap the app to get involved just make sure you're getting involved because this is real opal and it is just seven pounds 95 pence this for a genuine gemstone from mexico it is your chance to grab it if you do wish so now is your chance it is low stock now if you follow me on my social media you will know that the other day whilst i was a uh, chilling out in my hotel uh, because I live uh, quite far away from where we film here in the studio so when I do come over I've got shows back to back then I will stay over in hotels and um, 
I like to craft because I'm a crafter and a lot of the time, well, it depends. If I've got a commission coming up, a lot of the time is spent in my hotel making, making last minute commissions. Oh my gosh, got to get this done. Got to get it in the post. Da, 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 da. It's doing those things. But sometimes it's just nice to take a moment or two to relax and just make something you fancy. Just make something for yourself. Do you ever have that? When you've got to make gifts to sell, you've got to make gifts that are a commission, or you've got to make things that are for family birthday events and things coming up. Isn't it nice then to sometimes just sit and to make? And the lovely thing, and one of the reasons I'm so lucky to have this job, is because I get to see so much product. And that means that when it is my time to sit and treat myself to craft, you know how we need that sometimes, that treat, don't we, to sort of treat ourselves to a crafting session. I have the choice of so much. I have the pick of the bunch. It is no exaggeration to say I will see 200, 300 different products a day. So for me, when I do sit down and craft, it's something that has to stand out for me and it's something that has to speak to me. If you follow me on my, my social media, you will know that this exact strand that I'm about to do as one of my back-to-back -back star buys is the one I opted for. I have had so much more fun crafting with this. I've already run out. I'm going to be buying one with you too. It is our star buy. Is these massive dramatic baroque-esque looking nucleated pearls but they're made of shell let's get ready to own these i am going to say to you star by shop opportunity today these beauties are absolutely wonderful i am bringing it to you in five four three two one go Oh, it is your pink rings. For, oh, that was so well thought out. Um, the beautiful pink ring Baroque drop shells. These are dropped right, drilled right through the center. And look at how sizable they are. What I did with my ones, which, by the way, are the white ones, which I got as part of a kit for the first time ever. I'm selling them next by themselves. I've just put them on head pins and usually facing the different way around than you might think. I've got the largest part at the top and the smallest part at the bottom. I've used nine and I have just gone for perfect pure rounds, t t uh, sort of um, moving all the way around them, moving all along them. And I've done them throughout a whole design. I've not finished it as of yet, but it is a design which I'm only part way through and I already know I'm going to love. Why? Because they stand out. Why? Because they're dramatic. Why? Because they are so unique and very difficult for you to find anywhere else. Let me give you a deal. Let me give you a treat. Let's not hang around. The collectors are already in. I have got multi buyers. Good afternoon to you all. Today for you on these, we're bringing it at £17.95 and close out price for you today. These are fun. You are going to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time with these. I think people were expecting a higher price, if I'm honest. I really do. I really, really, really do. They're not too heavy. They're not too bold. Just one of these will be fine for an earring. It depends. Everyone's got their own thing. My, um, I'm a bit like Debbie I don't really like very heavy, heavy earrings in. But if I just pick one of these up... Obviously, I've already got an earring in. These are the earrings that we um, brought to you earlier on. Um, someone was asking where they got to. I'll tell you where. Right in my earlobe. <laughs> but, yeah, these ones. Imagine something like that from it. It's not actually going to be too large as an earring. It's not going to be too weighty, is it? If you wanted to put this maybe on a shepherd hook. Oh, what about with them? A few bits of chain maybe coming from the base. $17.95. Whoa, this is low stock. I am now in single figures. Single figures I'm now in on this one. Who wants the white version? Because I've got the white next. Just to let you know, the white is coming up next. These are the ones I worked with. These are the ones that I worked with because I got them from the kit. And this was a kit that was done by um, Linda. Yep. Uh, Linda. Um, not that long ago. And um, I got it in as part of her kit. And the kit was beautiful and had some other different elements in. But the thing, the reason I bought the kit was for these. Because we weren't selling them by themselves. 
These are the ones that we've got left for the first time of these ever being sold by themselves. The white ones we know are going to be popular, especially when I show you them next to pure white shell pearls, which is exactly what I worked these with. Um, I worked them with the um, beautiful smooth shell pearls. Those are on their way straight after these. These now are your rings white baroque shells. Now, these are the ones that were that kit the other day. And Linda, I'm sure it was, created with these the most head-turning jewellery. Now, I know when you're looking at this, you might be thinking, they're so quirky, I wouldn't be entirely sure what to do. Are they too much to just have them all in one design? I've used nine in the design that I'm currently working on. And I cannot wait to add more to it. The only reason I haven't added more to it is because I've run out of them. And the reason I've run out of them is because I was very, very greedy. And as soon as I got them, I instantly made a pair of earrings. And I made um, two um, different pendant pieces just for quick makes that I fancied. So I, I don't have enough left to finish it off in the fullest demand. But I've got nine of these on a piece. It's not too heavy. I'm going to add more to it. I am bringing to you now the pure white. They're all so individual. They have that luxury sizability. If these were, well, we can work this out, can't we? If these were actual real Baroque pearls, how much would they be each? Let me have a look. I've done some today. Hannah Stewart, lovely presenter, had, she had one on the other day and she said what, sorry? She, paid, she said she paid 60 quid for it. I've had one on today. I'm going to find it for you. Oh, my gosh. I've just gone. I'm, I'm looking right now on um, jurymaker.com and I've just gone past some here that says sold out. And it's just reminded me tomorrow I've got Alex Mineral Man products. Some of them, first time ever on split pay, just as a little say so. This is our website right now. You can go on and click on any of these things that you fancy. Uh, where are you? A lot of sold outs, isn't there? Here's one. Look, that's a, uh, what's that one? Baroque pill, 20 to 30 mil. 12.95 we went to on that. That's incredible, right? As on, as are a bit smaller, but not a million miles away. So let's say... Let's say 10.95 each, because these are smaller. So 10.95, how many have I got? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So how much is that? How much is that? 17 times 10.95. 186 pounds. I mean, I know that is not the same, obviously, but I'm just saying if you wanted to do like a design where you use loads of these, it'd be expensive, wouldn't it? Mm. I know. I'm grabbing one of these. Oh, my gosh, the amount of things I'm buying today. I'm going to buy these earrings. I've got to buy those um, little pens and things we did on the gold chain before. I'm just looking for something in this book I had a little glance at before that might work rather nicely. Where have you gone? Here's one. Quite like the idea of doing something a little bit modern with these. Or, hey, the graphics are back working. Or having a few coming from a rainbow tree of life. What do you think? Mm. £24.95. The graphics did stop working then for a moment. They're back in. £24.95 pence for you today. as a start price. Do you know what? The other one sold out because the other sold out. We just want to say sorry if you missed them here. I have a little summer extra. £16.95 for you. I'm so glad we've done that price because now I can buy another one. Um, and I will be today. Oh my gosh. There has been so many treats on today. If you've already opened your baskets like I have today, then... You know already you've paid that three ninety five. You don't. You just did from now. It's phenomenal. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to bring to you this little speciality as well. Then I'm going to bring to you next, and then I've got some split pay tanzanite. These are flying out the door. I'm going to be buying these ones too. Okay, let me now bring the perfect pure shell pearls created to give you perfection. That's what you've got, isn't it? 
How smooth is the surface? Very. How reflective are these? Incredibly. How even are these? Exceptionally. I am bringing to you today six mil perfect, pure, exemplary, shell pearl rounds, full metre. Oh, yeah. Full metre. 29 pounds and 95 pence for you. Oh, sorry. Oh. My producer said, um, right, 29.95 on these. I'm thinking, price rolls in, so I go 29.95. He was saying that's what he was expecting. That wasn't obviously where we were going, but I was obviously quite happy with 29.95. Why not? It's a meter's worth. Have you been into them well-known um, luxury stores and seen shell pearls? They're often just described as pearls, right? And you've seen them actually individually and um, you've thought, hang on, 80 quid for that necklace. Surely they're real pearls. I know they're not. Did anyone perchance get inspired by Rachel Norris earlier on? That gorgeous Rachel Norris um, hairpiece, you know, the snowflake hairpiece. Could you imagine these in that piece? Also, what about this as an idea? Actually popping one in to the amber. Fits perfectly a six wheel, doesn't it? Those were on earlier if you fancy them. You know what to do. 8 95 They're about to sell out. Well done. Ten minutes before we get some dinosaur fossils for you. They're on the way for you in a little bit. Before it though, let me bring Tanzanite, the one locational gemstone so rich and so intense. It is a stone that has been by some companies um, headlined, let's say, as gemstone of the year 2020. Do you fancy having a little look and owning premium quality today, first chance, with a split pay option? I've shown you on numerous occasions the real big first ever pieces that we've opened and given to you from Tiffany on her first, for the first ever Tiffany promotional material. When I'm looking at this stone, I am seeing all of the qualities that I have seen in those promotional materials. And this really is that kind of caliber. This really is that kind of grade. When I am looking at this, I am thinking Argentium. I am I'm putting this next to my hand and looking at the size, and I'm thinking I've seen engagement rings with smaller stones than that. I'm. We are bringing to you an option here that if you do have the calibrated um, ring mounts, the size on these is about five, five, six mil, five, six mil. We have got a few ring mounts tomorrow night. I can't guarantee that I'll have six mil round ones, but I might. Seven o'clock hour they are. This would be one of those that would be an absolute luxury look and finish in one of those designs. But also we know that you've got the skill to use this with Argentium and so much more. The authenticity comes with it, as do the individual credit labels proving its authenticity and its quality. Today, oh, I'm so sorry. With everyone in the baskets, I know that one of you is going to miss out. Two of you now. Two of you are going to miss out. 
and that's before we even see the price and more people will probably get on board 380 pounds and 95 pence for this high grade high level gradable mind you i should point that out is this gradable quality oh my days yes for that color for that clarity even in a way for that diphanity you know you've got that opportunity for a gradable stone here 380 pounds 95 with a discount of £250 about to happen. Who can see those fiery hot reds in the middle of this? £129.95 split pay today. You get this home for £43.31. Three of you are going to miss out on this now. I'm really sorry. I do hate saying that, but I'd rather be honest with you because the worst thing is if I don't say that and you think, oh, I've got loads of time and, and then you do miss out eventually. I'm bringing to you now three of you are going to miss out. If you're coming through on the phone lines, you've got a chance. Stay where you are. £100. And 29.95 if you want to do split pay take it home today for 43 pounds and 31 pence what an absolute treasure for you today use it in your ring mount ring mount use it do you know what go and get it valued just go and get this valued. You've already got the authenticity with it. You know, you don't even need actually to, um, you know, buy that as an add-on. This is invaluable for quality like this, and you're getting it rolled into the price. $129.95. Get it home on split pay. Well done. That is very special indeed. Let me bring to you from something which in the gemstone world of tanzanite, when we talk about that, you know, first really brought to our screens in the 60s. So in the grand scheme of things, it's actually a relatively new stone. Let's go right back in time to one of the most ancient. I'm about to bring to you now something that makes certain pieces of amber even certain pieces of 44 million year old amber look like a whippersnapper. The dinosaur bones are on their way shortly. Before it, though, I'm going to bring to you multi-colours to set your screen aflame. Rainbow sapphire, anyone? Ooh, okay. Let's do earrings. Right, with your rose gold, if you were to do a section, tell me when to stop. What section would you love most with the rose gold? Some people are saying stop there, right? Oh, you're saying with the purples. Okay. <laughs> One of the cameras has just decided it's uh, had enough. So uh, that's what made me laugh. I'm sorry I couldn't hide it. It's fine. Don't worry. Just one of its legs went a bit wonky. Saturday night, isn't it? Oh, I mean, told to stop again there. Yeah, the blues. There for floor manager, Hannah. Purples. <laughs> Oranges. Even green hues within this work quite nicely. Now, if you think about each section I've done with this, and obviously it's kind of, um, it's almost mirrored, isn't it? So if I show it in the middle, you'll be able to see that this is a mirrored design. That takes effort. Really, it does. If you think about sourcing the individual hues of this and then cutting them and organising them and graduating them and mirroring them, it takes a lot of time and skill, actually. But we've done it here. So if you think about any point of which you thought, I'll do a section for earrings, you could do it because the opposite side is perfectly matched to it. So if we were to do earrings and not just any earrings, Fancy sapphire earrings. You remember we spoke about fancy sapphire earlier on. I brought you a full strand of purple. It is available if you want it. 
I would be able to bring to you a section here of almost the, well, the pure clears you've got there at the top end, haven't you? Might be thinking of using them as charms. And then I'd get to the deeper, darker raspberry hues and I'm bringing them to you as a pair of earrings. Then I'm going to go to the perfectly, beautifully crisp and eye clean section there. Be doing them as a pair of earrings. That's two pairs now, different designs. Then it's going into the green hues. They're almost, I know this is quite hard for you to see, maybe because I'm showing it against black, but it's, it's almost a gentle minty green you've got in those ones. That's your third um, set of, of earrings. And then I'm going into the pale peaches. That's your fourth set. Then I've got these quite strong bursts. Are those ones, would you say they're more, they're almost, um, oh, what's the, oh, what's the colour, paparasha, aren't they? They're almost paparasha colours, aren't they, there in that section? So that's what, fifth pair? Then we go to your purple, sixth pair. Then we go to your baby blue, seventh pair. Then we go to your dark blues, is that the eighth pair? Then we go back to your greens again, that's the ninth pair. Then we go to your yellow hues. And then we go to your red, ready pink hues, don't we? And then you're in the middle. So what was that? Nine, ten pairs of earrings? Comfortably, with different feels. And that's quite nice if you're making to sell, isn't it? Because it means you can say every single pair is unique and once your colour's gone, it's done. $69.95 for you today on this one. It is a really wonderful opportunity for you to get something a little bit different, a little bit unique, a little bit stand out. $69.95 is £7 per pair, if there were 10 pairs in this. £7 a pair. Sapphire earrings. Let me give you the price of the findings back and more. £20.95, now making them approximately, I, I want to say, £2.10. Is that right for 10 pairs of earrings? No, it can't be. For a pair of earrings, £2.10. Oh, you're kidding me. £2.10 <laughs> for a pair of earrings. That's astonishing for all of those colours, for all of that beauty. It is for you today. If you are lucky enough to be one of the people to own this now extinct, no longer mind, Galileo Morganite, I think those hues could go really nicely. Let me also show it, if I may, with the purple strand of sapphire that I did earlier on. They work nicely, don't they? Also, in about five minutes, I'm going to bring to you the most delightful textures coming through on the wonderful dinosaur bone. These are coming up for you really soon. For now, though, final few chances on those. Let's have some drops now of stones. So these are top, drill, top drilled drop shapes, and I'm going to bring to you now Amazonite. Earlier on in the show, in the morning show, I brought to you matte Amazonite. So they were round mattified Amazonite. These would be lovely. Maybe just three of the rounds on each side and just one of these in the middle. I am bringing to you today 32 carats worth of these Amazonites. What do you love about these? Is it that colour that's grabbing your eye? Mmm. You are. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a very holiday colour in, in indeed. Very holiday, very clear summer skies, or even frozen lakes. You know, like uh, you see in sort of Victorian paintings. Uh, it's twelve pounds and ninety-five pence for you. Final closeout price. Do you know, that should be, by the way, 26 95 do you know how Debbie Kershaw worked earlier on with those graduated amethyst leaves? I've seen some. They sold out. These aren't the same. But can I just show you these with them? I've never seen graduated carved leaves before. And then you get two in one show. It's like buses. Um, they look quite nice together, do you think? They could do, couldn't they? These ones being the sky and these ones being like pools. They look lovely together, don't they? 
these ones have um, got that real interest of colour to them, a really nice glow, almost um, aqua phrase actually. Obviously, that's a trademark name though, but almost that. Twelve ninety five on that one for you. Lovely drops, a big, 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 big. Well done. If you've never seen how to use um, drops before, designs like this is how you can do them. So this here is what we refer to as a briolet wrap. So these drops here, very similar to these ones, will have a top drill hole through them. And what we've done is, it, it, well, what the book writer has done, has gone through them, created a loop, and attached them onto these big focal pendants. That's what these are lovely for. This is a Wall of Fame picture. And this is sent in from Elaine. Elaine, thank you for this. And these are another lovely way of finishing and wrapping your designs. We're bringing them to you now. If you fancy grabbing them, well done. Now it's time, stay, to bring to you a gemstone strand, which is a real snapshot of history. When we bring to you um, pearls, we bring to you something which can be, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old even in some instances and that for the pearl world is old it is ancient actually for many stay um we also now and again get to bring to you ambers now ambers are old i mean again you get young ambers copal ambers for example can be 50 years old only or you can get really old ambers that are like 44 million years old I'm about to bring you something that at its youngest age, just try and get your head around this. Think about life 44 million years ago. It's almost hard to compute, isn't it? Almost hard to compute. Now think about the world around 150 million years old, because that's when these are a snapshot of history from. bringing to you history. It's absolutely owning history. These can date back around 100 mil to, hedging our bets, 140 million years old. And these are something very, very unusual and distinctive indeed. I just want to give you, because if you, if you do know me, I think one of the things that you will know at this point is that I like to give you kind of the facts of stones, the overview of stones sometimes. But for me, there are sometimes things that I like you to know on top of the basics or, or the standardized information. And the one thing I think is really nice for you to know about this is where it comes from. Because really randomly, you know, me and Deb, we were talking earlier on, me and Debbie before about um, a stone and, and it was the Botswana argument. She was saying, actually, when I look at Botswana Agate, it almost looks like the place it's from, Yeah. I feel the same about this stone. So imagine, I know it is actually impossible, but imagine what the world will have looked like around 100 million to 140 million years ago. And imagine, of course, dinosaurs at that point ruling and roaming our planet. And think about the different places our positioning in the world was then we're talking about 
you know, the days of, of, of Pangaea, tectonic movement, all those millions and billions of years of, of the, the continents moving and swaying from this mega continent to all of these small little moments and islands in comparison. If you imagine all of that and think of the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, unlike maybe depicted in quite a few films, let's say, it wasn't the same type of dinosaur, the same type of animal that just roamed absolutely everywhere on our planet. It was, you know, individual pockets, let's say, for certain creatures, for certain animals. And it's the same with these stones because these are literally fossils. They are fossils of dinosaur bones. So what happens is the dinosaur bones, um, over, of course, millions of years, the cells within them, the cells that make up our bones, the cells that made up dinosaur bones, are they, they, they naturally uh, sort of corrode and move away. And they are replaced with silicon oxide. Um, easiest way to put it, quartz. They're, they're replaced with quartz. So what we have here is fossils and quartz in one, and that is it. And the location that you've got this from is from one place on our planet. Have a little look at this. This is where these are from. And this is why I think it's so interesting, because the place that this is from is, is, is from the, it's called the Colorado, the, the Colorado Plateau. And... Uh, People who are any good at their geography will know that the area that is um, circled in the centre of the map, in the middle, can you see how that goes across four different states? Can we name the states? Yeah. AZ, AZ, what's that? Arizona, yeah. NM, what's that? New Mexico, correct. You've got Utah there as well. And, of course, Colorado. So this location, the location that's circled there, that crosses all four of those state borders that have, and that's the pictures around this are of that region or of that area, that really rocky, rugged. And let's be honest, these are obviously photographs taken now or relatively recently. Couldn't you just almost imagine dinosaurs roaming that kind of land now? It still to this day feels prehistoric. It feels different. This location, these places, this little circlet crossing over those four state borders is the only place you can get this type of dinosaur bone fossil from. That's why it's unusual. That's why it's rare. And that's why it's coming live now as a star buy. It's 75 carats worth of this distinctly unique, truly historic, captivating resplendence of your dinosaur bone. And it is, as I say, you can get different fossils, of course, from different parts of the world. But when you're looking at this quality, this type, this is the only place you can get it from. And what it is, is, and if I take this away from the blackboard, sorry. But it's away from the blackboard. Have a real close look and see the textures in this and understand that where the textures are are where the bone will have been and cells will have escaped and they will have been replaced by the silicon oxides. Because that's all it is, really. It's fossil and it's quartz. It's where in history. This is such an intriguing, unique, distinctive stone from America and that Colorado Plateau. A stone that is truly and literally wearing a fossil that every single piece that's taken out of the ground cannot be replaced. Do you know what I mean? I always think that's special. Do you? You know, with like quartzes and things like that. I love quartzes. Quartz, quartz is a birthstone for me. Um, I love quartzes. But there is always that inclination in the back of my mind that, you know, in my lifetime, quartz won't run out. I'm well aware of that because it keeps forming. It keeps being created. You know, it's the same with certain pearls, actually. They're being created. They're being farmed every single day. Every single piece of this that is taken out of the ground is gone. There's no dinosaurs roaming right now. Oh, be re, you know, give it a few hundred million years and we'll replace these. 
It's history that you can own. It's history that you can create with. It's history that you can wear. It's history that you can share. It's yours today at a jewelry maker price point. 75 carats worth for £71.95. Have you ever, ever, ever been to a like um museum or a shop where you can buy fossils and you'll buy little fossils that don't date back hundreds of millions of years. You know, they might date back sort of... 40, 50 million years old and you'll get some and you'll get them and you'll get them and they're tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces and actually what they're in is like a huge old piece of rock. Have you ever seen them before? You will pay easily, easily for small ones, I'd say palm, palm size, you will easily pay for one of something like that, the £60 mark. For larger pieces, you can honestly pay hundreds of thousands but for small pieces, a lot of them you will be paying that. These aren't small pieces and these are wearable pieces and these are craftable pieces and these are not fossils. These are dinosaur bones that are totally different and totally ancient and totally affordable. Right? Seize the moment. You know what? If it's not now, it's never. Because as I say, every single one of these is unique and distinctive and every single one, once they're gone, they're gone. This is your chance to own it. This is your chance to seize it. Whether you are a lady or a gent or maybe you're someone who you've got someone in your family who's kind of a bit into history, who's maybe into history, who's maybe into um, dinosaurs, who's maybe into biology, who's possibly into archaeology, who's into yeah, hey, Jurassic Park. Yeah, absolutely. Could be, could be. This is a wonderful gift and let them research it. As always, I, I don't have time to sort of talk your ear off about all of the info of this and as always you know it's lovely for you to be able to do your own research for me for this craftability and for this beauty we're going to bring to you 29.95 on that one now i know what you might be thinking becky i love them but i'm more of a cabochon kind of kid i don't know sorry i was going for alliteration then <laughs> they call me the cabochon kid <laughs> Let me bring to you Cabochoners. <gasps> Ooh. Do you know what I said before? They actually feel like history. They honestly do. I'm going to show you these one at a time. Every single one of these that you get will be different because every single dinosaur that was creating these was different. You've got this one here. You've got the individuality. These ones, you've got a little bit of almost soft metallic in it. So that's one of them. Here's another. <gasps> Ooh, fiery. What do you think of that one? It does look like lava, doesn't it? Lava that was flowing through our planet as the tectonic plates moved and created the change in the giant mega continent back in the time that, quite frankly, these would have kind of started off their life. Is that one? $26.95. You're having a giraffe. Whoa, that one jumped, but it was a good one. <laughs> $26.95 for you today. I am, by the way, bringing to you five in my sample. There's five in that sample, and there's five in yours as well. These ones, a beautiful historical look, $26.95, and you do get that mini display case as well. So so many treats coming up for you after this break. I've got books on the way for you to get crafting. I've got Jadeite with you to give you more luxury in your collection. I've got the Wall of Fame to just set your sparkling inspiration alight. And I, quite frankly, have got bargains. I'll see you after this. Hello, jewellery makers. We are live with you every day from 8am to 8pm. If you watch us on Freeview at 5pm, we may appear to disappear, but we don't. There are lots of ways that you can continue to still watch your beloved jewellery maker. And they are Sky, Virgin, Freesat, the Jewellery Maker website, YouTube, or the Jewellery Maker app, which is available for your smartphone or tablet. So... 
Whichever way you choose to watch Jewelry Maker, we are always here for you to create, wear and share. Hello everyone, it's Mark here with some incredibly exciting news. Now, many of you know that us guest designers work incredibly hard behind the scenes to bring our tutorial DVDs to the show. Well, this Sunday, the 22nd of November, I am bringing, and I can't quite believe this, I am bringing to air during the mid show between 12 noon and 2 p.m. my 50th, that's right, my 50th DVD. And because it was a special, I was asked, you can do whatever you like, Mike, you can do whatever you want on this DVD. So I've chosen two of my favorite all time products. I'm incorporating Super Duos alongside Shell Pearl. Now, as many of you know, they are my ultimate beads. I love using them. And to be able to produce a DVD using these two products, just a dream come true. So that's Sunday, the 22nd of November. Join myself, presenter Jenny and the team between 12 noon and 2 p.m. for the launch of the Shell Pearl Super Duo Projects DVD. Kits, bundles, products, tools, you name it, we've got everything. It's gonna be an incredible two hours. And of course, my 50th DVD launch. So make sure you tune in between 12 noon and 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 22nd. And Jenny and I look forward to seeing you there. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. We have got the best Grand Didierite I have ever seen on Jewelry Maker. It's going to be incredible. We've given it to guest designer Hannah Osborne to work with, and she has made the most exquisite jewelry with it. Join us this Sunday morning on Jewelry Maker. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. treats i've had chains i've had massive never before seen by themselves treasures i've had galileo morganite the now extinct gemstone not be in mind i've just done some dinosaur um fossils i've done the sapphires as well purple sapphires i've still got my night owl on the way for you with these wonderful colours and cubes with sparkle and interest. I brought to you shell pearls as well that would go great for the DVD launching tomorrow, right? And I've done angel wings and so much more, amber even. And I'm not stopping there. I've not even touched upon the jade yet. And there is loads to get through. And I've got 
books on the way for you. But before all of that, it's time for me to say howdy doody. My name is Rebecca Renekin. You can call me Becky. And it's time for us to get inspired. Sandra, fancy starting us off? Let's go. It is a book that I'm bringing to you first, though. <laughs> I had you then, didn't I? Let me bring to you, first off the bat, your wonderful book. I'm bringing to you your handcrafted design and techniques why work book. Now, this is the one I gave you a little show off before because, let me just flick to the designs I was showing. I gave you a show of this one before, which I absolutely fell in love with. This is your springtime bloom, and this is for all you polymer clay lovers. What do you think? What I love about this book is, for me, it's not an overcrowded book. It's a book which really nicely, I'll just go through a few of the designs, really nicely depicts quite clearly, step by step of the way, what is to be created. And I love the way it goes through it. So what happens is it says, uh, it says, this is what we're going to learn to make in the next section. This is what you need, sorry, this is what you need to make it in the next section. And this is how you make it. It's clear, it's obvious, it's, it's almost got a recipe book feel to it for your cooking. There are oodles and oodles and oodles of designs within this book to inspire. There's a quite a bit of wire work in here, of course, with it being a wire work book. But there are also techniques in here which are almost um, beading techniques, you know, everyday techniques that you need. £15.95 for you, usually. But I've had such a brilliant day with you today because I've just had so many inspirational elements that I know I could use from this book. So I want to give you a best ever deal. $9.95 for the amount of information on this is sensational. I mean, even just read it, have a little look and read the little sort of intro section, if you will, the little sleeve section here. And look at that beautiful design. This is your Sean Hamilton book, the editor of Making Jewelry Magazine, which I know you will know of and you will know, actually, quite a few of our uh, guest designers have been in that magazine. These are the pick of the 30 designs um, brought to you in this collection, all in one place. $9.95, better than um, even the highly competitive, um, well-known online retailers. I think this is sensational. I mean, even just that design, I absolutely adore. You're going to have a lot of fun with this. And I believe that there are beginner's techniques in this, as well as slightly more advanced techniques for example plenty in here 9.95 today treat yourself to them if you want to be inspired remembering they did the rachel norris book earlier on that i would say would be more advanced than this so maybe if you are newer you want to grab this one let me bring you another quick one now and we've done this one before this is fashion jewelry and i will definitely say this one's beginners so if we were to really 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 pin it down although obviously everyone learns in different ways i would say beginner intermediate Rachel Norris's book your advanced that would be a maybe way so that could be a lovely gift for someone dependent on what stage they're at in their journey this is your jewelry but your fashion jewelry this is the type of jewelry which has been based on very very saleable very very um, beautiful trendy pieces of jewelry it is 7.95 for you today it goes through everything including you know your tools including lovely designs and there's lots of different techniques that are captured within this book to make on trend fashion jewelry it does include things like pearl knotting etc um, we've had people messaging in, lovely Sharon's in again, saying, what time's the Burmese jade uh, coming on, Sharon? Um, after the Wall of Fame, Wall of Fame's happening next. So real soon, real, real, real soon. Um, there are plenty of different designs in this for you to enjoy and make. Uh, so do feel free to grab it, especially if you want to be inspired. I'm bringing to you now a, a bit of a time to be even more inspired. It is time to start with Sandra with the Wall of Fame.
Sandra said, decided to try making spinners yesterday. Tuned in to the afternoon show and thought, snap, same tutorial on screen. Thank you, JM. I started on macrame bracelet and have come so far in six years of watching. Thank you, Jake, for such lovely cabochons to work with. And that's in from Sandra. Oh, this was the Hayley Kruger designs, was it? Yeah, the Hayley Kruger designs. She was making them at the same time as you. Um, it's fabulous. Uh, that's, that's kismet, isn't it? And yes, um, fabulous gemstone buying, as always, by the lovely gentleman um, of Jake and Co. Um, I'm bringing to you next up Anne, and it says, Hi, JM. This is a rose gold plated sterling silver slider bracelet and beads, all using the sterling silver flux right, flex right, sorry, for the beading thread. All sourced from your good selves. Love the sliders. Good luck to all. That is such a lovely and very, very saleable high-end piece. I love that. And you're an angel and enjoy wearing that. Oh, gifting it. Norma, you're in next. And I love Norma because she uses emojis and I'm all about that. It says, hi all at JM Towers. Can I please enter this pearl and black obsidian necklace and earring set? I use freshwater cultured potato pearls, 8 to 9 mil, and black obsidian diamond cut round, 6 mil, on sterling silver. The large pearl drop at the front was from a pearl scoop from JM. Good luck to the fellow whoppers, and big thank you to all at Jewelry Maker for keeping us going at such a difficult time, especially lovely, lucky Lucy, um, who who drew my lucky number on the 18th of Nov. Safe, safe, love and light. Thank you, Norma, very much for that wonderful mate. I have got so much more to come. Don't forget more Wall of Fames tomorrow. Bringing to you now something that I know Sharon has definitely been waiting for amongst others. When we bring to you this gemstone, I always feel a little bit um, connective. Because I'm bringing to you a stone that I was lucky enough to launch. We launched this gemstone about six years ago now, and I remember it so well. I remember launching Jadeite for you, and I remember being sort of bestowed, uh, bestowed that privilege because it was something that I knew a fair amount about, but also something that I was really connected to and really passionate about. I remember bringing it to you and bringing you a strand of rounds, <clears throat> excuse me, and the closeout price on the strand of rounds was $79.95. And I remember with all honesty and every single part of my being being absolutely flabbergasted because there was no one. And I mean no one. I searched high and low. I searched online, small little retailers. I searched abroad, huge retailers where you have to buy like a thousand at a time. I was looking online and I was looking at um, the the books that I um, the books and the editions that I get sent by the likes of the GIA and and uh, the gem guide that I get and that keep you up to date with with the makes and the prices of things uh, um, at price per carat and there was nothing and I mean nothing unless it was you go abroad and you buy honestly 1,050 of them, there was nothing else that you were getting of our quality in our price per carat. That's back when they were 70 quid for a round. I've got to start the showcase and I tell you what, you're going to love it. One of the first words I used in describing Jade when I brought them to air that first occasion, one of the first terms I remember using anyway, was deity-like status. And I still use that term nine times out of ten when I bring this to you from Burma. Remember, you can get Jade from different locations. You can get Jadeite from different locations. In Burma, though... 
This really is a deity-like status. In fact, so much that there are, and, and if you are, you know, if it is something that you're passionate about, this may well be something to add to your bucket list to go and see yourself. But so much so that there are buildings created for worship that are predominantly made from this stone. Have a little look at this picture. Look at this slide. This, oh my gosh, it's just incredible, isn't it? Isn't that incredible? This is your Warasana pagoda in um, Asia, obviously. And this pagoda, as you can see, is created, the vast majority of it, out of jade. And the reason that this started off life was um, an, an empress or a princess even... Um, back many, many years ago, kind of fell in love with jadeite and uh, it was something which as part of their culture has been dated like status for millennia, but she herself absolutely loved and adored it. And what happened was, uh, the story goes, many suitors tried to woo her, heard that jadeite was her absolute favourite and people came from around the world to woo her, to sweep her off her feet and she ended up with enough that they were able to make buildings such as this that you're looking at. The vast majority of this is jadeite. You can go and visit this location and actually when you go and visit it, there's almost like a walkthrough museum when you go into it. And we'll have a look further at that in a moment. But for now, as you're looking at this pagoda, just pay attention to the actual shaping of the secondary dome of this. Take a look at how almost patchworked within this is the actual jade, pieces of jade patchworked within this to create almost a mosaic design on a curve. And now, look at this stone I'm about to bring you. This is just one on a strand of many. It's almost reminiscent. It's almost reminiscent because you've got that curvature of the doming on the pagoda and then you've also got on that the almost mosaic, let's say, of these individual pieces that's a bit like the faceting. I did say this was one of the strands and this is a full strand. It is now available. I've got 64 of these, exactly. And I'm going to give you the chance to grab the deity-like status. That is 90 carats worth of your Burmese jadeite today. This is centimetre-sized stones that will give you, if you wanted perfect opportunity to create pairs of earrings to turn heads. Centimetre size is giving you enough of a design to create maybe a, um, a, a beautiful ring, for example. If you wanted to look on our website, we have got the opportunity for you to grab another set of coins. Now, they are a bit different, but just in case you fancied it, if you go on to ours, uh, this is our website right now, you will be able to see on our website there is a set of coins, and there it is, right there. See that in the middle, top row? Yeah. There's a set of coins there. Are they faceted? They are puffy, so no, they're smooth. They're smooth as a faceted. 51.95, so I'm trying to... Do similar or better than that, right? Let's have a go. Bringing to you, remembering that this is jadeite, I'm going to bring you similar price or better than if I can. Oh, but you see, the thing is that I said similar price, not the same price. So, vis-a-vis, -vis, I can't be lying to you. I'd be rude, be inappropriate. Say that again, pop it. I didn't expect that price point at all. It's not on my sheet at all. I haven't got any of them written down. Yes! The amount of times my producer goes, it was written on your sheet, and this time it wasn't. Um, it wasn't written down. And I have a feeling that it's because probably my producer knew full well that 
um, he wanted to kind of shock me with these, and that is exactly what has happened. £12.95. This is one of the most affordable of the hour, and these are your wonderful Burmese jadeite. They are real. They are the true deal. They are the only ooh, um, buttons. <laughs> Um, queens, that's the word um, that I'm looking for, that I have. I've got rounds coming up, I've got nuggets coming up, I've got cubes or squares coming up, but I haven't got any more of these. So if you love cufflinks, black cufflinks, for example, these are the ones for you. Hello, collectors. Guess who's in? Guest designer, Mikey B and Morag and Sharon. Sharon, you've been waiting. Thank you for your patience. Arthur and Susan, hello to... Um, Florence as well. You've got it in your basket. I always say this, Florence. I know I do, but I love you now. Um, there's loads of you with this in. I'm going to bring you fasted squares now that actually would go beautifully with this one. Um, I've got the, I've got rounds coming up. I'm going to bring you the squares now. I just want to let you know that I've got okay quantities of a lot of these, but when it's unusual shapes like this, they're always popular. So I would say seize the moment. I don't want anyone to miss out on anything they really fancy. 59.95, good price as I've said already. Today though, bringing it to you. I think I've heard that price right, but I don't want to say it loud in case I haven't. Just checking. 9.95, it was what I heard. 9.95, I am bringing to you real deal jade. This is a beautiful chance on these ones to maybe channel set either side. Have you got any sterling silver wire you might put on either side of these and almost make it look, oh, do you know what? Just to stretch your bracelet. It's sold out, it's sold out. I'm sorry, I know, I know, I know. Some of these will just be, boom, say again. I've now got the longest strand, the longest strand of this hour I'm about to bring. I have got for you, I love strands like this because this is a simple opportunity of just popping it through over your head and you are ready and raring to go. There's a long length here, no clasp needed if you don't want it. It is 84 centimetres, the longest one we've got for you today. This will make six bracelets very easily, just as it is. And today, what about if I made those, bang those bracelets a tenner each? Or all six of them for a tenner, $9.95. Those ones sold out previously. These are heading in the same direction. I've got good quantities of each, but trust me on this. Our collectors, our gemstone enthusiasts do not hang around with designs and with, with stones like this. They're in, they're on, they're gone, and that's it. So if you do fancy these in it, please do so now. I will let you know too, if you wanted to buy two of these or three of these, which actually you could now, I love the idea of doing that Katie Parker seafoam design with these. I've not seen anyone do it in Jadeite yet. You could be the first. You could be the first. I'm bringing to you the center drilled now fancy slices. These have got a really wonderful almost sort of washed against a shore feel to them. Blimey, okay, this is lowest. This is the lowest stock one we've got. I've only got eight. Lowest stock one. You've seen me sell out of quantities of this previously of much higher figures than that. Seven is all I've got. Now, £30.95. Um, six left now. Six left. How about with those amethyst angel wings? 2p per carat, having a laugh. Uh, 9.95 for you. This is jadeite. This is quality. It's Saturday night. If you can't treat yourself on a Saturday, when on earth can you? Good luck to every single one of you treating yourself to these now. Let me give you something angular to add a little bit of edginess to your design. This time, I've gone for the diamond shape. It's serious variety here and opportunity. Which one of these would be speaking for you? Is it the Marafat whites that you've got? I know the Marafat white isn't the nicest term, but it is a gemology term for this color. Real true Marafat whites, or are you going for more of the deeper, darker <sighs> tones? You're getting tonality on this strand, but also you're getting statement. These are biggest individual carrot weights that I'm bringing to you here. 
two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 I've got on my strand, meaning carrot weight wise for each one. If I've got 13, is that about nine carrots each? 9.23 carrots and gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is just a pound each for you now. And we are bringing it to you at a cent at a pound each. I mean, really. Do you know what I'm looking? I'm looking now online because I've just typed in five carat jade. You know, just because I'm like that. I'm like, come on, let's just see what's out there. I know these are nine carat, but I know the internet's not going to be able to handle that. Let's do five carat. Do you know what? You can't even handle five carat jade at this moment in time. It's going... <laughs> Do you mean 0 0.5 carat jade egg for £82? No, no, I don't. But thanks very much for asking. Um, okay. Oh, okay. This is a close one. Oh, it's not quite the same. Oh, oh I found one. Oh, man. Again, it's not the same. None of these are the same, are they? Let's be totally honest. None of these are the same. But oh, that's a book gone. I'll pick it up in a minute. I've typed in five carrots, and by the looks of it, these are the only two that are actual five carrots that have come up. Five carrots, mine are nine, so mine are a bit bigger. I mean, they're nowhere near the same, are they, like? But just to give you an idea, there's only six of them left. Nine carrots approximately each. There's going to be another sellout. Another sellout. Faceted center drilled pears I've now got for you today. Those ones are about to shell out. Oh, Monmouthshire, you're in with us. Oh, I had a lovely trip to Monmouthshire at the start of the year. Um, I'm bringing to you another sellout. Well done. This is for you today, your wonderful Burmese faceted pears that I'm bringing to you. If we head on back to that slideshow I was showing you earlier, I mentioned to you the museum section, and these remind me very much of the museum. So on that slideshow in the second slide, you're going to see a few pieces. And that picture, um, this is some moments within that museum. So on these pictures, at the very, very back wall, there's lots of different varieties and shades of jade. Can you see in those shades of jade how even on the very, very pale white ones, there are areas in there with dark green that is so dark, it almost looks brown in patches, yeah? That's a little bit like the story you've got on some of these. Can you see with this one here, for example, those textures? And all that is, is when Mother Nature is naturally sort of forming a different shade of jade with a slightly different ingredient within it, right next to another one. And we are lucky enough to cut through it just at that joining point so that you get a bit of both. I'm bringing to you today what some may well describe a sort of museum quality, actually, in, in the story they can tell. Um, Jadeite today in these lovely pairs. And we're bringing to you £79.95. 150 carats worth. Great deal on these ones. Oh, gosh. My producer, Danny, has just said, I have really never, ever, ever seen Burmese jade eye, unless it's nuggets, go under a tenner before. We're doing it tonight. That's what a, J a jade eye Saturday night showcase is all about. We're giving to you 9 95 on this treasure right here, right now. Good luck to every single one of you. Hiya, Susan. Hello, Derbyshire. Hello to... Uh, Kathleen, hello. Um, hi, how are you, multi buyers? It's lovely to have you on board. This is the last one of the faceted strands that I've got. I've got no more faceted strands after this one. Once they're gone, they are gone. These ones are coming up next for you. So if you want a bit of texture, as I said, that's the last one of the faceted ones. I've got these long shards for you. Now, this is the last of the kind of organic ones that I've got. All the rest after this around. I have got for you here a better quantity of these ones, and it's a really big overall carrot weight I'm bringing, 350 carrots. 
The 317, the 390 carats I did earlier on are sold out. They've both gone. So if you want big carat weight, because you want that luxury of a carat weight, because carat weight means, well, do we all know what a carat is? Because you know what? It's one of those terms that we just throw around, isn't it? We don't always discuss what it is, okay? A carat weight is, a carat is a term to denote a weight of a genuine gemstone. Carat, CRT shortened to, should technically only be used on genuine gemstones. Don't get me wrong, some times they're used on crystals and things. It's a little bit um, immoral, not illegal. That's why it can be done. It's a little bit immoral. We only use it on our genuine gemstones, which is why when we bring you pearls and amber, they won't have a carat weight because they don't, they're not crystal formation. They're an organic, so that's different. How much does a carat or uh, what does it relate to in grams? Is it a gram per carat? Who knows? Anyone? Anyone? So one gram is five carats. So that gives you an idea here of the weight you are getting. We are bringing to you here, therefore, a massive amount of grams of genuine gemstone, 350 carats worth in total. That's a huge amount for jadeite. And I'm bringing it to you. So that's what, 70 grams? A bat. A bat. <laughs> a bat. Don't know where that came from. <laughs> I was watching a TV show with Danny Dyer last night. Maybe that's what it was. I'm bringing to you 14 99 for a massive, massive, massive carrot weight of jadeite. What would you be doing with shapes like this? What could you do with shapes like this? I've got an idea. The Susie make over there. I know that the sleigh is in the way a bit. It's this lovely design with the beading thread that has just got... Oh, you can see the top. Do you know what? I'm not afraid of going on a walk, mainly because it's about a metre and a half away. <laughs> this was Susie. She was on this morning. Let me just spin this around. I'm going to bring it with me, actually. I'm going to bring it with. There you are. Let me show you. You don't have to bring it with because it's so stunning. But look, it's the same shape, isn't it? Can you see on this design how we've used the... This exact shape, just suspended on beading thread. Imagine that with something like this. That'd look wonderful, wouldn't it? And she's only used, this is an approximate, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, about 20. Imagine doing that kind of look with this. Oh, it'd look astonishing. And it's just on beading thread. Beading thread looped over a jump ring. And then these have just been positioned on there. Fab, isn't it? We're bringing to you fourteen ninety five on that one today. It is your chance and your opportunity to get something very, very, very special. Now, I'm going to dive on into the rounds, if I may. And if you remember, I was mentioning right at the start of this hour that when I launched Jadeite for you, I launched all Jadeite, actually, um, including the Burmese variety, when I brought this to you as a launch for the first time, I launched with rounds. And the rounds that we did were from my memory, although don't quote me on this, they were eight, six or eight mil rounds. I can never quite remember. They were six or eight mil rounds. And they looked a bit like this. And we brought them to you at an incredible, incredible deal. I brought the rounds, and I've got a few. Which one am I starting with? I wonder to myself. We're going to do this one first. The only graduated round, is it? 4 to 12. We have got another, but it's this one we're starting with. I brought to you a one-size strand, which actually you would expect to be a little bit less in money, probably, because you would expect there's more workmanship in this because you have to get all the sizes, right? And I brought it to you on air at a closeout price of $79.95. And I'm saying that hedging my bets because, as I say, my memory for numbers is horrendous. And I can never remember, actually, if it was $89.95 we closed on or $79. So I prefer to say $79 to sort of undercut myself. But it could have been $89.95. 
what we did was we brought that to you, we brought it on air, and I was baffled by the price because all of my research, and this is from, you know, being someone who subscribes to the Gem Guide, being someone who has worked alongside Gem Val, being someone who is always up to date and as, as a GIA and Gem A alumni, they're always being caught, caught up to date with things that are going on sort of behind the scenes and new events and new things happening. Even actually for the fact of, you know, at that time, bringing it to you and searching, 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 small little independent companies selling anything similar huge big companies that were selling 1000 and 2000 at a time to get a good deal there was nothing unless you were prepared to buy a thousand at a time quite like the ones we were doing and we brought them to you at 79.95 i want you to bear that in mind because I'm about to bring to you graduated. That means it takes more time generally to cut them because you have to shave them all and everything else. I'm about to bring to you larger sizes towards the middle, so bigger carrot weight. And I'm about to bring them to you now, four to 12 mil, genuine, real deal, natural, Burmese jade with that almost wonderful marifat white color that a lot of people search for. This is your biggest graduation. This is a necklace ready and raring to go. I am not back in the days of six years ago when I'm bringing to you same location, same gemstone, um, same sort of quality, you know, that new mine quality. I'm not bringing it to you at 89.95. I'm not bringing it to you at 79.95. Actually, for you today, for the biggest graduation, I am going under 89, under 79, even just under 69 today for you. 100 carats, 64 pounds and 95 pence for delicate, delicate, delicate four mils all the way. Slowly, slowly, gently, gently up to 12 mil. That is beating prices of years ago. But right now, he's ready to run. 29 pounds and 95 pence. Why? Because of you. Why? Because of you at home. How come? Because when we first launched this, we didn't know how well it would go. How were we to? You came in and you got your hands on this and you treated yourself to this and it flew out boom, like that because it did. We went back to our supplier and we went, hi, hey, you know, we bought 100. Give us 200 this time, please. And they went, OK, no problem. We'll give you a, a, a good, another good deal. Great. Then the next time when it sold out, we wanted more designs. We wanted more types. And then we decided, actually, if we're happy to do this, I wonder if anyone else would want to get in touch with us. Hey, we've heard about you from our friend. You bought their last lot. How's about we do whatever you fancy with now 300 of them? And actually what we do is we undercut the other ones. All right, then, yes, yeah, suppose so. And then the bidding war starts. Why? Because people want to work with us. Why? Because we are selling quantities of this in massive amounts. When when you go to pieces and parts of Asia, these are not selling 300, 400, 700, let's say, different varieties of jade, you know, or different amounts of jade at a time. Shops and stores might be looking to sell one or two and therefore go back to the suppliers once or twice a week. We go in, we buy nearly all of it and we bring it to you and sell it out. So we get brilliant prices. We get great deals. We get great opportunities. And if you think for a second, all right, Bex, whatever, 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 you're saying that that's a great deal. But how do I know that that's a great deal? I'm about to show you in just a few moments a little VT of Steve talking about this stone and one of the first times he saw this stone. If you think it's just me saying that this is very affordable at, at prices like 29.95, check this out. It was the closing ceremony of the ICA. It was the, the big award ceremony and all the ladies are wearing their ball gowns from all around the world, all the different representation from different countries for, for the ICA. And Glenn Lair and I sat next to a lady from China. 
and throughout the dinner we were talking, as you do, nothing but gemstones and jewellery, that's what we were there for, and what I noticed, she was wearing this green gemstone. I assumed, of course, Jade, because she's Chinese, and it was Jade, so I said, oh, is that Jade? And we got talking, she said, yes, it is, my husband bought it for me, and she was wearing lots of other lovely jewellery, I noticed the earrings were diamonds and really expensive, and we got talking, and I went, uh, she went, yes, my, my val most valuable piece, and I went, well, no, surely those earrings are like, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars. She said, Oh, you're right. And well spotted ten, twenty thousand dollars, that's about the area of those. She said, No, my, my jade ring, this cost my husband over a million dollars. And it was incredible. It was beautiful, it was quite nice, but it didn't look that dissimilar to what I sell. So it just shows that it, it, the gemstone is about what it means to somebody uh, and, and jade is one of those if you're into spiritual uh, uh, sort of healing if you're into spiritual this if you if you want to connect with nature if you love greens there is nothing better than a fine piece of jade It is absolutely and completely the real deal wonderful big bold jade that as, as you know there, it was a conversation that came to, cool, blimey, really? These are high-end, highly respected gemstones, and I'm bringing to you now some of the largest pieces of them. In my strand here, I've got shaded moments. I've got actually, um, what's it called? Ba -ba -ba. Oh, is this the wrong one? Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I think we're doing that one next. I do apologise. It's the this one. Yep. Yep, so it's this one. Here we go. Um, so we're bringing to you today <clears throat> a wonderful amount of your jade. The, the centre one of this is slightly smaller. This one's 10 mil. I'm going to bring you the 12 in a bit. Um, I've got for you here a lovely opportunity to get this beautiful strand of significant pieces of um, highly regarded, clearly, gemstones that you can pay quite frankly, in my opinion, a fortune for. Today, I've got for you 1995. That's 1995. With a 60 pounds discount. No, really. You don't even need to bring in a voucher code. <laughs> 18 fee per carat now that is 18 fee per carat who's making to sell with these because jadeite sells itself a lot of the time once you give the basic information right it sells itself doesn't it who's making to gift are the people in your family who you know receives talking about the sort of crystal healing and and the, the, those kind of aspects to this really into that and need more jadeite in their life if so, this is your chance to gift them. Maybe it's just for you, because do you know what? You've had a right year. We deserve it. We do. We absolutely do. If there is anything this year that you, that's just a little treat for yourself, that you just fancy, do it. Do it. Do it. We've got twenty nine ninety five for you today. Next one, it's the, oh, this one is my absolute favourite, right? This one's my favourite of the round because, have a look at this, when I do this. It's mirrored including natural golds and natural bronze and natural deep, intense, luxurious, imperial hues, it is handed. That is a simple restrand and you are done. Clasp on the back and you are getting something completely natural and completely exemplary. Golden real natural jadeite, those wonderful bronze jadeites, and of course in here, those imperial hues of, of uh, jadeite too. It is a make knotted mandala style. Oh my gosh, that price point, we're stopping. $69.95, I'm grabbing one of these and I'm popping it in my basket and I'm clicking to check out quicker than anyone else because I wish I could say, I've got 80 of these. Quite frankly, I can't even now say I've got 18. 
$69.95 at that price. As I said, I'm stopping there. I'm adding it to my basket. At this price, I've not got one anymore. I've now got three. And um, <laughs> you know that I'm in the right place at the right time. And I'm like, do you know what? It's one for me. My grandma would love one. My mum would too. Oh, go on then. Twist my arm. I'll get three. Because you can now, can't you? $29.95. It's the only one with the multi-hues and the handed design that I've got for you tonight. So if you do want to seize the moment, please, please, please do. If you love the idea idea of going sort of uh, with the crystal healing aspect of this with the deity light status let me suggest the marla design that you've got there in the marla design you see it's the amber this could be a really interesting piece to add to it couldn't it to add to that design and even i know this is a bit decadent but space it in between there and have it in that way that could be really special. It's like tactile jewellery, wouldn't it? That would look really pretty. $29.95. That amber is still available if you did want to get your hands on it. Next up, I've got 10 mil for you. If you don't want a graduation, this is all in one place, all the same size. And these are 10 mils for you today. It's much deeper, much more... I almost want to say enigmatic than some of the others I've had so far. Um, it's a deeper shade than many. If I show you, for example, with this strand, which I brought to you earlier on, you should be able to see, although it's slight in areas, you should be able to see there is a variation there in that hue, in the depth of those colours. Can you see that? So this one I brought you earlier, a little bit, quite a bit paler, whereas sections of this are so much more deeper and darker. It, it, but you see what I mean about enigmatic? It's almost got patination within it, hasn't it? Which proves that it's real, uh, which is similarly to this Wall of Fame, actually. It's a lovely um, design from Brenda there. You could definitely always take out the textures and colours, pair it with another and do that design. They're all one size. So if you love even sizes, if you want to create a design whereby it's, it's even throughout, maybe to help you do curvature in designs, this is your chance to do it. 101.95, your deal today. We're going to go under 30 again. Good luck to you. I have got tomorrow, for the first time ever, some new Mineral Man pieces. And I am thinking, they're on split pay. I am thinking of one museum quality piece I've got tomorrow that will go so well with this. Just trust me on it. I can't show it to you because um, it's kind of top secret. We're keeping it under a hat. But if you love museum distinctive pieces, this is one for you. And I'm going to bring you some tomorrow with the Alex Mineral Man. First time for some of them on split pay tomorrow. We're going to be doing that hour at the Mineral Man split pay tomorrow is at six. Um... It's going to be a lot of time to make you smile. Obviously, we're going to be doing it. I've got ring mounts tomorrow, too. I'm so excited. Um, and I've got this Zircon tomorrow at 7.45. That actually, would you space them out? Could do, couldn't you? Diamond like luster on them. I have... Seven different types of jade out left. I wish, but I don't. I've got two. I've got two. Where to? Which one? Where to? Ah. Eight mil. This was years ago. But we used to do something called the hub. Do you remember? The JM hub. Yeah. Emma's saying that's before even my time. Yeah, we used to do the hub. And our floor manager at the time, Cassie, used to stand in the corner of the room with a plasma behind her. And she used to do a little bit like on sort of the magazine TV shows in the morning. She used to go, right, this is the subject we want to hear about today. And then we'd have loads of people interacting and messaging in on the hub. And um, one of the, the ones that we did that was one of the most popular themes of that whole messaging thing was, what is your favourite size and shape? The winner was 8 mil rounds. Ta-da! 200 carats worth of your jadeite 8 mil rounds. 
I am bringing to you today 200 carats worth of these and I'm bringing them to you at 38 centimetres. We have got for you a beautiful workable strand. Why do you think this was voted the favourite size and shape? Do you think it's because it's comfy enough for a bracelet, but it's bold enough for a necklace? And it's easy, one in each ear. Even for people like me that don't have earlobes, because I've got attached earlobes. So sometimes, sometimes, wearing like big 12 mils or whatever can be a little bit painful actually. Something like this though, no, nope, not a problem, not with an 8 mil, not with an 8 mil. Unless it's like, in fact, even if it is hematite, I can handle it with an 8 mil hematite as well. 91, 95. Please let me remind you, I mentioned earlier on that this strand, this one, it will be a different code or whatever because we might have got it from a different supplier, but they were 8 mil rounds. They were, I'm sure they were 8 mil. They might have been 6, but I'm saying 8 mil round at the larger point. We launched them. They were 79.95. So many of you in on these ones. If you do want to grab them, if you do want to add this to your collection, it is my penultimate strand for you. Hello, Sharon. Good evening, Joanne. Happy Saturday, Kathleen. Enjoy your wine. Sylvia. It's just a guess, Sylvia. It's just a guess. Enjoy your cocoa, June. Enjoy your... Who's in a, who's in a mulled wine? Anyone yet? Or is it too early? Mm. Anyway, whatever you're doing, however you're spending it, enjoy it. This is your penultimate jade. And I've got another one and one alone coming up for you before I bring you more goodies and more treats. Do you know what? These would go lovely, actually, with those incredible half-drilled pearls I did earlier. Mm -mm. I did these half-drilled pearls that came with the findings that you just bob in them. They'd go great. Maybe as like, um, you could actually turn that into a loop and make it a pendant. Well done. The last strand now. It's six mil. And six mil. There you are. This is one, two, two bracelets and two pairs of earrings and two rings left over. <laughs> it's brilliant when you think of it like that, isn't it? I think it's quite easy to go, ah, that is a strand of jade. But we're jewellery maker. If you're new, a strand actually can equate to, depending on your size and how you like to wear things, two bracelets. By the time you've added a clasp, I've got that much left over. So that to me, a few in each ear, one for a ring, jobs are good in. All of that jewellery, genuine, real jadeite jewellery, this is your last one of the hour. Shall we go out with a fizzle? Nah, let's do it. Let's end your final hour of the jadeite showcase, your final moment, should I say, with a pop. And a bang and a fizzle. It's fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence today. This is a great opportunity for you to get something that, for me, is incredibly accessible. Something for me that, if you're brand new, you can make with. Oh, you can trust me on that. Um, it is your opportunity to seize the moment on this right here, right now, beginners. Grab this, you'll get two free strands with your first order and you will also get a free DVD to help you make jewellery. How many are on the strands? Uh, <laughs> a lot. At least 62, I'm saying. At least 62. £14.95, at least <laughs> there's 10 left I'm sorry there are multi-buyers in if you do miss out on these I've sold out of a fair few but it's well worth looking back on jewelrymaker.com just to see what we have got left over do you know what actually I'm thinking with these ones it could be quite nice with the coins as maybe little stopping points within the design you could do something really nice and asymmetric I quite like let me see if this size works it might not I think it will though aha yes so you could almost set one of those, obviously just one, into the aperture of the um, amber. 
That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? You could do something like that. That donut is still available, I think. Um, fourteen ninety five. If everybody checked out, I would have quite a few of you upset, which I don't really like, but I'm sorry. So it's fastest finger first. Good luck. One left now. Um, I absolutely just want to say for anybody, anybody who got their hands on any of those wonderful designs of jade, cra congratulations, bravo to you. Um, brand new, I'm going to make you smile with a brand new opportunity to get I did sterling silver, six strand chain bundle this morning, it sold out. Then I did rose gold, they sold out too. Then I did gold, they sold out. And then I did some earlier and those sold out. These ones are brand new chains and they're rose gold, solid sterling silver plating. Do you think Jade would look nice on any of these chains? Yeah, me too. Which ones would you go for? What about the big ones, the big 10 mils? Yeah. Just two or three, maybe. Just hanging down, popping them on an pin. Jobs are good, and be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe what you would be looking at doing, actually, is... Ooh, here's an idea. If we're going to get this infinity chain, if you think about infinity, you think about togetherness, you think about forever, you think about friendship, you think about no beginning, no end, etc., etc., you think about this shape, don't you? Because this is what this shape signifies as well. The figure, the... Infinity chain is called that because it's an infinity shape, so it's a figure of eight shape. So you're getting that shape in the links. This is what the amber signifies too. There's no beginning, no end. That's why this shape, this donut shape, is used a lot in um, sort of important pieces of jewellery. But just imagine, ta-da, I've made a piece of jewellery with real amber, no beginning, no end, and the Figaro chain with the Figaro links having no beginning and no end. It's, it's kind of telling a story in your jewellery, and I think that's why we like crafting sometimes, isn't it? Bringing to you all four of the different types of chain you are looking at now, and I'm bringing to you the opportunity to get £6.23 per chain. Is it real sterling silver? Yep. Is it real rose gold? Yep. It's 18 inches that I've got for you here. This is a brand new bundle and it is pop you la. Are you buying any Christmas gifts this year for anyone? What about your friends? Are you posting out to them? Or maybe you're going to be hoping to see them. Maybe there's family members that you don't normally bother actually sending gifts to. Because there's some family members that you maybe don't. You just send a card, don't you? You maybe just send a card. Um, this year, I I am actually sending more cards and more gifts than I normally do. There are people like you and your friends with who you maybe don't bother. You, you, you know, you swap cards and maybe like a tiny little, little gift maybe now and again. But as a general rule, you don't. This year, I think a lot more people are going out of their way to gift to people they wouldn't normally. Something like this will post really easily. Pop them on a card or in a card. Um, one chain, one gemstone. One happy customer, £24.95 today. That is all four of them, by the way. You don't have to pick which one you want. It's no lucky dip. It's just see them, grab them, love them. What do you think about rose gold and sapphire or ruby? Like it. Talk about right place, right time. Time for the night owl. Ooh. It's so beautiful and bold and different. It's quirky, it's unique. This is our deal. 7.45 means we bring you something different, something stand out, something that is a one-off price. This ticks all of those boxes today. I am bringing to you a wonderful shop opportunity to get the cubes of these beauties. This sold out previously. We're getting it back in now. I love this wonderful, intriguing shape. 
how might you use such thing? How might you use it? What do you think? Do you think you'd be using it um, with wire? Do you think you'd wire work this? If you would, if you were to, how would you? What colour would it be, for starters? And what type? How many people are saying, mm, if I could, sterling silverback? It'd be sterling silverbacks. And, uh, yeah, that, that's what I'd be using with it, wire. What about with your threading material? I did some wildfire for you before. Did you want an ideal for that? Do you think wildfire is strong enough for these? Of course it is. That bonded material is definitely strong enough for these ones, even with them being, you know, ruby, sapphire, they are strong enough. Could you do almost like a ladder weave design with these? I think that could look quite nice because of the angles you've got on them. And don't get me wrong, these angles, they're lovely and smooth. They're not scratchy or anything. You can see that because these aren't cubes as in, um, how do I put it? I'm trying to explain it well. If you think about a dice, Oh my gosh, I can't think of a much better way of explaining that. I'm just going to have to go for it. Imagine a dice. And now imagine it's a magic dice. <laughs> so what are you going to do? By the way, I did have three and a half hours sleep last night. My body clock was all off for the morning show. I think, I don't know how I'm getting through this. Right, imagine a dice. And now imagine that you're going to put a straw up to it and you're going to add in a little... You're going to blow it up a tiny bit, okay, tiny bit. So the sides of them are still straight, but instead of being straight sides, you've gone, and they've gone a little bit. That's what I've got here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, thank goodness. Because that's the only way I could think of explaining it. My, my director's going, I actually understand now that you've just done that. Okay. So that's the shape of these. So they are not really angular because that could be a bit scratchy. These have got an ever so slight doming to the faces of these, which makes them comfortable. They're comfortable yet edgy in their design. They are bold and impressive in their colour. Why? Possibly because Mozambique is known for bringing to you some of the best best ruby and sapphire colours on the planet. If you want rich, rich reds of, of ruby, then you're likely to be going to th this location. If you want really regal, royal, luxury blues, again, you're likely to go into this location. I am bringing to you 38 carats worth of these today. Look at this moment. This is hematite um, and wire work, but imagine it almost in a design like this. Can you see how they've been used one atop the other to create that structure? It looks lovely, doesn't it? You could do something like that. Would you go for that color wire or would you be sticking to your guns with sterling silver? Could do, couldn't you? Let me show it actually with sterling silver. <sighs> oh my gosh, I've never seen this finding before. You thought I hissed like a cat? <laughs> no. I'm not going to do my cat impression because I think we all know how dreadful it is. <laughs> how someone could be bad at a cat impression, I know, but I can. I've never seen this finding before, but it's perfect for it, isn't it? Imagine three of these onto this earring finding. I think that would work really nicely because the texture on it's quite different. Or even, what about something like that? The circlets, just one. Would you do one in each ear? Would you? Could do, couldn't you? <gasps> okay, I've not seen this finding before. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, oh, this is what I'd do. I've had an idea. Okay, I'll do one ruby on the front line of this earring and then one sapphire on the back. This is where the ear goes. That would look incredible. That is chic. Can you think of anyone else who might work with Ruby and Sapphire? Anyone else? Cartier, Boodles, Tiffany, high-end locations. Would they sell it for $16.95? Nope. I highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. 38 carats worth for you today. Oh, there were people sat there waiting patiently going... Next, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to top off my 3.95 P P today? I tell you what I'm going to bring you. I'm going to bring you two of the best known gemstones on the planet for you to be able to create into sensational high-end jewellery. I absolutely love, 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 love these. The idea of these, the 
these earrings maybe just one on each side would look so stylish and so chic hello and um how are you all doing it's lovely to have you on board with us today um if you do fancy grabbing your hands on any of the goodies we've had and we've had a few some of them have sold out actually there's been more sellouts today than I've seen in quite a while of, of different, like I sold out of loads of chains. We sold out of loads of um, uh, jades. We've sold out of loads of pearls and things like that today. So quite a few things have sold out, but you've already paid your 3 dollars post your package in. If you do want to go and add some extras, absolutely do. This time tomorrow, I'll be bringing this to you. It's my Zircon. I have got for you today some real, I've had for you today, some real treats. I've had some incredible guest designers with the wonderful Susie, the lovely uh, Rachel Norris, and the just beautiful inside and out Debbie Kershaw. Tomorrow is no different. Tomorrow evening, I am joined by the wonderful Katie Parker. And Katie has got some kits to work with that well, as she always makes them, will make you smile, including the likes of Lava Kite. As well as that, tomorrow evening from six o'clock, I have got for the first time ever some pieces of Mineral Man, you know, the Alex pieces, the museum pieces, the, the cuttings and, and all the rest of it. That will be on split pay for the first time ever. The last time I did split pay on Alex's pieces, we sold out, sold out, sold out. We uh, just want to say thank you so much for joining us, especially me if you've been here since the morning as I have. You're fabulous. Sleep well. I'll see you tomorrow, my loves. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. to jewelry making not sure where to start then tune into jewelry maker every thursday at 6 p.m for our get started hour one of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques giving you lots of hints and tips bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step